Alhamdulillah, we have uh, another stream uh, on the topic of uh, the Ahmadi moment. So we'll just, uh, I mean, for the past, this is our fourth uh, part actually. So we've already covered three parts, Alhamdulillah. So if you haven't watched that, uh, please do watch it. It's been streamed on Dawwais and also on Adnan Roshi's channel. Um, inshallah, Brother Imtiaz will give us uh, a quick uh, introduction about how the topic should proceed today. Uh, Asalaamu Alaikum, Brother Imtiaz. Go ahead. Wa alaikum as salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh everyone, Adnan bhai, Hashim bhai and to all, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum as salam. So inshallah brothers and sisters, uh, as we all know, that in today's stream, the first part of the stream is dedicated to the topic of principal answer from the Ahmadi clerics and apologists that how they explain the failed prophecies of Mirza Ulam Ahmad. According to us, they are clearly failed. But they claim that, no, 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 we can explain them through Minhajun Nubuwa, through methodology of the prophethood. So, inshallah, today, history is in the making. They are going to be given time to come join us, tell us what is this Minhajun Nubuwa, which can explain these failed prophecies. So, inshallah, once they give us this principle, we can respond to that. And I want to make a couple of things very clear. Number one, that inshallah, once they come, because it is their principle, we will give them five minutes. They can come. They can explain their principle. Week after that, myself or Adnan Bhai, we can respond to their principle in five minutes. So, it, it, inshallah, it will be equal for both sides. And after that, we'll go point to point, two minutes each. No three, four, five points. We'll go point to point, two minutes each, back and forth. So, the first one hour will be dedicated to their principal response and our rebuttals. And then the next one hour, inshallah, we're going to do the case study. We have selected two cases from their objection on Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with regard to his journey of first year of Hudaybiyah or for the Umrah. And our beloved Prophet Yunus Alayhi Salam. They attack him in all their books. So inshallah, two case studies from the, the true prophets. And then two case studies from Mirza's prophecies. Number one. Muhammad the Begum prophecy and number two, the earthquake prophecy. So I want to make it very clear. Inshallah, we're going to discuss every single prophet and every single objection they raise. But in today's live stream, after the first one hour, in the next hour, the only four case studies will be discussed. Hudaybiyah, Prophet Yunus, Muhammad the Begum and earthquake. No other thing will be entertained. Why? We want to educate the masses on both sides, our Muslim community and Ahmadiyya community. Because if we throw into discussion bunch of examples, people will be confused. And this is exactly what we don't want to happen. So inshallah, there will be only four case studies. So if any Ahmadi, they raise any other objection other than these four case studies, our disclaimer is, they will not be entertained in today's stream. But inshallah, it is our promise to you. Every single one of them will be entertained, maybe in the future. So, in, in, in a nutshell, the first two hours are dedicated to this principal response of Ahmadiyya. From these two hours, first one hour is the principal response. And the second one hour is the four case studies. Inshallah, Adnan Bhai, if you want to add something. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Thank you so much, Imtiaz Bai, for the clarification. Uh, all Ahmadi brothers and sisters in humanity are welcome. I would like to highlight once again that this is not an exercise of hate. This is an exercise of compassion. This is an exercise of sympathy. We have nothing but sympathy for the Ahmadi community. This is dedicated to them, not specifically 
uh, for missionaries or to missionaries, but to the community at large. There are thousands of Ahmadi brothers and sisters watching these streams. This is all for you. Okay, Muslims already believe in the Prophet ﷺ and his finality of prophethood. It is the Ahmadis who don't believe in the finality of the Prophet Muhammad ﷺ as a prophet of God. They believe Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani is a prophet who emerged or who came about after Rasulullah ﷺ. So this stream is dedicated specifically to the Ahmadi community. This is for them. Okay. So disclaimer in the beginning, any passion, any loud voices or hot exchanges, please excuse us. Our intention is not to hurt you. Our intention is not to demean your religion or to degrade your religion or to hurt your feelings. Our purpose here is to give da'wah to you, to invite you to Islam, true Islam. Okay, what we call orthodox mainstream Sunni Islam. You have separated from the mainstream Sunni Islam or, or, or mainstream Islam for that matter. You have separated due to this person called Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. Okay, he is the reason why you have separated yourselves from the global Muslim community. From Morocco to Bangladesh, Muslims don't believe in this man. Very few people. Okay, few hundred thousand, uh, few hundred thousand people around the world are uh, followers of this particular community. So this is dedicated to you. As uh, Imtiaz Bai highlighted, that today's stream is specifically going to start with discussing the usul, the usul of the Ahmadis in interpreting Mirza Ghulam Ahmad's um, failed prophecies. We call them failed prophecies because we have no doubt that they are failed, unfulfilled prophecies we call them blunders okay the ahmadis come back and they try to argue missionaries in particular they try to argue that you don't know the asul okay we apply an asul to interpret these prophecies they are not unfulfilled they are not false rather they are fulfilled but you don't understand the asul so that's what they tell us so now today we're going to open the floor to them to explain the asul to them so that we can actually look at the asul where is this asul where did it come from? When was it revealed? And why do we have to follow it? Let's talk about the usul, inshallah. And uh, later on, after having discussed the usul, we're going to move on to uh, case studies. In this case, Sul uh, Hudaybiya. And then the second case study will be the example of Yunus alayhi salam against these two uh, incidents or these two examples. We will use the Qadiani attempt to use these two examples to explain away false prophecies of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani about the Muhammadi Begum case as well as the earthquake case. Okay, because when we highlight that these prophecies are unfulfilled, they go back to Yunus Salam and Sul Hudaybiyah pointing out, oh, look at these two examples as well. They were unfulfilled. So we want to discuss the usul, and then having discussed the usul. We will use these case studies to explain how whatever the usul is does not apply. But we want to hear from you about the usul. That's the first thing we want to do. So Hashim Bai, over to you. If there's anyone who has joined the stream from the Ahmadi missionary community, uh, let them in so that they can explain the usul to us. What is the usul to interpret the, the failed prophecies of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani? Over to you, okay. Bismillah. So Inshallah, I'm going to pin the link for only Ahmadis to join. I repeat, only Ahmadis. Muslims do not join yet. We will, inshallah, invite you later on. So I want the elders from the Ahmadi to make a case to tell us what the principles are so that we can proceed accordingly. So if there are any Ahmadi elders, please do join using the link that has just been pinned. And inshallah, we can proceed from there. Right, so while they're joining, is there anything you guys want to discuss further? Yes, we can. Well, while they're joining, we can talk about uh, these failed prophecies. We can quickly do a summary of uh, our previous uh, streams. We have had three yeah. long streams. Uh, Intaz, but you want to say anything yeah. about it? Yeah. Actually, uh, one main thing I want to highlight is this. For example, in the previous streams, we discussed the example of Muhammad Begum. I want to explain something very important for the listeners 
either they are Muslims or from the Ahmadiyya community, because somebody might be thinking, look, what's the point of discussing this one marriage? Okay, understand the point here. It's not about discussing one marriage. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad declared this prophecy, number one, his criterion to verify his truthfulness or his falsehood. Even though in generic, he declared all his prophecies as a criterion or touchstone to verify his claim. But this prophecy in particular, it was given to us, to the Muslims, because his three prophecies, Muhammadi Begum prophecy was particularly for us Muslims, those who rejected him. And Abdullah Atham's prophecy was particularly for the Christian community. And Lake Ram's prophecy was particularly for the Hindu community. So you can understand that prophecies in general, they were given as a touchstone, but these prophecies, they stood out from the other prophecies. So don't just take it as like we are discussing one marriage, it happened or it did not happen. That's not the point. The point is the importance of this marriage. And we have mentioned previously, and let me remind you again, this particular marriage, please pay attention everybody. Mirza said that if this marriage does not take place, I am not from God. Can you understand this brothers and sisters, how important it is? And guess what? We all know this marriage did not take place. And now Ahmadiyya community is going to tell us today that despite the fact that marriage did not take place, then how the prophecy was fulfilled? Then how can we still say he was from God? So there is the point. So don't miss this crux of the matter. Adnan, by over to you. Yes, thank you very much uh, for that clarification. So we look, we have multiple prophecies that we can discuss uh, that Mirza failed uh, in. Basically, he, he prophesied certain things and they never happened. Okay, Muhammadi Begum, the reason why this case is important is because he made it a test of his truthfulness. He said, if this does not happen, then God has not spoken. Literally, these are his words. If my marriage to Muhammadi Begum does not take place, then God has not spoken. In other words, I'm a liar. I have not spoken from God. Okay. So this is why this prophecy is very, very important. And why are these prophecies so important? You know, these are very important matters because hundreds of thousands of people believe in this man as a prophet. Okay. And the issue here is that if this man is not a prophet, then people are misguided. And if they're misguided, they're going to Jahannam, they're going to hellfire. Okay, it is our responsibility as the Muslims to reach out to them, to explain to them why this man is not trustworthy. For us, the Muslims, it is enough for him to claim to be a prophet. That in itself is enough for us to know that he's a liar. Because we have no doubt that there is no prophet in any prophetic capacity coming after Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The return of Jesus is not in prophetic capacity. The return of Jesus is basically uh, a fulfillment of the message of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So it is the Prophet of Islam who told us that Jesus will return as my follower. He will follow my law. He will follow the law of Islam. Jesus, when he came the first time, what law was he following? The law of Moses. Isa, the son of Mary. Jesus, the son of Mary, his first advent, he followed the law of Moses. His second advent, he is going to be following the law of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa the last prophet, the last messenger of God. This is the point. So in order for Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani to claim prophethood, he needed um, a loophole. He needed a window. And what window did he find? He found the return of Jesus. He is the prophet. He claimed to be the promised Messiah. Now, when we come back to the Ahmadis and tell them, it is impossible for him to be the promised Messiah because the promised Messiah is mentioned by name by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And his name is Isa, the son of Mary. It's not only Isa. It's Isa, the son of Mary. 
the one born of Mary, not the one born of Chirag Bibi, the mother of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, right? So this man, he is claiming to be the return of Isa, Jesus. This is what he's claiming. And how is he doing that? He decides to kill Isa alayhi salam. He kills him. He tells his followers, Jesus died. And he died in India. He died in Kashmir. And he's buried in one of the neighborhoods of Kashmir. And after his death, the promised Messiah has to be reborn. And this time he has born, he was born in Punjab, in the town of Qadian, in the city of, or near the city of Gurdaspur in India. So this is the return of Jesus, the son of Mary. Those of you who don't know these claims, this is what he was claiming. And by that virtue, by that virtue, he claimed to be a prophet, a living, walking prophet. Okay. He said, I am a prophet of God. I receive revelation. And then he made prophecies in his prophetic capacity or in his claimed prophetic capacity. He made prophecies because every prophet made prophecies, including Jesus, including Moses and Muhammad. <laughs> but the amazing thing is the prophecies of Jesus, the prophecies of Muhammad, <laughs> they came true. Okay, they were fulfilled. The prophecies of the Quran were fulfilled one by one, all of them. The prophecies of Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu fulfilled. But there are multiple prophecies of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. They failed. Mathematically, they failed with mathematical precision. When I say with mathematical precision, I mean he made prophecies with numbers, with dates. He gave dates and numbers. He said, if this does not happen by this time, then I am a liar. And those things did not happen. Guys, the Ahmadis who come to us preaching with a very soft tone, with a lot of compassion, with a lot of good manners, trying to preach to us, oh, this man was a prophet of God. Can you not believe in him? Can you not see he was a prophet of God? And when we pull out these things and ask them, how dare you come to us and you want us to believe, believe in this man who was an imposter, who made multiple false prophecies? You want us to believe in him? Come on, guys. You have no case against us. Ahmadi missionaries, the Ahmadi community has no case against the mainstream Muslim community from Morocco to Bangladesh. You have no case against us. You know why? Because your guy doesn't stand the test of scrutiny. He doesn't stand the test of scrutiny. Okay? So, he made multiple prophecies that did not come to pass. We don't need them. Okay, why are we discussing his prophecies in the first place? What interest do we have in this person? We have no interest in him. The moment he says, I'm a prophet, we have no interest in him. We don't want to know him. We don't want to see him. We don't want to speak with him. Because he's a liar. He's a liar. The Quran says, The Prophet ﷺ repeatedly says, La Nabi Abadi. La Nabi Abadi. La Nabi Abadi. There's no prophet after me. What language do you want? What do you want him to say? If there was a prophet after me, it would have been Umar. What does that mean? Oh, Ali, you are to me like Harun was to Musa, but there is no prophet after me. What does that mean? All these things, you want us to ignore them and follow this false guy from Punjab, Qadian. Uh, who, who to say to put it politely was 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 a was a mentally deranged person. Okay, so uh, we don't want to insult anyone's character. To be honest with you, you know uh, his own writings condemn him. His own writings. He said if one of my prophecies was to be unfulfilled. One, one unfulfilled. One of them. He said if one of my prophecies was unfulfilled, then I am a liar. Out of the hundreds of the, uh, out of those hundreds of prophecies he made, he said if one of them was to be false, then I am a liar. So it's not brother. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Wa rahmatullah. Welcome, brother. Welcome to the stream. Alhamdulillah. Good, good. Right. So we are going to allow the Ahmadis to continue their prophecies. to come in and present the principles uh, from their side with regards to how a, a prophecy 
has to be fulfilled or come true. So it's up to you to present your case. And then based on that, we will respond. So if anybody Inshallah. wants to come forward, we will allow you to come forward and present the case. You'll be given five minutes. Is that right, Tiaz Bhai? Yes, uh, more than enough. Yes, Inshallah. Hashim Bhai, uh, we can okay. give them, Inshallah, first five minutes so they can explain this principle to us. After that, we will respond to them in our five minutes. And after this first turn of five minutes, there will be only point to point two minutes each. Yeah. So, inshallah, we're going to proceed. So, if there are any non Ahmadis in the studio, in the back studio, please do not join now. Leave and come back when we do invite the Muslims to join later. Inshallah, we'll be giving you time to join later. Inshallah. Right. So, we got. Uh, as always, we got uh, Razi here. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. How is everyone doing? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. We are all fine. Alhamdulillah. 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 I'm doing good. Uh, just before we start, I just wanted to make a few quick points which are important from last stream. If you brothers allow, they'll be really, really quick. It's can, we do, can we do all the things that you want to... Tell us later on. Let's I'll start the stream now. One minute. It's Just always no, the same. One on. minute gets into 20 minutes. Okay, later. no worries. It's, it's it happened continuously. Yeah. That's why. But it you can just, you can yeah. say it later. We are not saying not to say it. Okay. All so I'm before is, I leave, you'll let me say it, right? Because it's yeah. about preservation of we'll Holy Quran. We'll do it later, Quran. inshallah. We'll so I just later. don't want people to be misinformed regarding the Holy Quran because, you know, yeah. that wouldn't be appropriate. So, um, so the topic today, as you know, it's about yeah. the Ahmadis presenting the principles for interpreting the prophecies. Yeah, so so you, I'll start with a non uh video to show you. Your, you got five minutes that's to fine. present the principles from the yeah. Ahmadi point of view. Okay. And your time starts now. Okay, so basically uh, our view according to the Quran and our Hadith is not what Adnan Rashid believes and of course he's representing the Sunni Muslim. So I'll just play his clip first so everyone can hear Hashim Bey, just let me know if the voice is coming. They are calling it a mistake of understanding. It's the Hadi Galti. It's the Hadi Galti, okay, is, is possible when a prophecy from Allah is not made. But Mirza made so Adnan Rashid's and... claim is that when a prophecy from Allah is made, then ijtahadi ghalati is not possible. Meaning if the Quran and a hadith show that a prophet made an ijtahadi ghalati, then according to Adnan Rashid's criteria, that prophet is God forbid a liar. Now, Brother Imtiaz said in the start that we say that Sulla Hudaybiyah wasn't fulfilled. I don't know who told him this. He claims to be a student of Zubair Ali Zai. And even he didn't go to this extent. So we should be careful with what allegations we raise. So I will present five usul from Quran and a hadith and your own ulama to show you that not only is Quran with us, a hadith are with us, and so are the views of all your ulama, alhamdulillah. So the first usul of prophecies is that there's wad and wa'id. Muhammad Imtiaz Saib has already agreed to this. For example, with wa'id that we have, Wallahu ya'simuka min nas for Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And we also have for uh, prophecies like, Walla di arsala rasulahu bil huda wa deen al haqqi li yudhirahu ala deen kulli. So these were promises to Rasulullah. So prophecies are divided with wa'id and wa'id. Regarding wa'id, the ulama say, all wa'id are mashrutatun, meaning if a prophecy of warning is made, it is conditional. The same is said by your ulama. Secondly, a prophet can make mistake in interpreting and understanding a prophecy. Example, Holy Quran regarding Hazrat Nuh a.s. Hazrat Nuh a.s. was told to build an ark and Allah told him, I will protect your family. Then when Hazrat Nuh a.s. son was drown drowning, the Quran says that, he said, in Nabni min ahli wa inna wa adakal wanta ahkamul hakimin. Then Allah responded when the flood was happening, Nuh al still thought his son would be saved. Then Allah responded that he is in Nahu min ahli. This was a prophecy, and Nuh al misinterpreted it till the flood took place. Ibn Taymiyyah rahmullah says the same in Minhaj Sunnah, and Ibn Uthaymin calls this a mistake of ijtihad as well. Same is said in Tafsir Ibn Kathir. For example, Ibn Taymiyyah says that. Nuh al-Asam thought that Annahu dakhala fi jumlati man wuida bi najati him. 
So this is clear cut ijtihad here, which proves that according to Adnan Rashid, Nuh alayhi is naudhu billah min zalik, a false prophet, because he prophesied this and he made ijtihad here. The third usul is that a prophecy with warning doesn't necessarily have to mention a condition for this. We have the example of Qawmi Yunus ibn Hajar, Rahmullah explains this in his book that Yunus alayhi fawa'adahum bi nuzul al-azabi fi waqtin mu'ayyinin wa kharaja anhum mughadiban. Then Nuh alayhi salam, Yunus alayhi salam made this prophecy and he left his people and he told them a punishment will come. But fakashafa anhum al-azab. Like Quran says, when they repented, Allah removed that punishment despite the prophecy. The next usul is that it is possible for a prophet that he makes a prophecy and when it's fulfilled, then he understands how it's fulfilled. This is also proven from Quran. We have the dream of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We can give Yunus Alaihissalam again and Hazrat Nuh Alaihissalam's example again. We can speak of Sulla Hudaybiyah like Imtiaz Saib said. Then the fifth usul is that it is possible that a prophet sees something regarding a prophecy and then it is fulfilled through his followers. This is also proven from Sahih al-Bukhari. For example, Nabi saw that uh, in, uh, saw the treasures of earth given to him. This was fulfilled in Sahaba. Now the final point I will mention is that Adnan Rashid and the other people, they said that a prophecy cannot have any value to it if there's istiara. So I have two prophecies here. One is regarding Hazrat Usman radiallahu anhu and his shirt. Nabi Sism said that people will try to take it off from you. Do not let them. This is a hadith of Tirmidhi. The scholars interpret it as khilafat. So according to this usul, you brothers have said that a prophecy cannot have istiara. Many of the prophecies of Nabi Sism are gone, including the one in Sayyid Muslim where he said that 100 years will not pass till the day of judgment will come. Sahaba were confused. Then, when the prophets and passed away, they understood that this meant the qiyamah of the people. In the time of Rasulullah, even Sahaba misunderstood it. There was istiara. When it was fulfilled, they came to know it. Once again, every prophecy of the promised Messiah was fulfilled, just like the okay, prophecies of all up. other prophets. Razi, your time is up. Okay. Thank you. Um, who wants to take that on? Go ahead. Yeah, because the first click was about me, so I will quickly respond yeah. to that. Uh, that I, you know, Razi cut the clip right in the middle there. Okay, uh, he played the bit he wanted to play. Okay, what I was saying there was that any Tom, Dick, and Harry can make any prophecies, and they can be misinterpreted. They can be interpreted and misinterpreted, like Nostradamus. So if a prophecy is not from Allah, people can make up all sorts of stories about those prophecies. Nostradamus' prophecies are not from Allah. Okay? And people make all sorts of stories about that. This is the point I was making. But when a prophecy is mathematically precise, like in the case of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, you cannot misinterpret that. It's either from Allah or it's a lie. It can't be the third thing. There is no third option. When a prophecy is mathematically precise, with mathematical precision, with mathematical details, with numbers involved, with limits, mathematical limits involved, then either the prophecy is from Allah and it's going to be fulfilled, or it's a lie. But people like Nostradamus and Baha'u'llah and others like Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, if they make prophecies and they're not from Allah, then they can be interpreted, misinterpreted in all sorts of ways, and people can put spins on them. Uh, and if Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani is a prophet and his prophecies are fulfilled, in that case, Nostradamus is a bigger prophet. He, fore he foretold bigger events in some cases, right? He's a bigger prophet than Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. That's all I have to say for clarification. Over to him, Tazbai, please. So, inshallah, I have written down all the points from Brother Razi. Inshallah, I'll go through them one by one. So, the point uh, which was directed at me, that I said that uh, the Ahmadis, they say that the prophecy or the event of Sulla Hudaybiyah was not fulfilled. So, inshallah, no problem. I don't want to waste people's time. In, in Razi's time, Razi need to tell us the following. Which part exactly, please pinpoint, which part of the prophecy or event of Sul Hudaybiyah you are calling as Ijtihadi Ghalti or error of interpretation. So inshallah, point out to that so I can respond exactly to your point just to save the time. 
so next point he was uh, he was raising that uh, the principle about the promise or the glad tiding and the warnings or waid waad and waid so uh, in his turn does he need to tell us that in order for the prophecies or events of waid or warning to be not happening in that way what is the condition okay you need to tell us exactly the condition that in the case of waid or warning what condition has to be fulfilled so in our turn then we can see that was it fulfilled or not okay and then the next point was the example of nu alayhi salam we have clearly made a disclaimer alhamdulillah the answer for every single objection is ready in today's stream two case studies from the prophets are being discussed yunus alayhi salam and sul hudaybiyah okay in the next one inshallah we'll just know why i'm saying this because we want to educate people what happens is ahmadis they come they throw into discussion 10 15 20 30 points and people are left confused no it's not going to happen today nu alay salam will be discussed this is my promise online to all the listeners but not today i have made disclaimer today sul hudaybiyah and yunus alay salam so i'm not i'm not i will not respond to that today and next one was that the prophets can make error of interpretation when they interpreting the prophecy okay my i don't want to use the word challenge razi pay attention okay it's not a challenge for my brother in humanity i'm inviting you okay i'm inviting you to tell us what was the full principle explained by mirza this is first part of the principle that prophets i am not agreeing or disagreeing with the principle i'm giving you the chance to respond to me what was the full principle this is half of the truth that the prophets can make error of interpretation what is the next part please in your turn you need to quote that for us so inshallah i can respond on that the next point was exactly about the uh, yunus alay salam nation razi note down this point so you can respond in your turn okay the nation of yunus alay salam they considered their prophet in the warning of punishment as truthful and that is the reason they repented had they considered him a liar why would they why would they repent so they considered their prophet a truthful prophet that's why they believed they repented and they were forgiven okay if you want to use this for example in the case of muhammadi begum please when we enter into the next part which is the case studies please bring this point at that time so we can see that can we because again my invitation is today i'm going to finish this point forever and ever there's no resemblance between the event of yunus alayhi salam and the prophecies of mirza ghulam ahmad you can note down my word it's going to be addressed and finished forever when we're going to discuss the case studies okay next point was that uh, the, the 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 prophecies can be in the the prophecies inshallah very quick just last two point left inshallah the next point was that the prophecies are in istiara metaphorical allegorical way they don't have to be literal so in this case because he pointed out the example of usman radiyallahu ta'ala anhu because it was said already about him that the time will come when people will try to take your cloak off so this was referring to again it's not going to be discussed today okay you are going to give us the example from the prophecy pay attention razi my beloved you are going to give us the example from the prophecy of mirza ghulam ahmad that which prophecy exactly he said and that was istiara or mutashabe so inshallah i can finish this point forever as well okay so don't okay. quote usman radiyallahu ta'ala no quote the prophecy of mirza ghulam mahmud that which part of the prophecy was istiara so i can address that and then inshallah uh, the last point exactly the last point he said was uh yeah inshallah i all points are addressed if i have left any point ready please I'm, i'm i'm requesting you 
if I have not addressed any of your points except from the points which I have clearly made clear that they are not going to be entertained today. Okay. If other than that, any okay. point was yeah. relevant, yeah. I did not address, please remind to me. Right. Uh, so, Razi, you can come back and respond to that. You got two minutes and then they will have Just to uh, quickly, uh, Hashim Bay, you know the Ahmed, that's actually Ahmed or so he's the Ahmadi that discussed okay. with Adnan Rashid said in the start before I start my time in Tiaseb, I have some questions for you so I don't misunderstand anything because I don't want to answer something if you're not asking that right so you know when we when you challenged me on this topic you said usul from Quran and a hadith this is what you publicized your show now twice this is the second time and we come, we don't run away. Alhamdulillah, we have Quran and Ahadith. But now, once we're in the discussion, you're adding new usul that only these two prophecies, you cannot use Hazrat Nuh al Ahmadi Muslims, we believe that, unless it's in the Quran, whoever does not judge by the Quran, فَأُولَيْكَ هُمُ الظَّالِمُونَ أُولَيْكَ هُمُ الْكَافِرُونَ أُولَيْكَ هُمُ الظَّالِمُونَ كَافِرُونَ And uh, uh, there's other Asikun. words, as, Asikun as well. So, we will use the Quran in its entirety. You cannot now add conditions that, you know, Hazrat Nuh al-Asam, that's mentioned in the Quran, but today you won't discuss that. We're not asking you for the details. It's just simple. Did he make a prophecy? Yes. Was it his, if you can respond to this, yes. Okay. So I want the listeners to understand this point. Alhamdulillah, I have studied, Razi, that what is a usuli discussion, okay? Now let me, inshallah, educate all of us, inshallah, together. My dear brother, understand, first we need to discuss and rebuttal the principle itself, okay? After that, it comes to the implementation of that principle, okay? These two things are separate, okay? So let's, in the first one hour, we are discussing what exactly the principle is, which yeah. we need to apply to the prophecies okay yes. then you said that don't uh, why you're not allowing to me this is the examples this is the implementation part no one is salam you know salam salam hudaybi etc i have told you that today today after we discuss in the first one hour the principle itself let's today apply to four cases sul hudaybiya you know salam salam muhammadi begum and earthquake okay and then in the next episode i am not changing the point will apply to rest of the examples as well why i said this i gave you a simple reason because you and me i have husnuzan about you brother razi okay we both have the intention to educate the masses okay when many examples will be discussed okay the common people they don't have that level of knowledge they may not understand that what was the end conclusion of a particular example so for this reason i did not limit the principle <coughs> I have given you given the Ahmadis one hour. Tell us the principle in the next okay. one hour today. These four, next time the rest of them. That's fine. But when we're explaining our principles, we will still quote the Quran to justify these principles because all of our principles are in the Quran. If you want to ignore those verses for today, that's your choice. I can't force you to, you know, take these examples. But brother Imtiaz, before I answer, you asked around six questions. So I wrote them down. I'll just make sure you ask this. But before that. Is there any usul I mentioned that you believe is against Quran and Ahadith? Or do you agree with them all? Because everything you said, you didn't differ with anything. So you have to be clear. I mentioned five usul. If you like, I can mention one by one. You can tell me what you differ on. So I know what you're thinking. Because my references I have here are from the Ahli Hadith ulama. Because you're a student of Zubair Ali Zai. Right? So I... You know, I watch all his videos regarding Jamaat's Q&A, right? And I want to be, you know, even Zubair Ali Zaisab, if you look at his videos, he's trying to quote Quran Hadith. That, that's what we're trying to do. So I just want to ask you, which of these usus do you disagree with or, all, or, all, or are all of them in accordance with Quran and a Hadith? Because if you don't tell me that, I can answer these, but I don't know what, what you're disagreeing with. If you agree with something, I shouldn't need to defend that, right? Good point. Good point. Okay. Good Let point. me just okay. write this down one second. Okay. Not a problem. Yeah. Not a problem. Uh, but uh, you can tell me now what yeah, you yeah, disagree yeah. with. Yeah. Yeah. So my brother Razi, here's the thing. Okay. Uh, 
let's go point by point okay because for example once you will point out for us that what exactly you referring as ijtihadi ghalti or error of interpretation in the case of hudaybiyah then we will be able to understand your usul much better that's one okay. point you need to so let's okay. start with that then let's just, start just, with just, just one more point just one more okay? okay secondly because as as you know the crux of the matter is as you already touched upon that waid are mashrut okay the warnings are conditional okay so you need to tell us that what exactly is the condition that has to be met perfect so let's do these two then you can ask the next that's okay it, because it, do, i have only two minutes so it. it wouldn't make sense for me to answer six questions i so understand just, i agree i agree i agree okay perfect so uh first your first question is i just have the references here your first question is what is our disagree uh, what is our uh point regarding sula hudabia no 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 right? no 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 what Please. was the mistake in sula hudabia no 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 exactly point out from the yeah. entire event of hudaybiyah yeah. that yeah. what exactly is ijtihadi galti okay. of nabi sallallahu okay. alaihi wasallam perfect so the ijtihadi galti of nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam regarding the vision he saw it's in musnad ahmad many other books of hadith kharaja rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam amal hudaybiyah yuridu ziyarat albayt la yuridu qitala ibn taymiya rahmullah explains this in the same way we do in his book majmu al fatawa and the ijtihadi galti is basically li anna nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam خرج مؤتمرا ورجاء ان يدخل مكه ده النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم when he saw the vision that him and his sahaba will perform the umrah he صلى الله عليه وسلم believed that it would happen that year which is why he took the sahaba with him adnan rashid is shaking his head so i have a gift for him today ibn taymiyah rahmullah so adnan rashid just said this is wrong brother muhammad imtiaz now you have to tell me who's right adnan rashid or ibn taymiyah and ibn kathir and all of them what what, what did said, i say i did not say do this you didn't do this so i'm uh, right what, then uh, what am i doing this to what am i doing okay, this to okay okay i take that back he believes i'm right i guess <laughs> So no, I don't. Brother, I don't. I'll I'll tell you what I was shaking my head on. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Okay. Let me repeat quickly. Point. Yeah. Yes. So the point was that Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he saw the dream of Sula Hudabia, he believed that him and his Sahaba would go die, which is why Bukhari says he says Sallam took the fourteen hundred Sahaba with the animals as well, and he <laughs> wanted to and believed it would happen that year. This is accepted by the Muslims. So this was. the ijtihadi ghalati the nabi sallam thought that they would physically perform umrah but it was fulfilled with fathun azim with the sulah hudaybiyah which led to fatha makkah we don't differ on this last time you tried saying that you know was it not fathun azim we accept we love nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam it was beautiful but he did okay we really believe Good. that he would I, do umrah you got 10 more 10 you got 10 more okay. seconds okay That's all. The, for the first question, this is all I have. Then the once uh, brother Imtiaseb and addresses this, then I'll answer his second question. Unless he wants me to answer that first. Okay, what is ruju? No, 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 no. So that after? Guys, after, before, after. Okay. before you answer, one. before you answer, just want to say. So those people who are Can not I, Ahmadis yes. in the back studio, please leave now and come back when we invite you. I have to keep repeating this, please. just follow the rules of the panel right now leave if you're not ahmadi and if you're ahmadi then you're welcome to stay so okay? can i use Thank my you. 10 okay. seconds actually there's one thing yes. i just want to add yes. quickly yes. so yes. i i quoted ibn taymiyah rahmullah he explains that nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam believed it would happen that year but allah switched it with something more beneficial ibn kafir also says that falamma saru amal hudaybiyah lam yashukka jamaatun minhum ان هذه الرؤيا تتفسر هذا الام ذا الصحابه اند نبي سسم بليف ذات ات وود هابن ذا ذا واز ذا انتربريتيشن ذا ريفيليشن نيفر سيد اني ثينغ لايك ذس ذات ات وود هابن ذس يير سو ذير از نو ميستيك اي هاف ا فيري كويك كويشن اوكي يور 10 10 سيكندز اور اي هاف ا فيري كويك كويشن اوكي هو اكشلي سيد ذس واز ان اجتهادي غلطي مسند احمد ابن تيميه ذا الصحابه اور ذا بروفيت Who said this was an ijtihadi ghalati? 
Okay, so or this brings a, us a, 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 yeah. an error, an error of understanding on the part of the Prophet. That's what your claim is, right? Who yeah. said it? Okay, so I'll quote Razi, Ibn Taymiyyah. Uh, Razi, 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 because, Razi, because it is the same point, allow me to just uh, add to the same point. Okay, because so I shouldn't just... answer him yet on this? No, no, no. You will answer this exactly the same point. Okay. okay? okay. So basically, Razi, here's the point. You gave an impression to the audience that Ibn Taymiyyah, rahimahullah, and Imam Ahmad Ibn Hamal, rahimahullah, they are on your side by calling it an ijtihadi ghalti or error of interpretation okay so it can only be addressed or clarified please bring the exact text share your screen we want to see the word error of interpretation or ijtihadi ghalti only then we can or, or or if they did not say this but you understood this then you need to make a public apology that they did not say in the text this is what you infer from the text. So please clarify. Did they say this? Let, or me, let me clarify quickly yeah. because yeah. I don't want to be misrepresented. So scholars use different terminology, right? They agreed that Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam believed it would happen that year. This is, we are calling this Ijtihadi Galti with urf am And, you know, in discussions, you use certain terminology. You don't have to use the word Ijtihadi Galti. You can say Galati, mistake in interpretation. We're good with all of them. Whatever you want to call it, was it a mistake in interpretation or no? This is the real point. I use the term Ijtihadi Galati. I can show that, you know, there's other examples where you know, some scholars call it something, some call it something else. The point is, Sulla Hudebiya, all of your ulama are with us. I stand by that. They write that Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam believed it would happen that year. But it didn't happen that year. Okay, you finished? Yes. Oh, you finished? Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, Razi. Uh, look, brother. Look, I really love you as a brother in humanity. Let's save each other's time. Let's save yeah. people's time. You can share your screen. Bring any quotation which you want to put on on the screen, either from Ibn Taymiyyah Rahimullah, Imam Ahmad, so people can see what exactly they said. Because you need, I, I, I have no problem. They might have used a different term, but you need to tell us what term exactly, what you are using as ijtihadi ghalti or error of interpretation. What term exactly they use? Perfect. Okay, show so, us that term. So I just request you give me like. 50 seconds I'll open the references because I have the text here no so problem. I'll just quickly open it no one problem. second no problem uh, while, 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 while you're opening it just to yeah. uh, clarify in okay. Arabic the term is khata al ijtihadiya yeah. okay what we want to see is either terms like khata al ijtihadiya okay or something like that I mean we will accept any terminology that gives us that meaning because we you know, understand basic Arabic, right? So what you can do is put something out and say Ibn Taymiyyah said this and it means this. Then we can see whether your interpretation of Ibn Taymiyyah's words is correct. Yeah, and if it's correct. not there, yeah. then it would be only just for you to make an apology and say we have been claiming for the last three, three to four weeks yeah. that Ibn Taymiyyah, your spiritual father, you've been calling him my spiritual father, but I only have one spiritual father, and that is Muhammad Rasulullah. I don't have any other spiritual fathers. Every other individual, um, basically, I follow them uh, on the condition whether they follow the Prophet or not. Okay, so my spiritual father is Muhammad Rasulullah. So, Ibn Taymiyyah, what did he say? What did Imam Ahmad say? We need to see istahadi galati, which is what you are claiming. No, the same see now. Yeah. yeah. So if you yeah. just let me add, you have to remember, I'll give you an example. I was discussing with some Salafis the other day, right? And they were saying, Brother Muhammad Imtiasib, you'll be shocked at this. They said that when a prophet does wada to his people regarding the ilm ghab and future, even that's not a prophecy. So we're having trouble in connecting with words. You can call it whatever you like. The point is, he وسلم, went thinking it would happen that year and he was making okay. a mistake during that. Normal, please. That's I, the I, point. Please, 
Adnan, please. What Nabi says in Ibn Taymiyyah's words, let me just open Ibn Taymiyyah's quickly. You caught me off guard. Yes, uh, yes, please. Because I was looking for them, now I stopped. So let me find it again now. Please, so, please. So the no point more talk, is... No okay, more let talk me just, before you find. Please, no okay, more talk before. Please, yeah. please allow me to quickly... We'll be quiet now. Open it. Okay, I found the Ibn Taymiyyah one. Now I'll just open the Musnad Ahmad one sec. Or do you want to do this bring, first? Bring Ibn Taymiyyah first. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, Hashim, I'm going to share my screen, cool? Okay, is there fine? Do you guys know the website app to Ross? Adnan, no, no, brother, please know? bring it on the screen, brother. Okay. We want to see. Put, so, put it up on the screen, please. Yeah. Yeah. We're uh, waiting. We're waiting for you. We're waiting for you. Yeah. <clears throat> so, do you see it? Yeah. Do you see my screen? Okay. So, normally, okay. this is the. Do you goal. want to expand a bit to zoom in so we can see I just much more clearly? I just page. Uh, what page does it say? Do you see the PDF? Yeah, we see the pages, but okay. uh, we, where are you reading from? So it will be from... Uh... When you do read, do zoom in so we can see the text properly. Take the screen, you know, widen it. Yeah, okay. Uh... Perfect, perfect. Okay, so this is. Uh, do you guys see it? Is it big enough? Yeah, yeah. Can you can you make it bigger? I mean, so, can you make? Okay, Razi. Yeah. Okay. It's it's okay. not big enough. Let me let me try. Uh, okay, Razi, Razi, just to save fine. our time, exactly come to that part of the quotation where he is calling it anything like, ikhata ijtihadiya, anything like that. Any word yeah, you use, perfect, show us perfect. that word. So you yeah so, I, I can see it I can see it read the part it? which okay. part which which part so uh one sec one eight seven okay so the thing is this has a great context if you allow me to explain the context but anyhow let's just go to this uh this context right here it's actually exactly what you wanted and I didn't even know this is the same page so basically he says that. Uh, read the relevant part, Razi, please. Yeah. Yeah, right here, right here, right here, right here. Okay, so this is the same context. Okay, here he's explaining it's what uh, what Misluhada right? That no, no, no. Explain, explain, explain for the people. Yes. So, the people. Ibn Taymiyyah Rahmullah, here he also, right before this, he mentions that it is possible, and I'll show that as well, Adnan, but do not worry. Today is Ibn Taymiyyah's day. So, this says it is not forbidden upon the prophets that they think something, and then what happens is different from what they thought. So, they think something regarding a prophecy and its time and the qualities, and it is not as they thought. Okay, now this is the quote I was quoting right here. So he quotes, uh, uh, for example, it says, "Wakasadahu la yujibu an yaniya ma akhbara bhi, fa inna hu Nabi Sallam kad yaksidu shayya wa la yakun." Nabi Sallam plans something, and that's not what happens. Bal yakunu gairuhu. Rather, what happens is apart from that. Is laysa min shart in Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. It is not from the shurut of Nabi Sallam. An yakuna kama kasadahu that it happens as he planned. Bal min tamami neemati rabbihi. Despite with all the neema of Allah the Almighty upon Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, an yukayidahu amma yaksiduhu ila amrin akhir. It's possible that Allah does something else as what He wanted. 
Kuwa unfound mema kasa dahu. Let me yes. finish. Ru- let me finish. Yeah. Let me finish. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yes. He then says, "Faida kana min al jais fil babi bab al amri wa nahi an yadunu shayan, thumma yatabayyan al am lahum bi khilafihi. Fal an yajuz dalika fi bab al waid fi bab al waad wal waid bi tariq al aula wal ahra." He quotes Sula Hudaybiyah. Then he explains this. So Adnan Bay, may Allah guide you. I know you're saying now that Ibn Taymiyyah isn't your uh, spiritual father. If you want Please, to no say one. that now, that's your fine. Is at least stay with us. Okay. Okay. Wait. Uh, uh, one you second. You want to speak yeah, yeah, as well? Yeah. Yeah. First of no? all. First of all. First of all. First of all. Here, the issue is. First of all, Allah tells us this in the Quran. You would don't need Ibn Taymiyyah for this. So you have not made any point. You asked, I, wait, 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 wait. You wait, asked, wait, wait, wait. I wait. gave Quran. Of course, of course, of course. So why would you go to Ibn Taymiyyah when the Quran It's, tells us? Wait, wait. When the Quran tells us, let me explain something. To you. No, no, no. The, when the Quran tells us, "Audo billahi min shaitan rajim, Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim, Inna kala tahdi man ahbabta, walakin Allah yahdi man yasha, wa huwa a'lamu bil muhtadin." The Quran tells us, "Oh Muhammad, you cannot guide those okay. you love." So a prophet can want one thing, another can happen. Likewise, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam, at the Battle of Badr, you know, he wanted one solution. Okay, he proposes proposes one solution. Allah sends down another option. Right or wrong? Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yes. The regarding Badr, Nabi Sallallahu yeah. was praying yeah. Allah as well. Yeah, yeah. Was that an istihadi galti of the Prophet mentioned that's, in the Quran? That's no, no. Wait, You're wait, wait. Apples wait. and oranges here. That's wait, no, no, it's not. Wait, 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 wait. No, no. One We're second, Imtiaz, by patience, patience. If wait, you wait, quote wait. examples, all quote Nuh alayhi salam. Then. Okay. Yes, yes. We will go there. Wait, one by one. We will, we will nip this in the bud, inshallah, tonight. Right? I'm asking. So why? What do you mean, astaghfirullah? <laughs> I don't know. I'm about... not used to this language. I don't know what you're saying. Uh, nip it in the bud. Yeah. What's wrong with that language? Never I'm mind. Okay. Let's save okay. Time. So, 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 so now, now, the point is, the Quran mentions so-called errors of the Prophet. Errors of the Prophet. Okay. We don't need Ibn Taymiyyah to tell us this. Okay. That a Prophet may want one thing. He may be doing one thing, but Allah wants another. Correct? Yeah. Is that the understanding? This is in right? our debate topic okay. right now. Wait. Our topic yes, is wait. regarding no. ilm and wait. of what no. the prophet wait. is told. Wait. Wait. Razi, thing Razi, will happen. It's Razi, the hadith once... there. Otherwise, the Quran verses on this. There's countless. Razi, can we can we have a conversation? Yes, yes. Okay, brother Mtiaz, patience. Be be very calm. We're having a very nice calm conversation. Not by the come. point. The point to point. We're not going off the point. Trust me. Trust me on this. Trust me. My question to you, Razi, is: Does the Quran mention its tahadi galtis of the Prophet yes, using your does. using? Okay, okay. Now we we say we don't need Ibn Taymiyyah for those things to know that the prophets can want one thing because they are human beings. Okay, they can follow the impulses. They can follow their feelings, right? And Allah wants another. This is a normal, standard understanding of uh, prophets and how they how they do things. As you don't we have understand. a difference. Wait, on this. okay, wait. Yeah, okay. We're talking when, about when 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 a prophet speaks on the authority of God. When the prophet when a prophet speaks on the authority of God using the name of God and says this is from God that this will happen. Can a prophet make a mistake in that? Yes, That's a can. very different way. Yes, yeah, can. wait, wait, in his wait. Okay. He can, like, has it no, this allowed. is this is where now Imtiaz Bay over to you. you okay, so before Imtiaz Bay, he said a lot. I have to make something clear. Look, you brothers were raising an allegation that there's no ijtihadi error in Sulah Hudabia, right? Our point, we've never claimed that we, Allah said, let me finish. I let you We speak. don't call it istahadi error. I let you. We I don't let call you it speak. istahadi let error. Let me please finish as well. Please. The point is, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam was given ilm e right? It's in the Quran as well. And he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam thought and misinterpret what would happen. This is the point that a prophet may see something. Not correct. The, Not correct. So this is what Not I put correct. from Ibn Timi. So he's wrong as Not well. Not correct. 
Yeah, he's I'll, tell you, I'll tell you That's how. That's fine. Then we, we can move Wait, on. If you accept yeah, he's wrong, I'm yeah, good with I'll that. Tell, I'll tell yeah. you how. What was the report from Musnad Ahmad? Re read it again. Okay. Let, me, let me get that out. Uh, do you want me to share the screen or can I read the Arabic? Okay. Because I'm, I'm going to show you now. I'll read no, the no, Arabic. No. I'll read the Arabic. It says... Wait, wait. One second in Taz. Musnad Ahmad. Just, just let me do this. Musnad Ahmad, what does the report say? Okay. You, br you so, brought it. Yes. Yeah, so I have it here. I have it here. There's yes. two reports. Okay. First one is Kharaja Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam Amal Hudaybiya Yuridu Ziyarat al Bayt La Yuridu Kitalan that Nabi Sassam went out for Am of Hudaybiya. He wanted to do the visit of the Bayt, Bayt the Haram, and not kill. He didn't want fight. Wasaka Mahu al Hadia Sabina Badanatan Wakana Nasu Sab Amiya Rajulin. That there are 700 men with him as well. There's difference of opinion on this. Anyhow, the next narration says Wakatkana Ashab Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam. That Nabi Sazam saw a dream. Then it says, Falama Rao Ma Rao Minasulhi Warujui Wamala Rasulullahi Sallallahu Alaihi Sam Allah Nafsihi Dahala Nasa Mindalika Amrun Azim Hatta Kadu and Yahlaku. That the companions of the Prophet Sallam went out without a doubt of victory. Because of the vision of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Allahu that, Akbar. Yeah. Yes, so Allahu Akbar. Is, so we believe Allahu Akbar. It's fun. <laughs> so, so wait, wait now. Wait. The Prophet saw a dream. Yes? Yes? Yeah, yeah. 100% regarding in, 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 uh, Yeah. And according to the dream, he traveled. Yes? Yeah. About life progress. Wait, wait, wait. One second, guys. So in the dream, he was shown that he will go to Umrah, yes? Yeah. Okay. So the dream does not set any limit when the Umrah will be done, correct? I agree, 100%. Okay, wait, wait. So who shows the Prophet the dream? Allah the Almighty. So Allah wants the Prophet to travel without Allah telling the Prophet when the Umrah will be, right? Exactly. Allah so the, the Prophet, wait, let, wait, wait, step by step. Let's yeah. have a conversation. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I appreciate your patience with me. So Allah shows the dream to the Prophet without telling him when the Umrah will be done. The Prophet complies. As far as the Prophet is concerned, he is obeying Allah, correct? Yes. And he, okay. Yes. So he is not making an ijtihadi ghalti. Pay attention. Wait, yeah. wait. The dream tells him he is to go. And what does he do? He goes. Goes for what? Goes for the victory, which is what Allah planned. So Allah wanted to take the Prophet in the first year to achieve the victory. That's why Allah did not tell him when the Umrah will be done. So the journey, the dream was to go and attain victory because the report makes it very clear. The Sahaba saw the victory. That was foretold, right? So the victory was done on the first journey. There was no ijtihadi ghalti there. So when you bring Ibn Taymiyyah with a long chapter, with a lot of things discussed, which we agree with. We agree with all of those things that the prophets can make an error of judgment. Okay, like the Quran gives multiple examples. But when Allah shows them a sign, okay, and Allah wants them to do something, that sign becomes fulfilled. How? In this case, you brought the report from Muslim Ahmad. I didn't do it. Okay, you brought two things, Ibn Taymiyyah and Muslim Ahmad. Ibn Taymiyyah, we agree with 100%. That is the position of Ahlul Sunnati wal Jama'ah. Ah. Okay? We agree with it. We have no problem with that. Quran gives us examples of that. Here, you're trying to spin an incident to basically claim your understanding that this was an ijtihadi ghalti. I'm saying this was never an ijtihadi ghalti. This was the plan of Allah. Allah did not tell him that this year is not the year of Umrah, but this year is the year of victory. And you what know. is the victory? Wait, wait. The, what is the victory? Sulh Hudaybiyah. Okay? So the Prophet وسلم, is simply complying. Allah tells him, go. He goes. He goes. So as far as the Prophet is concerned, he hasn't misunderstood. He packs his bags. He takes his companions. They put on the ahram and they go. Because they're thinking that Umrah will be this year. Okay, but Allah has a plan. Allah doesn't tell them when the Umrah will be. Allah wants the victory, which is Sulh Hudaybiyah, because Allah calls it, A'udhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajeem, Inna Fatahna Laka Fathan Mubina. This okay. is the vision. 
This is the Roya. This is the dream. So, 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 yeah. So there is no istahadi galti. Okay. Let me explain yeah. now. Let me explain. I'll make yeah. this simple for you because you're saying things we don't differ on, right? We've never said that the wahi that Allah, Allah sent. Akbar. We agree that there's no istahadi galti. No, I never said that. See, now you're misquoting me. I'm with Ibn Taymi on this one, not you. Number one, Ibn the let me finish. Let me finish. I didn't interrupt you. I listened patiently. The dream which was shown to Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Did he Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam believe he would do Umrah that year? Yes or no? Yes. 100%. Was he wrong in this? No. No. Because, because Allah... I, I'll, tell you, I'll, I'll, tell you, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. I'll tell you why. Honestly, no, he, was he, he was not... That. Wait, wait. He was not wrong in obeying Allah. This was not okay. Okay, so Allah, Allah, top. Allah. Okay, do we agree, Razi, myself, Adnan Rashid, and Razi? Do we agree that Allah had a plan? Hundred percent. Okay, this is and the, and and part part of the plan was the journey. Correct. Hundred percent. Did the Prophet go on the journey as yes, Allah planned? Yes, he did. Yes, and it was and, fulfilled. Uh, and it was fulfilled because the in this was year. Fulfilled. Right. In this year, in this year, the plan was not to do Umrah, umrah because it was known to Allah. Exactly. Okay? In, 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 Allah yes, knew, but yes, Nabi Sassam yeah, didn't know. Yeah. Nabi Sassam thought it would happen that year. Was Nabi Sassam wrong? Nabi, Nabi, no, no. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also thought, Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam also thought that what he did with the prisoners of Badr was correct. Allah corrected him, right? Okay. okay. So, so, so this is. I mean, you can you can call it what you like. No, you're but not answering the question. This... Way, I want your view to be clear to the viewers. Allah the Almighty showed the vision to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The ayah is clear. Allah Rasulahu bil haq. No difference of opinion. The wahi of Allah Akbar. Hundred percent correct. Yes. Nabi yes. sallallahu alaihi wasallam is following the wahi of Allah. Yes. Did Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam think that he would do Umrah that year, yes or no? Yes, he did. Was yes. he wrong in this thought? Did his wrong turn out? No, did his no. thought he, turn he, out he, he, wrong? He, or he, did he, they fulfill it that year? Did they uh, do Umrah that year? Or did no, that... they, they did not. They did not. Because Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, did Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, when he go when when he, he went he into would do it. Okay. that's my okay. question. Okay. You're not okay. answering the question, okay. brother. Okay, okay. Let okay. I me mean, so, be quick because I want Muhammad and Tiazbay to speak because I don't know if he agrees with you. My question is: Allah sent the wahi hundred percent. Allah the Almighty told Nabi Sallam Lakat Sadaq Allah Rasulahu Ya Bil Haq. No doubt, the prophecy was fulfilled. No doubt. The simple question okay. is: Did Nabi okay. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam think that they would okay. do Umrah that year Good. based on the prophecy? Brilliant. Yes or no? Brilliant, brilliant. So, so, so now okay, I think we're getting somewhere. So, you're saying the essence of the prophecy was fulfilled, yes? 100%. Okay. Yes. And, and how it was fulfilled was not exactly, was not exactly, or not every single point of the process was according to the understanding of the Prophet. Is that what of you're saying? Prophecy. Yes. Agreed. 100%. Now, what, okay. What, so, so what do we get out of this? We get what we get out what, of this yeah, is that yeah, yeah wait wait I'm I'm giving you what we get out of this is that the essence of the prophecy what was foretold was fulfilled to the letter number one the journey number two the fat the victory okay number three the umrah which came next year so every single step of the prophecy was fulfilled as mm -hmm. foretold by Allah and His Messenger. So okay, number one. Okay, take okay, one wait. step back and you understand why we present this. This is why the confusion yeah, is happening. Yeah, and we, and, and we don't this to show you that because your original claim, I know you're denying the audio now. Let's put that aside. I won't bring the audio again. The claim we the usul we presented was that it's possible that a prophet is told something regarding a prophecy, he makes a misjudgment of how it would be fulfilled. And you said one dangerous point right now, a few moments ago, you said that Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam knew the fulfillment as they signed the Hudaybiyah. Did I misinterpret you? Or is that what you said? Sorry, repeat that. So when, Hudaybiyah, what? Nabi, when the prophecy, when Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam signed the treaty, Yes. Are you claiming that Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam knew 
how exactly this would bring upon, upon Fatah Makkah word to word, every detail? Was it understood when it actually took place? I just want to know your view on this. Yeah, the Prophet ﷺ had complete trust in Allah. 100%. And when yeah, yeah, and when he was questioned about when when he was questioned about this, that we came for Umrah and Umrah did not happen, Ya Rasulullah, and now we are signing this apparently humiliating terms, four four terms, right? You remember that? There were four terms signed signed to. And the Prophet, what did he say? I do not do anything of myself. Exactly. It is Allah who commands me. So we agree. So, so, we agree. so, so, so uh, let, let me explain. Even in this, there was no ijtihadi galti. I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why. You know why? Because even the, the putting of the ahram, the putting of the... We both agree. We have both agreed that that journey, the first year, was part of the prophecy. Correct? Yeah, 100%. Okay. And, and, and that, that was part of the roya, part of the dream. But the roya okay. also had the umrah. Okay, yes, it had Umrah. And he okay. but, thought but, he would do But Umrah. clearly, no, no, clearly, 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 the prophecy had two parts, if not more. Number one was the travel and the victory, correct? Yes? Yeah. We don't and number two, on that. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So let's, so please, let me tell be, you why. Be, be patient. Be patient with me. Razi, Razi, yeah, yeah. Razi, be patient with me. Be patient with me. Just go with me. Number one was the journey and the victory, which was Sul Hudaybiyah, correct? Yes. Yes? Number two was the Umrah. Yes. Okay. In both cases, the journey was made to Makkah, correct? Yes. But the first so time Umrah didn't okay. happen. Okay. It didn't happen. I, I agree. So, Razi, I agree. But, 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 but it even, no, no. Even the first journey was for Umrah. Yes, but the dream correct. never Wait, said that okay. this would happen. Why would what? No, the, the dream. Look, the dream. You are misinterpreting the dream. What I'm saying is, Nabi sallallahu alaihi wasallam misinterpreted. Do no, he did not. Him? No, no. So when no, he no. went, when he went yeah. to do Umrah, he didn't do it based on the dream. No, no, he did not. Let me explain to you why I say that. The prophecy had two parts. We have already agreed. One was the journey, for the agreement. Correct. Yes or no? Based on the dream, Nabi yes. Sassim was told that he will go for Umrah. This is how he interpreted it. Yes, when he but, got, okay. Allah knew what he meant. What, okay. Nabi Sassim okay. and Sahaba didn't know. Wait, the treaty wait. of Hudaybiyah ended up Razi, being why, why is it so difficult? Wait. The prophecy had two parts. One was the journey and the victory. Journey, The journey leading to the victory. So Hudaybiyah, correct? Yeah. And the second was the Umrah. Correct? We both, don't differ on this. Y yes. So I'm, I'm asking you to affirm. Correct? Yeah. Yes. Correct. Okay. Both were fulfilled. Both journeys were made specifically with the reason of making their way to Mecca for the Umrah. Dream, yes. The dream did not mention these two parts. This I, I, was fulfilled. This is... Try, try to understand my part. My 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 my. Now let me speak yeah. for one my, minute. My, so my, understand my, my understanding well. of the prophecy is both journeys were foretold, both journeys happened. Both this is journeys, how Nabi system wait, understood it. Okay, no, that's fine. That's fine. That's I agree fine. With you. Then I, I with Nabi system, I, I don't agree but, with you. But I am saying yeah. this was that's not fine. an istahadi galti. The fine. prophet was guided. Yeah. Listen, yeah. You, try to understand. The prophet did not under, misunderstand. He did not. He didn't know. He didn't have the knowledge. Not having the knowledge, and not having uh, the understanding or misunderstanding are two different things. Would you agree? I wouldn't agree with what you just said because according okay, to all I will of repeat. your ulama, Nabi okay. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, the dream did not mention these two parts. This Razi. is. Ad Let me finish. I didn't cut you off. Let me speak as well. This is Adnan Seb Tafsir, fifteen hundred years later. I, I'm disagreeing not, with you. I agree with Nabi Sallam who did misinterpret the dream. But Allah no, he did knew, not. But you knew not. Okay, so he, he didn't misinterpret the dream. Now let me ask you a question. I, I'll tell Allah you why. Let me explain. Let me explain. The prophecy had two parts. We have already agreed, right? No, it didn't. It didn't. You now you're to, going back on it? The, dream, the prophecy in Allah's eyes had two parts. Did Nabi Sallam know these two parts when he did Umrah? Okay. Okay. This is okay. Now we're agreeing, to, right? We're agreeing. Yeah, we are agreeing the prophecy had two parts, right? In Allah's eyes, yes. 
Yes, that's what I mean. The yeah. prophecy Nabi of two parts. didn't know he misinterpreted it. I agree. I you no, agree he did not misinterpret. No, 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 no. Let me, I don't agree. Me. I don't agree that he misinterpreted. Allah, you have confused I, the people. You have confused no, the no, people no, wait, wait, together. He confused no, me no, and no, him. No. He confused the Ibn Thimir. He's no, confusing no, Rasulullah no. sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Billah. Rasulullah okay, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said he had the dream we, that he will, and he interpreted as Umrah Adnan. Razi, 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 no, Razi, he didn't let's, think that let's I have a conversation. convince you Razi. like that. Nambi. This is clear cut. Nas. Let's Ibn have a conversation. Well. Let's have a conversation. Let's have a conversation. Did the prophecy have two parts? You just said yes, according to Allah. Yes, in Allah prophecy dies. had two parts. In Allah's eyes. Good. Dies. Good. That's what I mean. When I say prophecy had two parts, that's what exactly I mean. Okay. Now, the prophet didn't know that. I agree with you. Not that he misinterpreted it. He did not know how the prophecy in his two parts will unfold. He did not he know that. Know the what two Allah? Parts, okay. Okay. He didn't Wait. even know so them. He, how can you say this? Allah, Allah, Allah knew. Let me finish. Allah, Allah knew. knew yeah. Allah knew. Yeah. Allah knew how he will make the prophecy fulfilled. How he will make it unfold. So what did what does Allah do? Allah makes him go on this journey with the intention of Umrah. Allah knows the Umrah will not happen. The Prophet does not know. The Prophet is complying with the command of Allah to go. Listen, first, let me finish. He is going. So he did not make any error in judgment because he, he knew he has he to go. Umrah? Did no, he think he, he would had do no? Umrah? He no, no. Adnami, he thought it, dangerous. but he didn't know. Okay, so was his like, thought wait, correct wait. or wrong? Can 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 I can I finish? Can okay. I finish? So the prophet makes the journey according to Allah's plan. Allah knows the prophet does not know. Allah knows the prophet does not know. Sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay, he doesn't know. How the prophecy will be fulfilled. The prophet is simply complying. Allah, Did Allah commands tell him, him to go. Yes, yes. Did Allah he told him to go. Yes. interpret it as he would do Umrah that year? No, no. He he simply uh, when, when Allah wait when Allah tells him to go, the prophet وسلم, believes Allah is telling him to go for Umrah. So and Allah knows. Animals and Let Sahaba me finish. Just I'm explaining. I'm explaining. I'm explaining. I'm explaining. I'm explaining. Be patient. Be patient. I know this kind of dismantles your no, entire it doesn't house of because cards. I have Bukhari yeah. open right now. It says the prophet did ihram and he took animals. And you're saying he just did it for so, fun. So he why why are you attacking umrah? straw man? Why are you How's attacking, attacking straw man? man? How I've, I've I've said about five. I times think Imtiaz right disagrees with Wait. you. You brothers should discuss no. if what Im you're saying is even right. Im 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 Imtiaz by let him come and disagree with me. Don't you? You shouldn't disagree on his behalf. Let him come and disagree I, with me. I love Adnan. <laughs> I love Adnan. He's the Amir. <laughs> okay. Mashallah. Now, now, well, now Nabi my question was you. the Amir in Sulah Udabia. Maybe listen to his own interpretation. In this, in this right? stream, he's yes. the Amir. Yeah. Yes, so in Nabi this way, yes. Nabi yes. Salam, Adnan Bayi thing, Razi, Razi, you, you, Sahaba, Razi, can we can we come back to the topic? Uh, Razi, if, if Razi, this discussion Razi, between Razi, you are not going yeah, anywhere, we can bring yeah. Imtiaz Bayi to speak, yeah? Yeah, yeah, wait. No, yeah. let me summarize and then we can go summarize, to Imtiaz yeah. Okay, so prophecy had two parts. Razi is saying the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam made a mistake in understanding. No, he did not. I am saying he did exactly what Allah wanted him to do. I agree. Allah wanted. Okay, so wait, wait. So there is no mistake there. You're arguing the prophet, on things wait. we don't differ on, Adnan. Okay, this so, is why so, time is being wasted. Razi, Razi, let me finish. The Prophet did exactly what Allah wanted him to do. Allah wanted to. Allah wanted him to go to Makkah. Allah does not give him details. Allah tells him go, is, and Allah no, shows no, him no. a vision. So okay, wait, wait. So the Prophet complies. He goes, but Allah fulfills his plan, which is the Fath, Sul Hudaybiyah, which Allah calls, Inna fatahna laka fathan Now let this me is ask a clear you, victory. You so now, now he comes back. Something. Wait, wait. He comes back. He comes back and he goes back the next year and does Umrah. Okay. With strength, with courage, with confidence. Both parts of the prophecies are fulfilled exactly how Allah planned. I agree. In Mirza, wait. In Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Don't Qadiyani's change the topic. Case. Don't wait, change wait, the topic. Wait, wait, <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Let Razi, me say one. Why don't you allow Adnan to finish? Um, finish. Then finish. You, can, you can speak. Yeah, yeah. Mirza, Ghulam, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiyani, he says, 
if my marriage to Muhammad Begum does not take place, then Allah did not speak. You're lying. Allah, Open Allah. on Jamiat on page 32 and read it out for the viewers. Don't misquote, brother. Don't misquote. Okay. Let me okay. answer now. Let's stick okay. to Sulah You're yeah, a historian. Yeah. No, 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 no. Let me I say know. one I, thing. Brother, why are we I discussing Sulah Hadebiyah? We're discussing it because let me see one thing. Okay, wait. Please. Wait. Please why are we discussing? Point. You will speak. You will speak. Why are we discussing Sulah Hadebiyah? We're discussing it. For Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, because you guys deliberately conflate the two things. There is no correlation. There is no relevance. There's there is no relevance. Is. In one case, right in one case, one in one case, the Qadiani missionary called Raziullah is agreeing that all aspects of the prophecy were fulfilled. In the other case, Adnan Rashid, the Muslim Sunni Dai, is saying. The prophecy is not muhaddis, fulfilled. Muhaddis Adnan Rashid. No, not Muhaddis. Yes, not. You're a scholar in your advertisements. Now you're a student. You need to pick okay. which one you are, right? Okay. Number one. That's just okay. the side. <laughs> okay, no, no, let me clarify. An Ijaza and Ijaza and Hadith doesn't make you a Muhaddis. Come on, man. Where can are I, you studying? Can I Where are you studying? Now? Can I speak now? <laughs> you, 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 you speak, speak and Intaz Bai will come. Yes, in. yes. I want him to speak as well. Now, let me explain. Number one, uh, the first point I was saying is Royal Ambiya Wahyun. Is that true or no? The visions of the prophets are Wahi. Correct? Generally correct. Yes, absolutely. This is Ijma's, uh, the ulama it's in Sahih al-Bukhari as well. I don't yes, think correct, any correct, Ahli correct. Atis Alim has disagreed. Okay. Correct, the yeah. dreams of a prophet is wahi. Allah showed Nabi Sassam the dream that he would perform Umrah. Okay. Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam took his Sahaba and the animals he wore the ihram thinking and believing like Ibn Taymiyyah says, Raja hoping as well. That they would do Umrah that year. This Correct. was the thought of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He believed it. Allah the Almighty knew the reality. For Alima Malam Ta'alamu. In the same way, the prophecies, when we quote them, this is just one example. We have countless. Allah knew everything. Hazrat Ahmad Alasam sometimes would misinterpret prophecies, but we can show such examples from every prophet. And Alhamdulillah, Ibn Taymiyyah is on my side that Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam did make side. mistake. That's why you have to read the whole context. He quotes no. this example in the same uh, you know, context. If you want to take it out and misinterpret him hundreds of years later, that's fine. But then Ibn Kathir, you can't save. You can't save Ibn Kathir and Ibn Qayyim. I have him as well. He says the same thing. Do you want me to quote Ibn Qayyim? Ibn Qayyim, he plagiarized from Ibn Taymiyyah and a lot of things. So okay. it doesn't surprise me. Plagiarism. Oh, okay, is okay, wait. Adnan, wait, wait, wait. My, Adnan, my, please do, take your do, word. Do you know? Adnan, do you know? Adnan, Adnan, my, Adnan, Adnan, my, please take your word back. I wouldn't call it's it. Not the right word. It's not the right word to use the word plagiarize. No. It's because uh, Ibn mine, Qayyim but, was the student of Ibn Taymiyyah. He learned from his teacher. He narrated from him. Please take your word back. Take that. This is blasphemy according to Ahli Hadith. Okay, okay. Do you know who goes to him? Ever. Okay. Do you do you know who Ibn do do you know who Ibn Kathir and Ibn Qayyim were? Yes, I do. Um, can can I, I sorry to interject with the few? They, uh, they were both. Razi, do you mind? Do you mind, Razi, summarizing your point and then we go both, to him? They were both going students. Anywhere. Yeah, I'll they were both students. I am at the end quickly, but for Brother Muhammad Imtiaz, because I want him to save you now. You know, he could be your messiah today. So, Ibn Qayyim writes in Zadul Mad, he says, Thumma akhbara subhanahu annahu sadaqa rasulahu ru'ya fi dukhulihim al masjida aminin. You're saying there were no details. Allah says, muhalikin al rusukum muqassirin, right? This is confirming what I said. Wa annahu, let me finish. Wa annahu sayakunu wa la buddha. وَلَكِنْ لَمْ يَكُنْ قَدْ آن وَقْتُ ذَلِكْ فِي هَذَا الْآمْ This is Nabi Sassam misunderstanding. Please translate, please translate what, for the yes, people. Yes, I'll read the Arabic, then I have the translation as well. وَاللَّهُ سُبْحَانَهُ عَلِمَ مِنْ مَسْلَحَةِ تَأْخِيرِهِ إِلَى وَقْتِ مَا لَمْ تَعْلَمُ أَنْتُمْ Exactly what I'm saying. Exactly what I'm saying. Exactly my point. Exactly my point. Exactly my point. This is... Uh, buried as uh, brother, Imtiaz, brother Imtiaz, do you see the, do you see the point of that conversation now? 
Do you see the point of that conversation? That's why I wanted that conversation with this man. That's why. So that okay. we can actually break down the deception he and show the masses. Wait, 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 wait. He Let, let him speak now. Over, over to you, okay. brother. Brother MTS, Mama MTS, bye. Uh, over to you. Okay. Yeah. Mansoor, bye. How, many, how much time I have? <laughs> Two Just carry minutes. on. Make, make your point, inshallah. Make your point. Okay, Let's inshallah. make it a conversation. Is, okay. is, is So far, so good. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulullah amma ba'd. So inshallah, I, I want to save people's time to be inshallah on the topic, on the point. So first of all, there was heaps of discussion on the subject of error of interpretation or khata ijtihadiya, etc. So uh, I'm going to say now, my concluding uh, inshallah words on that one and inshallah if Razi want to respond please Razi note down if you want to respond some points so please come to the point exactly okay number one that's the reason I wanted to interrupt the discussion because here is here is my claim and I have all the references ready if Razi challenge this claim the references are ready so the claim is Mirza Ghulam Ahmed never ever interpreted Muhammadi Begum through his ijtihad. He quoted revelation. He quoted under oath. And he quoted with qasam. Okay. And the principle with Ahlu Sunnah, which Mirza has accepted. The principle is qasam it, uh, it basically, it, it, it goes for the literal, okay? Literal. And Arati, wait, wait, wait. It's my time now, okay? Now, this is my point that please understand, Razi, and note down. My claim is that this old discussion of ijtihadi uh, ghalti or error of interpretation was a red hearing. Why? Because this does not apply to Mirza's prophecy, such as Muhammadi Begum. He interpreted through ilham, no ijtihadi galti. If you want to challenge, please come in your turn. Number one. Number two, you quoted Ibn Taymiyyah and I have six quotations from Mirza Sahib. Okay, that if a prophet makes error of interpretation, okay, ijtihadi galti or khata ijtihadiya. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not leave him on his mistake. Allah must correct him. Now, in your turn, please note down the point. You need to tell me exactly with the reference that in which year, in which book, Allah corrected Mirza on his marriage with Muhammadi Begum. Please, in your turn, you need to quote Revelation, okay? Don't quote Ijtihad. To rectify the ijtihad, okay? If you are thinking of Hakikatul Wahi, the reference of 1907, that is also ijtihad of Mirza Sai. Because he said that, ta khir mein pad gaya, ya fas ho gaya. So there's no revelation there. You need to quote revelation. And if you want to give us more, quote revelation when Allah corrected him on his date of birth. Not date of death, date of birth. Just example, okay? Don't now, change topics, Imtiaz, but no you've problem. mentioned okay. 10 points. Okay, I think no that's problem. enough. Um, Let me add. Um, no, 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 Razi, Razi, no let, let, I mean, no problem. Just, have okay. you finished your point, brother Muhammad Imtiaz? Okay, so I, 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 I will, will, you finish I will your stick, point. I, I will stick with the usul. Okay, no problem, Razi. I respect your, what you said. Just stick with Muhammadi Begum. No problem. Okay. okay. After, so, for, no, 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 wait, wait. Don't talk in between that. Point number three. The comparison which was being tried to draw between Muhammadi Begum, for example, and Hudaybiyah. Or when did I Yunus? draw the comparison? It's not your turn, brother. Why are you talking um, in my turn? Razi, would you mind just um, in a patient yes. listening? Yes. You'll have your turn. Okay. Now, because in the case of, for example, I, I am giving Muhammadi Begum as an example. Okay. So in the case of Muhammadi Begum, for example, Mirza Sahib, with all due respect for the Ahmadi community, he was humiliated because of this prophecy his entire I'll life. You're mocking, brother. Then you I are, you are interrupting you again, Razi. Razi, when you are Razi, when 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 you were speaking, Razi, when you were you're, you were talking he over me, Razi, very rudely. You're talking over me, Razi. You're talking over me very rudely. I mean, that's not very very nice of you. So when when you were speaking, brother Muhammad Imtiaz, 
silently, patiently listen to you. While he, in his turn, is explaining something, you're interrupting him. That is not very likely of you, you know, a, 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 a nice thing to do. So I would like you to listen while he's speaking, and likewise, the same thing for all the other panel members. Okay? Uh, no, no point. Brother Muhammad Tiaz, carry on and finish your okay. point. Okay. Before, as everybody can go back to what I point mentioned, I, I made a disclaimer. I said, with all due respect, I have to state the facts, okay? Throughout his life, up till his death. And by the way, I have the latest reference from 25th of April, 1907, which is less than one year before Mirza Sahib died. He basically, he finally said, he finally said, that he is not going to give any response on this one. And if you challenge, I have the reference ready. Okay. So my point was, there is no comparison between Muhammadi Begum or any of the failed prophecy of Mirza Sahib and Hudaybiyah. Why? Number one, in the case of Hudaybiyah, what Allah revealed exactly took place 100%. Number one. Number two, in the case of Hudaybiyah, okay, and this point is very important. Alhamdulillah, I spent yesterday just to research on this topic from all the riwayat. And listen, does he very carefully? It was the munafikun, the hypocrites, when, when Muslims came back from Hudaybiyah. It was the hypocrite who raised the objection that why haven't you performed the Umrah? So who are you lining with? Are you lining with the hypocrites? Please understand. Address this point, okay? So okay, just that's to... enough. Now let me answer. No, 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 no. You spoke tw twenty minutes, okay? Note on every point. I was noting everything down, okay? So with regard to ijtihadi ghalti, I want the listener to pay attention, and I want to in thirty seconds summarize my four points on ijtihadi ghalti, okay? Point number one. This topic of ijtihadi ghalti is red herring. Mirza always interpreted through ilham, with qasam, with oath, etc. Number two, if it was ijtihadi ghalti, the full principle is, as you quoted Ibn Taymiyyah, and Mirza Sahib has said this thing multiple times, profit must be corrected. You need to quote us the revelation of correction. And number three, you need to tell us that what is exactly the comparison you're drawing between Muhammadi Begum and Hudaybiyah? Please tell us that exact point of what is the point of similarity between these two. And last point was that it was only the hypocrites who raised the objection on the Prophet and the companion. There was no Sahabi. Now, why I said this? Razi, pay attention to this fourth point. I'm done. I'm almost done. Why I said this? Listen very carefully. Mirza Sahib, in his letter to Nawab Muhammad Khan of Malir Kotla in 1894, I have the letter ready if you need the reference. He said that in the event of Hudaybiyah, Baz Sahaba Murtad Hoge, Murtad Hoge, you have to tell us the reference, okay? Mirza Sahib quoted from Ibn Kasir. Now listen very carefully. I am not asking you quote me Ibn Kasir. First of all, it is not in the Ibn Kasir, but my point is quote anything that Sahaba Murtad Hoge. I am done. Please do not go off topic. Only four points. Go ahead. No, now I need full time to answer everything because you mentioned many points. Number one, Brother Muhammad Imtiaz, I thought you would have would have learned from previous shows that you should not misquote Hazrat Ahmed al -Assam because the audience will see and then you will look bad and I don't like doing that. We have to be sincere. For example, you quoted Hamamatul Bushra and you said Hazrat Ahmed al -Assam said Jampibi, wherever there's a qasam it has to be taken literally. You took this out of context. There's a famous ex ahmadi of Pakistan I won't name him but he was writing in the chat. He repented for using this allegation because when he read the context he even agreed that I will never present this again because it's out of context and it's a lie. So Brother Muhammad Imtiaz in your turn, either you read that passage of Hamamat al busha in context which was an Ilzami jawab to the opponents in the same pages clarify otherwise, you know, that shows you wouldn't be sincere. Number one. Now you mentioned 
four points, but I will defend Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu first. You said none of the Sahaba doubted. Hazrat Umar radiallahu anhu, his goal is mentioned that Ma shakaktu, uh, kabla something along these lines that I did not doubt. Of course, he's talking about the treaty. I don't doubt that. But you can't say no Sahabi had any doubt when the words of Musnad Ahmed used the words that they were as if they were destroyed. Right, so you have to be truthful with your words. Number uh, that that answers your fourth thing. You asked about the Ibn Kathir reference, right? You don't know how Hazrat Ahmad al Asam usul of tafsir are. If you read the tafsir where Allah speaks of the uh, trials shown by Wama Jalna Ro'ya Allati Arainaka illa fitna tanlinas, read the tafsir on that. You'll never raise this allegation again. Ibn Kathir isn't the debate topic. Right now, if you want to quote Ibn Kathir, let me finish. Let me finish. I let you speak. I didn't do anything in your time. If you want to quote Ibn Kathir, here's Ibn Kathir. Kana Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam kad ra'a fil manami annahu dakhala maka wa taafa bil bayt fa akhbara ashabuhu bi thalik wa huwa bil madina fa lamma saru amal hudaybiya lam yashukku jama'atum minhum. This is Ibn Kathir. If you want to quote him, quote him on hudaybiya. He says that in the dream that Nabi Sism saw himself entering Mecca and performing tawaf. This is what Allah showed Nabi Sism in the dream. He told his sahaba and none of them had doubt that this vision would be fulfilled that year. This is what Ibn Kathir said. Now that, that year? That, yes, Does it say that? Yes, yeah. yes, so, yes. Okay. Yes, brother. Okay. Okay. So, so, so Ibn Kathir said this. Yeah, bro, yeah, yeah, yes. not one of them doubted. And he's yeah. saying no one doubted. And either I've he's by, can you let him finish? So, you know, otherwise, he's yeah. going to go back and forth. You can choose. That's you. I'm with Ibn Kathir. Right? I'm agreeing with Ibn Kathir. Okay. I'm agreeing. Brother, yeah, can we let him yeah. with yeah. Without yeah. any interjection, can we just wrong. let him finish? One of yeah. them is yeah. wrong. They're both not right. That's a contradiction, brother. Be firm. Your ahli hadith lying. So you have to defend Ibn Kathir. Okay? So I like jokes here and there to keep the mood calm. I want... Brother yes, Mansur good. to enjoy as well. So apart from that, now you mentioned three points. I'll quickly go through them, okay? Quickly go through them. The first one you said, topic of ijtihadi ghalati is a red herring. Look, our discussion is on usul. Once we agree on usul, any prophecy you raise allegation on, you'll get the answer like that right away, okay? We have them all. We have all the answers which, with references to the ambiya. Number one. Number two, you said I didn't, this is important. You said, Hazrat Ahmed al said that whenever a Nabi makes ijtihadi ghalati, he is corrected. This shows you haven't read his books, brother. Because it's the usul of Sanaul Amrit Sari Sahib who couldn't come to Qadian to discuss with Mirza Sahib that a, a person's writings are understood by his own writings. In the book, Haqiqatul Wahi, Hazrat Ahmad al explains that some prophets made prophecies of the future and they did not understand who it would be fulfilled in. Okay? This is clear in Haqiqatul Wahi. So we don't agree with your usul on this. And I have Bukhari. I can bring Bukhari right now. Nabi says, I'm at a dream of the wise with the longest hand will die first. And then Zainab radiallahu anh, had died first. Then they realized after that it meant who gives most sadqa. Nabi Sassam died upon this. Hazrat Ahmed Sassam quoted this in Izala Yuham Haqiqatul Wahi throughout his literature. So do not misquote him. You have to understand his works from his own works, like we do with everyone. Ibn Adnan Rashid was telling a Shia or a Zaydi that you have to read Ibn Timiyah's works as a whole to understand him. So I request the same for you. The last point I was talking about Minhaj Sunnah. I was talking yeah, about Minhaj yeah. Sunnah. Yeah. Yeah. You can come in later. The last point that uh, Imtiaz raised is that regarding Muhammad Begum, what is the uh, connection with Sula Hudaybiyah? So regarding Muhammad Begum, the prophecy was 100% fulfilled. We don't doubt it. You keep quoting Haqiqatul Wahi. You have to remember that in Al Badr in 1908, I can. It's also in Mal Fuzat Hazim Sism explains. Should I read it out or quickly read it out? He says that. Uh, uh, he says, It's shown from this prophecy that some of the parts of the prophecy can be uh, abrogated. Or no, 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 no. Read, read, read. Read and translate. Read. Which proves clearly that with Toba, 
all of these things tal jamengi that these are differently it's used in urdu how do you want to translate it Post these will be averted 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 exactly like mata yes, na hum ilahin in the quran yes Then there are some uses that tell there too. It was cancelled yeah. there, just so you know. Then yeah. it says, "Or Ahmed Bey ki mot se khof nak in per cha gaya. Usne pesh koi ki ek hisse ko tal diya. The prophecy was hundred percent fulfilled. Which as, prophecy? Which um, prophecy? This is Muhammad Bey. Muhammad no, no, no. This, this is the death of two people. Yeah. Correct. Mimtiaz yeah. bhai. Not yes. let him speak. No, no, no. Let him so speak. this is yeah, this is no, where. No, no. Look, 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 look. Sorry, I don't, don't want. Don't I don't play. want him to. I don't want him to play games and get away with it. He, he is. Not why don't you? Why don't you let him finish in his segment and you can correct it because otherwise he's going to go back and. Yeah, no, no, no. Mansoor by Mansoor by. What happens is he throws like five, five, ten points, and then one of these points. It's a very important caveat, by the way. Note it down. Quote, Note it down. Yeah, the quote he is mentioning, the reading, the quote he's reading from. It specifically talks talks about the part of the prophecy with regards to the death of two people, Ahmad Beg, okay, and Sultan Muhammad. You've read these pages, Adnan Bey? I have. Yes, I have read Which these pages. Which book is it from? Which book is? I don't. From? I don't remember the. You know, Ruhani okay. Khazain is a collection of eighty-six books, right? This isn't even in Ruhani Khazain. So I'm not. Did I? Eighty-six books, right? This isn't in that, brother. This isn't yeah. a part of that. You have not read this. Okay, we are, we are digressing the if, subject. If again. I say, okay. if I, I say, read this reference, if I say I have read these passages, you don't this believe me. This one you haven't read. This one no. is different. Let I have finish. read. I agree, uh, you have Brother, read. I have a book on Muhammad Begum. I have a book on Muhammad Begum the with book all these called? all what's these the quotes. Called? What's the it's book not called? From, it's not from Ahmadis. It's, I know. Uh, so what's from, it called? Yeah. What's the book called? Mirza Ghulam Ahmad, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Kadiani ki atara patient goya. That's what the book is called. You want me? You want me to put? You want me to put it up on the screen? Adnan, why? What you doing, brother? So, so basically, we are digressing at this point. So, Razi, do you want to finish your point? He's interrupting. I wouldn't. I would have been done long ago. The point is. Okay, finish your point. This is from Malfuzat Jil Daham. Muhammad Imtiaz can open it. Page one eighty. To one ninety, and the question is about Muhammad Begum's nikah and the prophecy, and this is the answer he gives. So, brother Adnan, I personally, my humble opinion is you have not read this. Now, the point is that the Muhammad Begum page koi. Can you can read, you continue reading? Read and translate. It's yes. three pages long. You want me to read no, it? Oh, no, no. I'd love the the, the the part Sultan Muhammad, the part Sultan Muhammad, and uh, Ahmad Beg, that part. This is how I know I've read it. Okay. Yeah. Do you know what part... year this was from? No, no. Okay, I'll read it again. Stop, stop playing. Stop, stop playing games. Read it and translate. Zahir, yes. Just yes. saaf zahir hai ke toba se ye sab baatein tal jaengi. Yes. That through toba, oh, ye sab baatein tal jaengi. Okay. And Ahmed Beg ki maut se jo khuf un par cha gaya. उसने पेश कोई के एक हिस्से को टाल दिया वो कौन सा एक हिस्सा ओके ओके नाउ नाउ वेट वेट आई एम आंसरिंग यू कीप कलिंग यू कैन एक्सप्लेन आफ्टर आई हैव टू आई आई हैव टू प्रे फजर बिकॉज़ टाइम इज वेरी शॉर्ट सो माय रिक्वेस्ट मंसूर भाई माय रिक्वेस्ट टू यू इज आफ्टर दिस इफ रजी मेक्स एनी पॉइंट प्लीज नोट इट डाउन फॉर मी इंशाल्लाह आई विल बैक इनटू डिस्कशन आफ्टर इंशाल्लाह 5 टू 7 मिनट्स बट प्लीज मंसूर भाई नोट डाउन व्हाटएवर ही सेज Okay, thank you trying, so much. Trying, sure. Okay, <laughs> now, now, Razi, now, Razi, I, I, I want to ask you very honestly. Okay, here Mirza Sahib is saying that these things will be averted. Okay, and one part of the prophecy, okay, will be cancelled. Right. So he says these things, and then he narrows it down to one part. Which part is that? So this is why context is important. Exactly. Had you read the context, so, so you no, would, now let, let me answer. You asked no, the no, question. No, no, no. Let Let Mirza Sahib answer this. Okay, so read it. It's yeah. three pages long. This no, part no, no, is no, almost no. done. This, this part is done. The, okay. Then he says, uh, it's, uh, "This it's is not a done. different reference, keep, brother." No, 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 no. Razi, keep reading from this okay. reference. Asal baat ye hai ki Khuda hazar hazar ha nishan dikha kar baaz nishan aisi halat mein bhi rakh leta hai jo munafiq wait, wagaira ke intiyaz ka wait 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 mojib. is it malfuzat yeah what, what page number daham daham malfuzat 
180 okay. to so 190. So is it on al islamcom yes. yes? Yes. al islam One yes. second. I'm going to go and read it. One second. I'm going to read it for people and translate it. Okay. I see you read it all. Until Imtiaz Bey comes, just read that. That'll be amazing. No, no, no. Wait, wait, wait. wait. I think this that'll will, be amazing. I, 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 like to, I like to do this so that we yeah. can get the context. Because so I I, I, I'm, I'm saying you're playing a game. Okay? Read you're playing this a game. and then read this. Yeah. Mirza, yeah. Mirza here is talking specifically about okay, this prophecy where he had foretold that two of these people will die if Muhammadi Begum does not get married to him. Correct? Is that the context? Can you repeat that? Sorry, I'm just opening okay. it in PDF. Okay, Mirza Sahib. Mirza Pictures, Sahib. Sorry, yeah. you, you, you look worried, Razi, now. No, no. no. no Wallahi, okay. I'm not worried. Okay. Allah okay. is my witness. I'm never okay. worried. Okay, you now. know what will make you worried, though, if I get the Quran? That will make Why? you worried. Why? Because you can't I... answer any arguments from the Quran. Okay. I'm opening the P, uh, the pick on Telegram is just a bit blurry. The Quran, I want to open the, the PDF. The, the, the Quran Why would you says, say I'm worried? The Quran, the Quran you stopped says, us from using the videos on Dawah while you were worried. The, 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 the Quran says, Billahi min shaitan rajim Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim Al Yawm Akmaltu Lakum Dinakum Wa Atmamtu Alaykum Nehmati Wa Raditu Lakum Al Islam Dina. Right? Okay. Now. Yeah, 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 of course. So that's why we don't need Mirza in his revelations. If no, that's the no. case, the verse, if that's that the case, verse, that <laughs> verse is talking about perfection of the deen. We believe yeah. the deen is perfected. You believe yeah. Quran is no, 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 no. It, it means it, 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 is what? if you want to come on the Quran, Quran says clear cut. Translate this. That see, we're changing. Now, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Yeah, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam is nothing but a rasul, and before him, rasuls have passed away. All their yeah. some. It says rusul generally. Alif lam rusul, not doesn't say all. It doesn't say Ar all. Rusul some. in the Arabic language when alif lam comes. Do you know Ibn Uthaymin here? Mujaddid. Ar, Ar, Ar rusul. Ar rusul so means again, we, we, other Mansur, let us speak, please. He's speaking. I'm addressing. Ar rusul here. Are you saying okay. it excludes Hazrat Isa salam? What does, the, what does the word khala yakhlu okay. mean? Okay. In wait, 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 I have khala. an answer, Mansur. Now, he's asking I, me something now. I have, I have an answer. Mansur. I have an answer. Okay, have an so answer. I'm going to answer The Quran that. says, the Quran says, وَإِذْ قُلْنَا لِلْمَلَائِكَةِ اسْجُدُوا لِآدَمَا فَسَجَدُوا إِلَّا إِبْلِيسِ أَبَا وَاسْتَكْبَرْ وَكَانَ مِنَ الْكَافِرِينَ Is Iblis an angel? Perfect question, right? Yes. Perfect Good. question. Yes. Can you give Is Iblis an angel? Allah says, uh, is Iblis a Malak? Illa Iblis. Allah said Illa Iblis. No, 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 no. Allah was okay. Okay. Wait, Don't wait. miss the Quran, brother. Okay. Here there's I, no exception. Does Al Rusul include Isa <laughs> Lassam or no? Answer so, the question. Okay. Does let's have a conversation. Include, okay, let's so have a let's, let's have Islam? let's have let's have when Allah says Ya ayyuhalladina amanu. Allah says, Oh, you believe, amanu. Is it a male reference or a female reference? Both. No, it doesn't. No. Yeah, you let in Amnu does it include. It, 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 no, no. It. I, I am saying it does. But is it a male reference or is a female? In Arabic, itself? grammatically, it's male. It's male. But when women it's, are it's with male, it becomes okay. male. Okay. Okay. It's a, it's a. No, it's male, right? Yeah, but yeah. we know from the context of the Quran that. Females are included, correct? No, but even if there's one million, Wait, million, do you million, know? Do you know? Do you know? Do you know? Again, again, you're opening a very irrelevant Speaking discussion. Our rusul okay. does it include let's, Hazrat let's Isa let's, or no? No, no, Just listen. answer this question: Does our rusul include Hazrat Isa Lassam? Yes or no? Kal kad khalat min qabl rusul. Our rusul does it include yes. Hazrat Isa Lassam? No, it does not. Audhu billah. Ibn Uthaytum Mujaddid says that he's including. Muhammad Ibn Abdul Wahab says he's included. It's Alif Lam Istagraqiya. The same Arabic is used in chapter 5 or 75. So Let me I, finish. Mal, masu, mal Masih ibn Maryama illa Rasul qad khalat min qablihi Rasul. The same ayah is used in chapter 5 or 75. There is our Rasul as well. I, Ibn Uthaymin explains that Alif Lam here is Alif Lam Istagraqiya. He says this meaning is qad khalat uh, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab quotes Sahaba after this who said Isa's yes. name here and they said okay. 
Ma'ashawa Mata Kamamatu, Muhammad ibn Abdul Wahab. Thank you, thank you. I will respond now. I will respond now. I will respond. I will respond. Show the exception. I will respond. Can I just answer the Kalaya? I will, I will, I will, I will respond. Can I just answer my truth quickly? No, you can't. No. No, you can't. That's let me finish question. now. Let me no, no, let me respond. Let me respond because you're raising Shubahat deliberately, to throwing spanners in the works so that we can get off but the topic. But we're not going to let you do that. No, no, wait, stop it. We're not going to let you do that. I'm going to quickly respond to this, and we're going to move on to our Mirza Ghulam Qadiani issue, where he was talking about two people dying in that prophecy, which you were not willing to translate completely. That's why I want to bring the book out and I'm going to translate for you and I'm going to show you how much, of a, how much of a liar, wait, how much of a liar you are. Wait, okay. Now, so firstly, wait, let me answer. Firstly, the... let me finish. Yeah. The Quran okay. has a usul. The Quran has an usloob. The usloob is the Quran addresses the general. It addresses the general. Okay. It does not necessarily specifically address the specific. When the Quran talks to crowds, Okay, it addresses the general. Okay, it doesn't necessarily deal with the specifics. Okay, this is why when the Quran says Ya Ayyuhalladina Amanu, he's not. Uh, the Quran is not talk talking to men only. The Quran Can you is also talking. This? Wait, let me explain. Let me let me explain. The Quran is also talking to women, but when the Quran wants to specifically address someone. The Quran mentions those people specifically, like Surah Al Ahzab, when Allah talks about Al Mu'minat, Al Mu'minin. Allah specifically mentions Al Mu'minin can be used for women as well. Amirul Mu'minin, for example, the title Amirul Mu'minin does that include women or not? Yes or no? Yes, it, it does. does. It does. Okay. So Likewise, does Allah wait, but in the Quran, stick wait, to the wait, ayah, brother. Wait, no, no, no. I'm answering the ayah. question now. Okay. I don't know. I know you don't like it. You like I, love the Quran. I love yeah. it. I love it. Okay, if you love it, be quiet then. Listen, okay. learn. Okay, the Quran has an usloob. The Quran deals with the general when he wants to make a general point. But when the Quran wants to make a specific point, it makes that specific mention. Like I gave you examples. So when Allah said, قد خل, قد خلت الرسل, قد, uh, Sorry, what's the verse? Uh, قد خلت من قبله الرسل. Here, this is a general point. But when it comes to Isa, the Quran specifically mentions him, specifically that he is a Rasul of Allah, no doubt, but he is an exception in that regard. He has not died. Where okay, does Quran not... say he didn't die? You said Allah said I, he didn't die. I will, I will, I will, show, I will show you okay. in the Quran where he didn't die. You open the it, word I'm... is okay. Mata okay, for wait, death. okay, wait, wait, wait. This is a very good topic which we can definitely debate at another point because I have responded to these questions in in, in the park with Noonan, with uh, uh, Look, Imam I'm Noonan. I'm here right okay. now. I want so, you to discuss with me. Last point, I want no, to No, 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 I'm not to... going to let you digress. Okay, but so look, let's come back to Mirza. Let's come back to Mirza. That Sahaba didn't even say. Let's and come back to Mirza. Let's come back to... Let's Muhammad you, ibn Abdul before, Wahab included Razi, one. Ibn Uthaymi before, included one. Razi, I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you. If you're Alif not going to... you, Razi, Razi, you Razi, how are you we're going to stick to... We're going to stick to the topic. We're not going to go off the topic. Go back to that quote from Malfuzat and read it word by word before I pull it out and make you look like an idiot. Read it word by word from okay. where you read it and tell us who is it talking about. You're trying okay. to push Muhammad I. Begum into that. Don't but lie, it, brother. You don't okay, know my okay, intentions. Okay, okay. Are you then read, Okay, so okay. Let's see then what happens. This let's see what reference, happens. I want to read it I'm all gonna, for you. I'm gonna pull it out and you then I'm gonna read it. You read okay. it all, the whole three pages. Then you'll understand. I'm, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna read three pages. Why not? You want to you, read the context. Wait till okay. Imtiaz may come okay. read the three pages. No, you read word by word and don't miss out any bits. And okay. translate it word by word. Okay. I have, I, I, otherwise, I'm going to expose you. Go ahead. How about you read. read it? I translate. No, no. You okay. you brought it out. Read it okay. and translate it. Let me word open by the word. PDF now because you kept interrupting, so I couldn't open it. Yeah. Read it word by word and translate it. And I'm going to yes. listen patiently. Don't worry. We love this reference, brother. We have nothing to hide. He's okay. our, we believe Hazrat Ahmed was truthful. And he was truthful. Wallah, he was truthful. Those Muslims in doubt can ask Allah. Simple. Uh, you opened the 2022, right? Go ahead. No, did you open the 2022 one? 
There's different versions. Just making sure. So, so, so you have tampered with them already? Like I've no, shown no, on no, Twitter? no, no. The one who yeah. tampered with the hadith is like Asbab in Azul. Ata alayhi fana. He said, "You brothers tampered and made a yati alayhi fana." Let's not get into no, we don't, tampering. We don't, you guys, we don't believe in tampering. We don't believe, you do in, believe tampering. in tampering. Should we don't bring out the uh, ahli hadith Bukhari tarjuma and see who tampered. When who, which ahli hadith? Which there's which one main hadith? translation you can find it on Google. I think. It may have been. Uh, I don't think Zubair Ali Zai said did Tarjuma, but you can check. Open the Ahlul Hadis. So, right now. so, so if you find, let's if you find, tahir. if you find, if you find an idiot somewhere, does that mean Ahlul Hadis so are idiot, all right? Alhamdulillah. I, I don't know I who like, you're talking suppose, about. No, you said he's an idiot. I'll bring <laughs> I don't you know. back on that. I, I, I don't know who you're talking about. If it's Muhammad, if it's Zubair Ali Zai, that will be really unfortunate. If someone, if someone is deliberately tempering the text of Bukhari. Such a person is not only an idiot; he's a shaitan. Okay, so you when I more? show this on Twitter want, that he did yeah. this, then you have to accept that he was uh, shaitan and an idiot. If anyone, Stay by okay, these words. so okay, okay, good. Ashia should you, open it now. You, you agree with me? You agree with me? Someone who tempers the text is shaitan. Yes. If if he actually if, tempers if, the text now, yeah. if now you want to use if why if with why Bukhari, I'm saying anyone who tempers we have who, different usul. Wait, uh, wait, what wait, do you mean by tampering? Wait, wait. If a, if, if anyone, a historian changes something and then it's fixed, that's not tampering. So we're getting somewhere. We say I'm saying anyone who tempers the Quran and the Sunnah deliberately, mutaammedan. Yes, yes. He's not. He's not only an idiot. He is a shaitan. Do you agree? Just like Ahli Hadith do, yes. Do I you agree? agree? Do you agree yes, or not? Yes. Do you agree? If he purposely yeah. so deliberately anyone, twists anyone, Quran and anyone, Hadith. Anyone, anyone who like tempers, you did with our Rusul okay, right wait, now. Wait, you wait. tampered the anyone, Quran. You took Isa out. You're not letting me talk. You you took see, there's, a there's, a there's a reason. There's a reason. There's a reason. There's, there's a reason. No, let's read this. There's, let's read there, there is a reason. There's a reason for you doing this. If anyone tempers your books deliberately, the writings of Mirza deliberately tempers them and we can show that. Is that person a shaitan? You're changing the topic because we what? have. Is that person a shaitan? If yes, yes. Is that's what he means. Yes. Yes. No, it's not I, because how oh, it not, works. Uh, uh, Listen, okay. Let me explain. Let me explain. So let when, me explain. Mansoor, when someone tempers our books, is a shaitan. When someone tempers their books, is not a shaitan. No, you know why no, he's saying that? Because he knows their books have been tempered nonstop. I think that because Siratul Mahdi Mansoor is not how Sahih Al Bukhari works. There are. Narrations, it was published and okay. some people who, who, who wrote, who wrote? No, 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 let me finish. Why are you cutting this me off? Why are you like cutting this. me off? Let me finish. No, 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 no. And then we're gonna Siratul read the Mahdi. Who wrote let Siratul finish. Mahdi? Let me finish. Who wrote? You claim I haven't read your books. You claim I haven't read your you books. All of Siratul who wrote who wrote Siratul Mahdi? Who wrote Siratul Mahdi? Siratul Mahdi? Siratul Mahdi? Siratul Mahdi? Who and who is he? What do you mean? Who is he? He's the son of Hazrat Ahmed al -Asma. And what is his title? What Kamarul Ambiya? No, what is his title? Masi. Oh, sorry, Maud, what? Muslim? That's Khalifa Sani. You don't even okay. know her beliefs. That's Khalifa Sani. That's someone yeah, else, yeah, brother. Yeah. Sorry, you Mirza, just exposed Mirza, yourself. Mirza, Mirza, Allah Mirza, 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 you haven't Bashiru read her books. Mirza you haven't Bashiru read her books. Did, wait, he wait, 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 wait. I, 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 let me finish. Let me finish. Uh, you're right. You're right. I, I got them mixed up. I, okay, so right, let me answer Mansour. Okay, Siratul Mahdi. Siratul Mahdi is written by who? Let me answer now. No, 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 no. I'll Siratul answer Mahdi. everything. Brother, wait, wait. Sabar, brother, sabar. brother. It's not written by Mirza Bashir. I still Mahmoud. have to answer Yahlu by Mansur. Okay. By his it's not written by, it's not written no, by I'm Bashir not Bashir waiting Mahmoud. for the response here. We'll have a separate stream dedicated to this Arabic language promise? that you promise? so much butcher. Promise? No, I, no, I don't Listen, promise you Razi, anything. Promise? I'm saying, I'm Razi, saying, no, no, wait, if we wait. have streams, then Promise me you'll debate this verse with me. No, no, I don't debate Yamad with you. will come, you won't do it. No, I okay, don't wait. debate with you. Yamad will listen. come, listen. you won't do it. Buddy. Okay, I'll stand by just one second. I'm firstly, telling you, first, don't say firstly, no to it because you, Razi, you won't do it. Razi, first, uh, you don't believe in the Quran in the first place. Man, we, Mansour, I have a Mansour, don't believe in the Quran in the first place. Don't, don't talk about no, debating with you. So now, brother, Imtiaz has returned. We will now go back without digression that you have digressed all that minute. Yes. We will go back to the original Adnan discussion. You said we Origi don't believe in Quran. Adnan Rashid uh, said we do believe in Quran. No, no, why are you doing this? Here. Razi, why, why are you Razi, doing this? You why do you not believe this? in the Quran. I'm saying do. that. I am saying that. We do. Right? Adnan says we do. Let me I say that. Yeah. So this Adnan. is no, no, another don't. No, 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 no. Brother Imtiaz. You read the same Quran. You read the same Quran. You don't believe in it the same way. You said we do believe in it. No, he doesn't believe in it. No, no. He doesn't believe in it. 
Not like us. Wentz. No, no, I say that. I say Wentz. that. I say you don't believe in it. We can discuss this another time. Listen, so, listen to us, it said no. So, so we will discuss yeah, yeah, wait, this matter. Wait, Masur, we don't Masur, want to second. digress. We yeah, we get, won't digress. One second. Be close to us because you come from, you know, not only geographically speaking, very, uh, you know, uh, from a close vicinity, but you believe in the Quran. Believe in the Quran. Ibn okay. Albani said the same okay. thing too. Don't refuse Sheikh Albani. Mansu, you have to apologize Wait. for calling Adnan a liar. I, I will. That's I will. not me, nice. Now, let me let me apologize. What I'm saying here is the Shia believe in the same Quran. They claim that. The Qadianis, they read the same Quran, they believe in the same Quran, they claim this. Allah but, but, but wait, wait, wait. Do you think I am that stupid? Do you think, Razi, I'm that stupid that I'm going to say the Qadianis believe in the same Quran as we do? Do you think I'm that stupid? Okay, wait, wait, wait. No, no, it's not the topic. I have Ibn Albani here. He said okay, we believe in now, Quran as we now. Now, that's Al all you can do. Al I want to move on. Pulan and Pulan and scholars and yeah, scholars. Is, Albani, is, is, that's Pulan listen, now? Razi, 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 you have a disease of digressing deliberately so that we cannot deal with the topic. Okay, now, before we move on, now. let's, yeah, let's go. Now. Let's okay. go to Intiaz. And okay. before we do, do you now say that anyone who tempers the books of your prophet is a shaitan? Now I'll answer. Give me 30 seconds. To yes answer. or no? I've said it Give clearly. For anyone who tempers the Quran His and Hadith is a shaitan. Quran. His books aren't Quran. There's Sahu I agree. and I agree. Nisyan. So anyone... Sahu and Nisyan okay. can okay. be okay. corrected. And okay. Can we do that to the? Can we do that to Prophet Muhammad? Can we correct Bukhari? That's different. There's son a chain of narration. No, and it's no, 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 no. no. Explain, is he not a prophet? Let me is explain. Mizra not a prophet? Look, he himself, right? Hazrat Ahmad Asam. Siratul Mahdi, for example, there's certain narrations there that people came and said, we never said this, we said this, then okay, it was so, corrected. That's so, not so you believe, so you believe the Qadianis can change the words of Mizra Not the books of Hazrat Ahmad salam, no. Okay, but anyone who they does never that, have. okay, anyone who has done it, is he shaitan or not? If it's Sahwan, they put it in footnote. No, 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 no. I'm asking a question. Anyone who has deliberately changed the I words, I have to see what you're talking about. Uh, okay, I can't, okay, wait. Maybe, wait. for example, let me give you Razi. an example. Let me give you an example. In one of his books, he's written the months, right? Of a he's given the months that there's he puts the exact date. And then there's Sahwan error of how much time that is. In the wait, same wait. page is explained. So that's not okay. shaitanic. I'm, I'm, that's I'm, not I'm, satanic. Okay. If asking. they change what he's saying okay. and try giving another meaning, that's Razi, satanic because Razi, he's human Razi. being. He can make Sahwan error. Razi, stop it now. Stop it now. So let's read the is, page is now. Mirza, is Mirza a prophet to you? Yes, alhamdulillah. Can a non-prophet non 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 coming after Mirza change his writings deliberately no they cannot change his writings but if there's sahu error and that's corrected that's can not changing he, can anything. we do that to the can we do that to prophet muhammad can we Your do that to do it yes Your no they don't do it. yes they, don't. they do should i bring us they cannot change the hadith they cannot change the hadith they cannot let me share my they screen. cannot change the hadith. Are you not Let listening? They you cannot change. change the hadith. Then you're what? not listening. Where's you're not listening. Right can you screen. not? Can you? You're gonna you show me a change the in the hadith. hadith. No, yes. you're gonna show me yes. Yes. a change. Yes. Can I show anyone? You? I'm saying anyone who changes a word from the hadith of the Prophet as it has been narrated in the books of hadith is a shaitan. Now, Allah can I ask you the same question? Wait, wait. Can anyone? Change written, uh, change the books written by Mirza. Change the wording. Is that person shaitan? Not what Hazrat Ahmed wrote, but if there's Sahwan error, that can be fixed. Yes. We, okay, we'll move on. Okay. So now, before you. before we move on, brother, no, we have enough. We had enough. No, of it. Ahmed, uh, you enough asked of me it. a question. Um, enough of I it. I think it's been half an hour. Of we have just going brother in Muhammad okay. Welcome back. We have to, to, to stay really have to the plan. You went for Fajr the Hajjat. Yeah, we, no, we really have to stick to the Mahmoud plan, Imtiaz Bhai. Yeah, and I suggest you ask one point and let uh, Razi answer Im that because yeah. if you're going to bring Imtiaz four Bhai. points, it'll become like longer. I, I, so I take one point a at a time, take yeah. two minutes, and that yeah. will make more sense. I, I need to make a disclaimer very quickly. I, I made a statement earlier about Ibn Taymiyyah and Ibn Qayyim. I take it back absolutely. Uh, I was absolutely wrong in saying no, that. No. that that, uh, what do you mean, Alhamdulillah? I'm correcting I'm something. I'm here to defend something. Ibn Qayyim, uh, Rahman. No, you... <laughs> okay. I'm here okay. to defend Let me, let me make my disclaimer. Shut. Can you please be quiet? Let me make yeah. my disclaimer. Okay. 
I when I said that Ibn Qayyim was plagiarizing from Ibn Taymiyyah, that was the wrong choice of words. Unconditionally, I'm taking those words back. I didn't mean that. Ibn Qayyim was a great scholar in his own right, and he was heavily influenced by Sheikh Al Islam Ibn Taymiyyah. And he that we can student, see that. Right? Sh- sh- can you be quiet? This is my disclaimer, please. Okay? okay. So that we can see clearly in the writings of Ibn Qayyim Al Jawziya, where yeah, Rahmatullah Alayhi. He is heavily influenced from Ibn Taymiyyah. This is what I meant to say, but I used the wrong term, plagiarizing, which is not correct. Absolutely, he was not a plagiarizer. He was not plagiarizing. That's my disclaimer. Now, now, thank you so much. And and now, Razi, can you start translating that Muhammad Ibegum bit so Muhammad yeah. Imtiaz can take you on that? Yeah. So Muhammad Imtiaz uh, Bey... Before, uh, before, you, before you translate, brother, because I did not note down before, so please tell us the date of this reference and name of the book and page number so date as well which yeah, date okay. is like this so this is a uh, malfuzad jil daham volume okay. 10 this is 11 april 11 april 1908 sorry malfuzad volume, volume 10. 10 new edition yeah new editions don't mean we change anything like adnan thinks april 11 page number page, number. page 188 and date April 11, 1908. Please go ahead. Okay. So this is just a few a few days before he passed away. Does that matter? Nabi says him if he says something before That's okay, no, he passes away. It's I'm, just, useless. I'm just making a factual point. You don't have okay. to um, you know, debate everything, Razi. It's just oh a point you made. Adnan this gets longer and longer. You, know, bring all this and you should just have patience and listen carefully. And Razi, you need to practice you start, what you preach, bro. Brother Razi, before you start quoting, so first tell me that what is the point of quoting this uh, text? Adnan wants me to read it, so I will read it. No, now, no, no. Because he the, challenged the purpose, me. The purpose. He the purpose. said I'm scared to read it. That's the purpose. I want then, to read then, it. Then leave it for some other day. No, 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 no. Now we're going to read it because he challenged no, me. He no, said no. I'm if hiding it's, it's stuff. Purpose, it doesn't help to the it. topic. No, Adnan, wait, don't discussing. let them run. Remember you were running? Don't let them run. Tell them I will read it now. Brother, when for Dazbe, not... He okay. challenged okay. me. Let me okay. read it. Okay. Be quick. Achan, okay. Dazbe, aap pardi, you read it quickly. How about that? No, no, I don't need to read anything irrelevant. Um, it's relevant. It's then, relevant then, now. Then, then okay, first you okay. need, then, then, no, 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 Azab, please, too, please. Yeah. Uh, 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 first tell me, brother uh, uh, Razi, yeah. that uh, fro- from this quotation, what exactly you want to prove? Tell me that first. So Adnan Rashid claimed that this writing is about both the death of Ahmed Beg and Sultan Muhammad. This was wrong. So I want to read it all now. So, brother, then, because it's not relevant to Ishtahadi. It is accepted. relevant. It is relevant, brother. Then, then, it then, is read, relevant. Let, then, then let him read. read. The, then read the relevant portion, please. It's The whole thing is relevant. It's not too long. How long? How, how, how much time you want? Uh, let me just start and I'll finish. Okay, you take one minute. Long. Please go ahead. Please okay. take one minute. So, Mirza Ahmed Bey ke baare mein pesh koi par etraaz ka jwaab kisi motriz ne khat mein hazrat mulana Morbi Sayyid Ahsan Amroi said ki khidmat mein ye likha hai ki Mirza Be Mirza Ahmed Beg wali pesh koi par itraaz kiya tha Hazrat Morbi Saheb so basically someone wrote a letter that there's an allegation on Muhammadi Begum pesh koi Hazrat Ahmed Ahsan responds that as se aadmi se pehle ye daryaft karna chahiye ki aaya tum kalma go bhi ho ya ya nahi if you want i can read the english it's Transit. Should I just read the Urdu or English? Urdu, Urdu. Okay. So, as se admi se pehle, Hazrat Mr. Sam says, first you should ask this person if he believes in the kalma or not. Then Hazrat Allah Sam says, Ar Azat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Ar Or Ambiya Sabakin Perbi Iman Rakte Hai Ya Nay. Do they even believe in the other prophets or not? Tajo Bata Hai As Logon Ki Halat Ar Akal Perke Hazar Ha Kisam Ki Nishana Dekte Hai. उनकी तो कुछ परवाह नहीं करते और ना उनसे कोई फायदा उठाते हैं दैट दे सी थाउजेंड्स ऑफ साइंस फॉर माय ट्रूथफुलनेस दे डोंट बेनिफिट फ्रॉम देम मगर जब एक ऐसी ऐसे अमर को जो मुतशाबिहात में से होता है बट दोस थिंग्स दैट आर मुतशाबिहात अनक्लियर में से होता है बवजह अपनी कम फहमी और ऑफ देयर लैक ऑफ नॉलेज कम अक्ल एंड लैक ऑफ इंटेलेक्ट उसकी हकीकत को ना समझने के बायस इतराज करने बैठ जाते हैं हालांकि हालांकि उनसे अगर यह सवाल किया जावे कि और जो हजार 
हजार हा बयन निशान मौजूद है उनसे तुमने क्या फायदा उठाया आई शो थाउजेंडिफिट फ्रॉम दो यकीन उनसे कोई जवाब नहीं देगा हालांकि वो अमर जिसको वो अपनी कम इलमी की वजह से निशान निशान निशाना एतराज बनाते हैं आइन सुन्नत के मुआफिक एक अमर होता है the allegations they are raising is exactly in accordance with the sunna of allah aur koi bhi nabi nahi guzra jo is sunnat se bahar raha no prophet is free from such errors bas okay. is sunnat se inkar karne wale ka iman kis khatre mein hai adnan bhai listen carefully that such a person I'm, I'm imagine how dangerous their iman is wo sirf hamari pesh koi par hi itraz nahi karta balki balki aa hazrat sallallahu alaihi wasallam ki bhi takzeeb karta hai aur balki is tarah se to dusre tamam anbiya ki bhi takzeeb karta hai that okay. by rejecting hazrat tahim lasam and his thousands of sons they not only reject him they reject all the prophets and nabi so, sallallahu alaihi wasallam so, so, then so he, you can stop now you can stop why? now why i'm not quickly. done it's almost i'll tell you i'll tell you what i'll tell you i want to finish i want to finish Brother. I'll tell you, you no, 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 no. To read We're it. not going to give you all night. You said he I was gave you one, one minute. He gave you one minute. He gave you one minute. Brother, okay, you wait now. Him. Okay, you challenged mute him. Now you're mute running him. from mute the him. challenge. Mute him. One second. Wait. He gave you one minute. Be a gentleman. He so gave you one minute. Okay. Left, now, okay. One second. He gave why you one you, minute. Why didn't you read it in your time? Later. In your time, yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. But now the Wait. mazmoon. The thing is, no, 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 no. It's this been guy, forty minutes, and we still haven't guy, actually. This guy has wasted a lot of our time. Okay, throwing yeah. spanners That's in the world. That's for the viewers now, to decide. Here, I here, it, here in this quote, I want Imtiaz Bhai. I want you to talk about this. Here in this quote, Mirza himself is acknowledging that this prophecy is unfulfilled. You know why? No, he Because didn't I'll say... tell. No, no. Sh- 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 it's my turn. I'm speaking and Imtiaz Bhai can come in because Mirza is saying in the beginning that there are so many of my prophecies that have been fulfilled but when they see an unfulfilled prophecy which is from the mutashabihat he didn't say it's okay. not fulfilled he didn't he say it's he, not fulfilled he said it's from mutashabihat so why did right? you say it was unfulfilled no, 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 no. what we going to do now no 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 why did you say it okay why okay. did you say it was unfulfilled brother? okay can you can you now can you explain he's talking about uh, he's talking about two things right his marriage with muhammadi begum and the death of sultan muhammad correct Yeah. These two things are mutashabihat. No, it's not mutashabihat. Well, well that's what he's talking about. Let Mirza. me explain what's mutashabihat now. Okay? okay wait. When explain. Mirza says, when Let Mirza answer, says, brother. Let wait, me wait. answer everything will make sense. You you, you can answer. Me. I I want you to answer specifically. Okay. When Mirza said, there are so many of my prophecies that have been fulfilled, but when something from the mutashabihat happens, these people pick on that. Correct? Yes. Okay. What was he talking about when he said okay. mutashabihat? And what Beautiful. was the question? And what Jazakumullah. was the question? What was the question about? And what was mutashabihat? Jazakumullah, jazakumullah. Mm. Firstly, he never said they were unfulfilled, so you should take that back. Ignore that. And why should I ignore it when you throw answer these? Answer my question. So why did what, you say what, that then, brother? What you was the question about? Hulu Stop, Stop playing Hulu games. Stop playing games. What was Sadida. my question? What was my question? What was the question of the questioner? Okay. And okay. when Mirza responded to the question, he said, "Mutashabihat." What was the question? Perfect. And Now what I'll was answer. the answer? So Jazakallah okay. for accepting that you misquoted him, and Inshallah you won't do that again. The I'm question wait for the is about the prophecy of Ahmed Beg. Ahmed Beg died within the time for me. Died within six months. Was that mutashabihat or muhkam? Yes or no? Answer. Uh, was it mutashabihat or muhkam? The question was not about You're Ahmed Beg. When did Ahmed oh, Beg die? When did we, Ahmed Beg die? Wait, 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 wait. We're gonna do this. When did when did Ahmed Beg die? Mr. Ahmed Beg के बारे में पेश कोई के के इतराज पे जवाब पेश कोई Ahmed Beg. So don't okay. twist, brother. It's okay, going wait. To That's them. fine. I'm 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 getting. When did Ahmed Beg die? He died six months within the prophecy. No, what date? I can open it up for you. He 18... died. In- In 1892. Yeah. In 1892. And this Malfuz. And this Malfuz. This Malfuz is from April 1908. Correct. You said it was for both. Wait, men. wait, wait, That's wait, 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 yeah. wait. Stop playing games, Razi. We're not gonna. We're gonna let you. We're, we're not gonna let you dance. We don't games, like your dance. We don't you're like. Playing, we don't, I don't like dance, watch. brother. Wait, you're, It's your Muslim wait, Sufi brothers wait, who wait, like dancing in mosques. We don't do that. Listen, Razi. Listen. The date of Ahmed Beg's death is in 1892. 1892. This question, this questioner is asking Mirza about the same prophecy in 
1908. Exactly, exactly. And why? What was the question about? Which part Nawagand. is unfulfilled? Nawagand. Which part is unfulfilled? Yes. So yeah. the moh, the moh, the prophecy itself, when Ahmed Beg died within six months and Sultan Muhammad repented, that's mohkam, the mutashabiyat part, is the third part, which was only going to happen if Muhammad Sultan went against his repentance. Which, which third part? Uh, explain which third part. Yeah, the which third part? part was that if Muhammad Sultan go, does not repent and he goes against his repentance, then the nikah will happen. Read on okay. Jamiatim page okay. 32. So, 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 that, so that audience yes understands. No? So that our, the audience yeah. understands. The prophecy has three parts. Number one, the death of Sultan. Mashrut uh, uh, prophecy. Uh, um, okay, 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 okay. The prophecy, just so that audience understands, yeah. so that we can help audience understand, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani said that Muhammadi Begum will marry me. No, and he if didn't marries, say that. He okay, didn't wait, say that. Wait, You're misquoting. Okay, Read the whole prophecy. Wait, 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 wait. He okay. said if she heard that. Wait, name, brother, said, Razi, no, no, have the patience. Brother. Razi, have then the decency of listening. Okay, Razi, go, have go, the speak. decency of listening. Speak all, make notes. Mirza, and Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, he said, if... If Muhammad Begum marries another man within within two and a half years, her husband will die, and within three years, her father Ahmad Beg will die. Correct? Okay. And the third well, part. Wait, right. wait, wait, wait. And the third part. Brother. And the third part of the prophecy is that Muhammad Begum will definitely marry Mirza before he dies. That's this the first. This is a lie the, as well. Okay. We're okay. lying here as well. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take it now to Imtiaz yeah. Bhai and let no, him why, show why? you. Why? Why? You have to let me address. You said if I listen, you'll let me answer. Okay. So now two minutes. So go ahead. Promise. Two minutes. We're gonna why go back to two lying? minutes. Why? Why? Uh, why? Be uh, because it's not getting anywhere. Okay. So you lied three times. I shouldn't okay. say like you made a mistake three times. I take that back. No, okay? no, no. Lie. Call okay. me a liar. No so problem. You basically You've been calling me a liar on Twitter. First, you said. Oh, there you do a lot. You lie a lot. Like you said, let Ghazi people go and watch my Twitter. That Everyone check out my Twitter. Yeah, Everyone check, check out my Twitter. Check Adnan out mine Rashid as well. And check, the out, check out if I have lied. Go and yes, see the you will see him lie against many things on the Twitter uh, tweets. Okay, so first thing is you were saying the prophet, the uh, Malfuzat passage was about the whole prophecy. It wasn't. Right, it's called the Ahmed Beg prophecy. I, I, I'm the, not saying the that. Mutasha, let me finish. You're, the you're, muta you're lying on me now. No, I'm, I'm not, not lying. That. You can rewind and watch. Okay? What was the question about okay. which so part? Let, now let me answer. Let me okay, answer. Wait. Okay, so the, the question... prophecy, the prophecy was unfulfilled. A questioner yeah. came to Mirza near the end of his life yeah. and asked him, it's "Why is the prophecy? Why is the? Shh, 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 shh. Yeah. Why is the prophecy unfulfilled? The, because one part." Mirza is claiming is fulfilled. The other part, which was a very important part, is unfulfilled. Why? And Mirza then responds that many of my prophecies has come, have, have, have been fulfilled, but people choose the Mutashabihat part. Which part is Mirza calling Mutashabihat? Okay, so now I'll answer in yeah. my two minutes, okay? Number yes, one, ahead. you misquoted the prophecy. You said if Muhammad Ibega marries another man within two and a half years, her husband will die. This is a lie, brother. Read on Jami Atam, page 32. Hazrat Ahmed Lassam made it clear that this was Mashrut. If you want to see him die, make him do takzeeb of me. If he repents, the nikah will not happen because the shirt of the nikah was that Muhammad Sultan had to go against his repentance. This was a beautifully fulfilled prophecy. The mutashabihat was the end part that because Muhammad Sultan didn't go against his repentance, of course, if he doesn't die, the nikah is not going to happen. Why do you think Muhammad Begum's mother became Ahmadi? Why did her son become Ahmadi? Why did her father let her son become Ahmadi? In fact, he encouraged it. It's 100% relevant. relevant. That's irrelevant. for the viewers to see. Why they did Mirza's son did not become Ahmadi? Was why did Mirza's son why die? Why did Mu'ala's uh, son die as a disbeliever? So, so irrelevant. What right? irrelevant. Here, brother, the point is, the here? prophecy was about their mother. <laughs> and they still accept it. It's relevant. It's 100% relevant. Guys, can we please get back to the topic? Because it's just all over the place right The prophecy was about their mother. The Guys, mother who the prophecy was about, her let own mother became Ahmadi. Her son became Ahmadi. Two minutes of finishing. Relatives, he kept cutting me off. Give me 30 more seconds. In her own family, more than 10 relatives became Ahmadi. Her mother is buried in Bahishti Makpura. She gave one third wasiyat. Why are they accepting Ahmadiyya? Because they saw the prophecy was fulfilled. You say it was not fulfilled. 
But people saw the fulfillment, which is why they accepted Ahmadiyya. It's okay, relevant because the prophecy was about their mother. Imtiaz, okay. over to you. Over okay. to you. Imtiaz, okay. over to you. Imtiaz, are you awake? I, 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 I literally don't know what I have to do now. I okay. know, it's all over the place. Go, Can we go, please go, stick to the go back, go back to, to where you... Where, where you, where you Read on Jamiat and page 32. No, 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 you, you've done, done, you've done have we finished the two case studies for the Muslim side yet? No, we haven't. No. Okay, so which one? Did, I think we touched up on the. Last, oh, the no. yeah. last one and a okay. half hour. I don't know what was the discussion <laughs> okay. that was and uh, I don't know. If they asked by four, four, four was questions. Okay. Four. Okay. For the why, why don't I okay. remind? Okay. Why don't okay. I remind okay. Brother Muhammad Imtiaz before he went to Salah? You raised few points four, that Razi was supposed to answer. Now, few. I said few points. One of them is, you know, Mirza Sahib. Apparently, he quoted, you know, the five Sahaba who became Murtad. Where is the reference is that in Biblical Sahaba? Books? When did I say that? Now, this Not is five. what Sahaba. Mansoor, this bhai, five... let, me, let me begin, inshallah. I yeah? never said Sahaba became Murtad. Wait, brother, wait, wait, let me begin. Okay, let okay, begin. brother Imtiaz, if you remember, carry on. Yeah, so now, uh, my request to all the panelists and all the listeners is please be with us. We're going to wrap it up, inshallah, in the next 30 minutes because we have to move on to the next topic. Okay. Now, in this 30 minutes, Razi and myself will go back and forth two minutes each, point to point. Okay. So, Razi, uh, I'm raising point. Please listen carefully. Okay. I raised an objection on the subject of because the main defense you are taking and Jamaat has taken is that it was ijtihadi ghalti, error of interpretation, and which can happen in the, and which has happened according to your Jamaat in the case of other prophets as well. So my objection was this, please address the point direct. My objection is, I am claiming that this is all red herring. Mirza did not interpret it with his ijtihad or understanding. He interpreted, or at, at least he claimed to be interpreted through revelation. Do you accept this objection or do you reject? Please give me a first of all clear answer. St still my time is there. Please. Razi, do you accept Yes, it or I'm not? listening. Do finish what you're saying, then I'll explain. No, no, I need the answer before I proceed. Okay, so with regards to Muhammad Begum, right? The wahi that Hazrat Ahmed got was 100% right and his interpretation was also 100% right. Was that interpretation from Ijtihad or wahi? Which interpretation? The one, there's three parts. The death of the father, it was fulfilled. The second part, Anjami Atam Hazrat Masim says that only then the marriage will happen if Ahmed Beg does taqzeeb. So it was 100% right interpretation. Marriage with Muhammadi Begum. It was Why right it, interpretation. Wait, 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 wait. Listen, listen yes. first. Marriage with Muhammadi Begum. Did Mirza interpret this particular point through revelation or ishtihad? The fact that the marriage would happen, this point? Marriage two with parts, Muhammadi Begum. Parts, listen yeah. again. Marriage with Muhammadi Begum. This particular point. Was it ijtihad of Mirza or was it revelation? It was based on wahi but conditional, mashroot. So it was that, wahi, wahi, wahi. After, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. You have admitted that it was not ijtihad, yes or no? It was wahi from Allah the Almighty and it was shart was there. It was conditional. Brother, we'll go to shart later. Brother, we'll go to shart. We'll go this to shart. This is the usul, brother. Point this to is point. why we Let's discuss go. No, no, no. Wait, brother. Yes. Does it? Let's go yes. point to point. First, you need to give uh, audience and fully be respectful, brother, please. Give us answer one more time, clean answer. Yeah. Marriage with Muhammadi Begum, was it the ijtihad of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad or was it Allah's revelation? That the marriage will happen? It was Allah's revelation based on stop, conditions. Stop here, based stop on, here. Conditions. Stop based here. on conditions. Stop based here. on conditions. So, yes. Once you accept it, because we need to go point to point, okay? Based on condition, condition it was revelation. Condition will with be discussed, no problem. No yes, problem. Obviously, the obviously, obviously, at the end of the day, at the end yeah. of the day, Razi, condition yeah. was also part of revelation, right? 
Yes, yes. Okay, there was so there condition. is no such thing as ijtihad involved here. Yes or no? no there, look, the revelation is from Allah. Okay, it's hundred percent the word of Allah. But the marriage with Muhammad the Begum that was on the condition that if Muhammad Sultan goes against his repentance, which he didn't do. This is why Hazrat Tahmilasam always said. Now, my, wait, 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 no, 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 don't go too far. Don't go too far. Again, yeah. so are you accepting or not? Both. Marriage and condition, both of them part are revelation. Yes, none of them, yes. none of them is ijtihad. The word of Allah is hundred percent. No, 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 please, no brother, please, in please, the word of Allah. Brother, 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 please, marriage with Muhammad Begum and condition, both of them, according to Mirza, are revelation. Yes or not? Yes, just like okay. Hazrat Nuna now, now, and Sunnah no, wait, 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 wait. This is exactly what I tried to say earlier that there is nothing in this particular case which is the ijtihad or error of interpretation and you admitted this now you need to tell the audience in very clear term in in, in 30 seconds okay yeah. when there is no ijtihad involved here why did you went on the topic of ijtihad i will explain because you forgot the topic you challenged me on muhammad bhai it's the third time you forgot you upload these videos, you challenge me. The challenge was on Usul. The challenge was not on Muhammad the Begum. Muhammad the Begum is Mohkam for the first two parts. Sultan Muhammad did not go against his repentance, which is why the third part did not have to be fulfilled because it was Mashrut. Your topic was Usul, brother. Okay, Usul. You're done. No, no, sorry, no, no. my mic wait, wait, may wait, be wait, loud. I'm don't, not screaming. Don't go, don't go too far, brother. Okay, let's inshallah go point to point. Okay, so people can understand this. So, Alhamdulillah. Dear audience, note down this point. Brother Razi has accepted that none of the part of this prophecy which is being discussed here, marriage and the shart of repentance, none of them was ijtihad of Mirza. He claimed both of them through revelation. So there is no wait, wait, it's my turn. There's no ijtihad involved here. I have alhamdulillah. People can watch, repeat, watch it again. This point is finished from my side. Let's no, move on. I have to say one more point. I have to please, say one more point. Please, okay. Please. There's a verse in the Holy Quran. I want to quote it. It's really important before I misquote it. Okay. Allah says in the Holy Quran, one second. Uh I have it right here. Yeah. Chapter 29, verse 66. فَإِذَا رَكِبُوا فِي الْفُلْكِ دَعُوا اللَّهَ مُخْلِسِينَ لَهُ الدِّينَ فَلَمَّا نَجَّاهُمْ إِلَى الْبَرِّ إِذَا هُمْ يُشْرِكُونَ Allah says, when they go on board of a ship, they call Allah that, oh Allah, save us, sincere and exclusive to Him. When He brings them and protects them, they do, they go against as well. So, the prophecy of Muhammad the Begum, I'll finish up in 30 seconds, Father had to die. When he died, the husband repented. Hazrat Ahmed al continued to say that, look, if you want the third part to be fulfilled, he has to go against his repentance on Jamiat and page 32. He did not go against his repentance, but Hazur al -Islam felt that he would go against his repentance. Just like this verse says that when they're saved, they go against Allah. Again, this is mentioned throughout the Quran. So this is our muqaddama. Muhammad the Begum, her whole family 18 people in Al Fazl accepted Hazrat Ahmed Hassan. Her own son accepted. Allah okay, your time was. is finished. Your time yes. is finished. Okay, now, yes. so first point has been concluded. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah, in the history of Ahmadiyya and Muslim discussion, today it has come on the record. Alhamdulillah, that there was no such a thing as ijtihad or error of interpretation. Mirza always, I have references in a timeline, Mirza always interpreted Ilham through Ilham. However, when it did not happen, then he invented the cover of error of interpretation. This is wrong cover, because he wait, explained wait, 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 this in Anjami. Why are you interjecting, Razi? Why are you interjecting? Okay, okay, I'll, I'll speak in my turn. In my turn. And, and throughout the history, this was the cover Jamaat was taking. I, I request listeners, note down the timestamp, go back 10 minutes before this, this point and watch Alhamdulillah, Razi has accepted. There was no ijtihad involved here. He claimed it through revelation. He understood through revelation. 
he interpreted through revelation and in this revelation obviously he was wrong so the point is this everybody listen very carefully this revelation was not from allah subhanahu wa ta'ala finish I'm all finish in two minutes concluding no 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 no, no. no 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 you, no, no, you said you'll let me speak you said you'll let me speak you said you'll let me speak abag nani mujhe do give me two minutes go ahead. everything imtiaz just said is clear misinterpretation <laughs> throughout the history of jamaat we have answered this our own family converted they answered these allegations in al fazl and what not number one number two he was never wrong the prophecy was 100% fulfilled allah told him the father will die within six months within three years did he die in six months or no they'll never answer this he died then the husband of muhammad begum repented and he stayed on his repentance in anjam atam page 32 hazrat ahmed lasam says that if you want him to die he has to go against his repentance never did he go against his repentance they present fake letters after hazrat lasam passed away hazrat ahmed lasam on that page says if you want to see him die make him do my tikzi molbis would beg him Mirza Saib, please speak against Mirza Saib. We'll give you rupee. We'll give you everything. He didn't dare open his mouth. So the prophecy was fulfilled. Alhamdulillah, this case is closed. No ahle hadith mujahid khatm nabut should present this allegation again. Her family accepted. Now, Who are these brothers? Hundreds of years they're trying to okay. raise allegations. Okay, people have people have listened. Both have decided. Of us. Alhamdulillah, people, yes. People have listened. Both of us. Let's move on to second point. Now there was a second leg. There are two legs of this principle. One leg was, oh, he interpreted through his own ijtihad and he made error. That has been dealt and finished forever. Now the second leg of the principle is that the prophets they can make error when they interpret their prophecies. This was the discussion for for more than one hour. then i raised a point that this principle is being quoted half the full principle mirza quoted and if razi challenge i have references ready alhamdulillah i read those all alhamdulillah this is not your time okay so if the, the, the full principle is and i want to read mirza sahib please give me one second okay i want to read his words I just open up there. I want to exact word to word. Okay, everybody, please pay attention so I can read some of the references. Yohani Khazain, Volume Twenty One, Page Two Hundred and Fifty, and this is from the book. which was published after the death of mirza sahib he says asal baat ye hai ke paigambar bhi bashar hota hai aur iske liye ye naqs ki baat nahi hai ke kisi apne ijtihad mein galti khawe ha magar wo galti pe qaim nahi rakha ja sakta aur kisi waqt apni galti pe zarur mutanabbe kiya jata hai next reference ruhani khazain volume 21 page 280 aap isse inkar karte hain कैम्बिया सलाम से कोई गलती इजतहादी नहीं हो सकती सब जानते हैं कि बशर हो सकती है मगर वो हमेशा इस गलती पे कायम नहीं रखे जाते इन बोथ ऑफ दिस कोटेशन इन द इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज टू ट्रांसलेट इट ही सेड दैट यस प्रॉफिट कैन मेक एरर ऑफ इंटरप्रिटेशन बट दे आर नेवर लेफ्ट ऑन दिस एरर दे मस्ट बी करेक्टेड एंड देन वन मोर रेफरेंस मैं गलती पे दिस इज मजमु इश्तिहार Page one five five, volume three. It's basically public announcements. Old volume three, page one five five. मैं गलती पे कायम नहीं रखा जाता. खुदा की रहमत मुझे जल्द तर हकीकी इन किशाफ की राह दिखा देती है. और मेरी रूह फरिश्तों की गोद में परवरिश पाती है. Mirza is saying about himself, I am not left on error. The mercy of Allah. sooner reveals the matters to me and i am the one who is basically in the in the lap I, i am i am brought up i am being brought up in the lap of the angels okay one more reference inshallah ruhani khazain volume 8 page 272 
اللہ تعالیٰ مجھے غلطی پہ ایک لمحہ کے لیے بھی باقی نہیں رہنے دیتا اور مجھے ہر ایک غلط بات سے محفوظ رکھتا ہے روحانی خزائن والیوم ایٹ پیج ٹو سیون ٹو ہی سینگ دیٹ اللہ لسنرز لسن ویری کیئر فلی اللہ سبحان ہوا تعالیٰ ول نیور لیو می آن مسٹیک اور ایرر فار اے بریف مومنٹ اینڈ ہی ہی پروٹیکٹس می فرام ایوری تھنگ وچ از ناٹ رائٹ سو آئی ہیو گیون یو Okay. I missed the last reference. If you can do that one. No problem. Day. All of them are same. Okay. So now, I Is quoted... Is it Nurul Haq? Just making sure it's Nurul Haq, you said? Brother, allow me to speak. Okay. I I have multiple references. Okay. It's not just one. So Mirza Sahib, throughout his life, he affirmed a principle that prophets can make error of judgment. Ijtihadi galti. Khada ijtihadiya. And then, he, the next part of this usul, he, he always said this, that they must be corrected. And then he said the same about himself, that I cannot be left on error even for a brief moment. So the reason I mentioned this is this. Throughout his life, we have not been shown a single revelation. I am not saying, quote to me his ijtihad, his opinion, no. Because ijtihad cannot be corrected with another ijtihad because he was making mistake in the ijtihad the principle is the mistake of ijtihad will be corrected through revelation so now you need to produce just one reference not 10 not 15 one reference in which you need to quote us the revelation revelation in which allah is correcting him on the error that you will not marry muhammadi begum go ahead okay jazakumullah So firstly, you have to understand that you mentioned so many points, so I don't know where to start. But the last quote before I answer, I wrote down your question. Can you show me the last quote you mentioned? It's really important. The last one. Give me a second. Yeah. Also, Brother Imtiaz, can you please make one point, let Razi respond and then make another point? I only you made one point. You can show it on the screen, the reference, the last okay. reference. Okay. He's claiming you made many points. No, 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 no. no. brother. Brother Razi, please, I only made one point. That if okay. Prophet makes error, he must be corrected. I'll answer that. Can you show it on screen, the yeah, last yeah. reference you gave? I will do now, inshallah. Just give me one second. I'll just quickly drink something, cool? I'm no, here, no, no. I'm missing. Just, just be I'm quiet, right no here. discussion. No discussion yet. We want to clarify, inshallah, point to point. Okay, I'm now, inshallah, going to share my screen because reference is ready. Is it on the screen now? Yes, it is. Okay, so this is basically page 155, public announcement or Majumua Ishtiharat. And this is old edition. And in the first paragraph, towards the end, I read this one. Haan, jab mein apni taraf se koji jitihad karun, ya apni taraf se kisi ilham ke maani karun, to mumkin hai ke kabhi is maani mein galti bhi khaun. Magar is galti pe kaim nahi rakha jata. Or khuda ki rahmat jal tar mujhe haqiqi inkishaf ki raha deti hai. Or meri ruh khuda ke farishto ki god mein parvish baati hai. This isn't the one I asked about. This isn't the reference I asked about. No, no, no. First thing. First thing. I asked about the one where he said blink of an eye. The blink of an eye. He cannot leave. He cannot stay on an error even for a moment. Yeah, that one. That one. The blink of an eye. It's Nurul Haq. Nurul Haq, page 2-8. No problem. No problem. Should I put it up? Do you want me to put it up? Okay, but do you okay? While while 
while Brother Imtiaz is Ex- putting these up, do you agree with all the other references, right? There, there's no problem with all other references, The other correct? ones I've never had an issue with, but the fact uh-huh. that he... No, 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 no problem. Razi, no, 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 go ahead. Razi, go ahead. Put on the screen. Explain your point. Go ahead. Okay. One inshallah, second. Inshallah, respond in my term, inshallah. This is just extra, though. This isn't my answer. This is to no, show... No, 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 no extra. No extra. This, no, no, no. You misquoted, brother. No, no. You misquoted. No, 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 no. Listen, I listen, Razi. Many. You pick this one. This is your time. Please respond two minutes. Okay, then I won't show it, but I'll just quickly say before my two minutes start that he misinterpreted the writings again of Hazrat Masim or the Islam. There he's talking about his tafsir challenge, which was tahaddi, which none of the ulama could answer to. Now he's asking where was Hazrat Masim or the Islam corrected and that a prophet is only corrected through wahi itself. Do you not know something about ilham? Hazrat Ahmad Asim corrected himself in the Malfuzat reference. I was reading that Adnan had to stop me from reading. That is my answer to that. Jazakumullah. Okay, no problem. Now, inshallah, because the, because it's point to point. Okay. Yeah. He raised an obligation that can I can I not use my two minutes. Finish them. Go ahead. Okay, so Hashim Bhai, can you please share but my just, screen? But just point. On this same uh, point, Nabi has to. Is be it related or is it unrelated? It's yeah. related. It's his misquote, right? No, no, you Who's said to me that I misquoted. You said to me, I misquoted. So do you accept you misquoted? No, not at all. Okay, so let's read it, right? I have my two minutes. I have minute 30 left. This is what okay, he quoted. Go ahead, go. Right? So here, Hazrat Masim of the is challenging Batalbi regarding his tafsir of Quran. He says, Wa kullu ma, uh, wa kullu ma huwa min rabbi, wa inna rabbi awrani min ka'asil ar irfani. He's talking about his tafsir surah Fatiha challenge to Batalbi that this is a tahaddi from Allah the Almighty. None of the ulama stood up. This has nothing to do with ijtihad and remaining on air of regarding ijtihad. Regarding ijtihad, Hazrat Nuh lesson was kept on air till the flood happened. So do not misquote, brothers. This is unjust. This is no, no, Adnanbe. which, which I, I, I didn't get this. Adnanbe, point. Please don't talk. Please, yes. please, yes. don't so talk. Adnanbe, this okay. is challenge to Muhammad Hussein Batalbi regarding his Surah Fatiha Tafsir that I'm giving you Ulum Min Allah. Anyone can read Ijazul Masih Arabic Surah Fatiha Kanti. Okay, challenge all the ulama. It's about that. The Allah will thank not you. And that's why we'll respond to it. Yes. Yes. Now, yes. so now, okay, next point. That point is no, done. No, 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 no. Your no, time, your is, time is up. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I'm saying. Your turn. That's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. Now, inshallah, everything you said is going to be responded now. Okay, first of all, I quoted five references. And regarding one of the references, he said that that was regarding his tafsir. What about rest of the four references? So I'll answer okay. that now. I'll okay, answer no. that now. Okay. Allow me to finish. This is my I turn. forgot to answer. I could have answered. You note down. Okay. You note okay. down. Okay. You note down. Okay. Next, then he said that oh, the tafsir point was about there was tahaddi. Guess what? The marriage with Muhammadi Begum was also tahaddi because he said, listen carefully, he said that he I make this news the criterion for my truthfulness, and I am not saying this only after Allah has taught me. So, if that was tahaddi. Muhammadi's Begum marriage was also tahaddi and there are multiple references. So you cannot just create an exit by saying about one reference. I have already given you the answer. Muhammadi Begum's marriage was also tahaddi. Next point. You said that you have quoted Malfuzat. Brother Razi, in Malfuzat, there is no revelation. Okay. You need to give us revelation in which Mirza is being corrected. So stick on the point. Now it's your turn. Okay. Jazakumullah. So number one, the first thing is that you said marriage Muhammad Begum was also tahaddi. You need to provide a reference where Hazrat Ahmed Asim uses the word tahaddi. Even <laughs> if you find it, I have no issue. Because according to that log- logic, Nu al-Islam, Yunus al-Islam, Sula Hudaybiyah, all of that was tahaddi as well. Nu al-Islam told the people, I had the ayat of the Quran. He was reading the uh, when the people were walking by him, they would mock him. How did Yunus al respond to them? They would mock him and he would say, you will see who the punishment comes upon. It says, <clears throat> There's no bigger tahadi than what Hazrat Nuh did. There was still uh, ijtahadi galati. Number three, you said 
Malfuzat, there's no revelation. Brother, you don't even know what Ambiya are. Some of their mistakes are fixed with their action as well. <laughs> this is clear. It's not something to laugh about, brother. Right? I'm answering you should respect and understand what I'm trying to say. Prophets do not only correct themselves through revelation. They can be corrected through ilham as well and their actions as well correct themselves. If you look at Sahih al-Bukhari, there's many incidents where Nabi Sassam's actions corrected himself. And in those ahadiths, there's no mention that these are the words of my wahi. Okay, I can provide some references. Number three, there are examples of Nabi Sassam where he passed away upon ijtihad. And Hazrat Ahmed al uses those examples. So you are misquoting those because you have to look at everything in context. In Hakikat al Wahi, he speaks of the Bani Israel Ambiya. They didn't know exactly. Your time how is finished. Okay. Okay. Now, inshallah, again, directly to the point. He said that, uh, show me the world tahaddi. Okay. So I want listeners to please refresh your memories. In our the first stream when I came and I raised the issue of the Haddi. In that stream, and inshallah, after I finish today, I'm going to put that exact timestamp as well. Razi said that it doesn't have, Prophet doesn't have to say the word the Haddi. Okay. And today, when you are cornered, you're saying, show me the word the Haddi. Why double standards? Number one. Number two. Okay. Then you said that, give me the reference or or let, let, let me finish the first point, okay? Are you Mr. saying... Rabbi, can you say it again? I'll give you extra time. If you okay. can say it again. I okay. want to okay. write it one okay. second. Okay. 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 Yeah, now. Okay. okay. No problem. Sorry? Carry on, if carry on. you can say it from the start, like everything you just said. My please. time starts now? My time starts now? You can get extra time. You can no get problem. extra time. Thank you very much. Okay. So the first thing I said is this. In our previous team... I think, I think it was second stream, I believe, in which I appeared first time in the stream of Dawa Wise. And I raised the topic of the Haddi. And my point was that when a prophet says something and, bring, and makes it a criterion of his truthfulness or his falsehood, okay, this is called the Haddi. At that time, uh, Brother Raziullah, he said something along these lines. I'm going to paraphrase, obviously. He said that we don't have to see the word the haddi, okay? And this principle of the haddi, he said to me, I just made it up. There's no such thing, okay? Things are this, this nature. Now, I'm going to ask you this question. Now, are you introducing a principle today that everything that is the haddi of a prophet, do we need to produce the word the haddi? Okay, no problem. My, my, okay, no problem. Now, do you need the reference that Mirza want Mirza made the marriage with Muhammadi Begum a uh, criteria of his truthfulness. Do you want that reference? Okay, give me one second. I'm gonna pull it out. No, no, no. I want to give for the listeners. We already have that. I don't need that. No, reference. no, I want to. No, I no. Want, okay. this is my time. Oh, yeah, for the viewers, yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Is this the one or not? Uh, on the screen. One? Is a screen? Okay, give me one second. No, no, this is not the one. This is not the one. I'm going to pull out. And before I pull out, no more talk. I just want to put first that on the screen. Okay. Okay, this is... Uh, I'm going to quote this one. Uh, give me, brother, one second. I just want to pull up the actual book as well. Also, want to know, Razi, do you want to give chance to your other brothers who are waiting in the studio? Or yes, you want to, I, I don't. You want I, to be solo performance today? No, no, I don't want to do that because they're waiting a lot, but I'm not running. I don't want no, to. I didn't say you were. I'm just asking. I know, I know. But Adnan may to give. going to send out a tweet. Maybe that Razi ran away. So I'm just 
Adnan Rashid doesn't do that. Razi We're loving it. We're uh, yeah, blessing us with so much publicity. The face of Hazrat Tahmlas is spreading. Alhamdulillah. Yeah, that, please be quiet, Razi. Razi, please okay. be quiet. Yeah, yeah no uh, preaching. Let me know when you want your brothers to come in. Because, yeah, look. Uh, it's as been everyone, over two hours I, I, and 15 I, I minutes. Want, yeah, I want everyone to go on my Twitter and see exactly what I'm posting. And uh, inshallah, they can see um, for themselves. I am very Just, happy that... Thousands of Ahmadis are coming on my Twitter and seeing all that. Okay, okay, yeah. Razi, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna read the text and then okay? I respond. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna read the text first and then you can respond. Okay. Uh, I am translating what he said in Arabic, and you can pull off the actual text. If I mistranslate, you can correct us. Okay. So he said that. Uh, did you not have the reference for the screen? Uh, in the uh, uh, I need to. Uh, I need to put, pull out the book, but no problem. If it's telling that, inshallah, then I will definitely do that. Okay. Yeah. Inshallah. So, which reference are you posting in particular? Okay, I am going to. I am going to read the the the, the text. Okay, and now I want Dazi to pay attention. That is it, Tahdi or not? Okay. So listen the reference first. He says that I do not say to you. That this matter has finished. This matter is still on. And nothing can stop it. It is unavoid, it is unchangeable destiny. Takdir Mubram. And its time will come. I swear by Allah, the one who sent Prime Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam with the truth you will see it and i make this news the criterion to judge the truthfulness or falsehood of my claim and whatever i have said i have said this after allah has informed me okay so i, I now that the respond to this point yeah. this text from yeah. a prophet, would you consider it tahaddi or not? Okay, beautiful. So the thing is, how are we using the term tahaddi? Your ulama used tahaddi for the challenge of Quran. So regarding tahaddi, we would quote the Arabic challenges of Hazrat Masim and his challenges on the Quranic tafsir. As for prophecies, if you want to call it tahaddi, I have no issue at all. However, then you also have to call Hazrat Nuh Alayhisam's prophecy Tahadi. He was saying, Fasofa ta'alamuna may ya'tihi adabun yuhrihi wa yahillu alayhi adabun mukim. There's no greater Tahadi than Hazrat Nuh Alayhisam's Tahadi. Despite this, he told the kuffar that his family would be saved, his son drowned, and your ulama accept that he made an error there. The word ijtahad is used in case Adnan Rashid wants to argue. So I don't have an issue with the word tahadi. In that session, I was just saying that you are using the word tahadi, then you have to apply to all prophets' prophecies because the Quran makes it clear if a prophecy's prophet prophecies uh, if a prophet's prophecies fail, they will be punished. This is clear in the Quran. So it's not just for Hazrat Tahmilatam; it's for every prophet. The same usul. There's many verses of the Quran okay. regarding well, this. So last okay. point. So do I get another minute? How much time do I have left? I think you should let your brothers come in now. Okay, let me just wait, wait, finish. Wait, let me before, just finish before, last point. Yeah, let, let, let I have to answer for, last point. Yeah. I'm just... Yeah. Yeah. My, no, I, want to, I, want to make, I want to say my last turn as well before you we finish. Okay, but let me just uh, quote one verse. Now I got caught off guard. Um... One second, I apologize. Yeah, so Allah the Almighty states in the Quran, Wa in yaku kadiban fa alehi kadibuhu, wa in yaku sadikan yusib kum badulavi, yaidukum. So, with every prophet, if a false prophecy is made, he's going to be punished. This is why when Yunus alayhi made the prophecy, your tafasir book say, he said, Lan arjia ila komi kadaban, I will never return to them as a lie because they were saying anyone who makes a false prophecy, he is killed. The prophecy didn't fail, okay. it wasn't, uh, it was fulfilled. But they repented. So the point is that the hadi, if you want to use that word, I have no issue. But then uh, tahadi, all prophets, every prophecy is tahadi. Then okay, if we go wait. by your definition, last point, yeah, last point. Yeah, I have finish, one minute finish. left. I have one minute left. Seconds. 
But he cut me off while that was 45 seconds that time, no? Sorry, like 30. Okay, we'll okay, no, give you 10 seconds. Give, more. give me 10. So then he quoted Majmua Ishtiharat again out of contest. Imtiaz bhai asana kare. Do not do this. Dear Hazrat Tahmila Asam explains that this is from Takdeer Mu'allak. It is only Takdeer Mubram if Sultan Muhammad's husband goes against the repentance on Jami Atam page 32. Read that out loud for the audience. And Jami Atam. Page 32, it was Mub Mu'allak. It was only Mubram on the condition that her husband dies. He did not go against his repentance. So the prophecy was fulfilled and he was forgiven by Allah like others who do Tawbah. Thank Allah you. says, okay, thank Adna you. Ruju yeah. takes away the sin in Quran. Adna Ruju. Okay. Okay, Radhi, please stay here to listen my response, okay? Okay, now. The next brother? Yes. No, 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 no. You stay, you stay. You okay, stay. I'll stay. Here. I just have one quick request. That let me, please let me decide who comes because sometimes brothers are... No, no, you can't decide. No, from our decide. side, I'm saying. No, no, you cannot decide. But you can talk to... We, we'll go on first come, first basis. No, listen, 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 who, who gave him the license us. to decide for our stream? They misrepresent us and we're going to say we don't want, he doesn't represent us. Say, can I, you, I want, Imtiaz Bhai, can you do your turn? Can you do your turn? Adnan, go the ahead. reason I'm saying is people are going to come misrepresent us. Razi, be quiet now. We'll let you talk. Okay, brother, inshallah, I will take maybe two to three minutes to wrap up the entire discussion we had because people need to take notes of these points. Okay. There were two legs of the principle which Ahmadiyya Jamaat presented and Mirza Sahib presented as well. They said that prophets, they make error of judgment. Ijtihadi ghalti in Urdu or Hata ijtihadiya in Arabic. They make the air. Is in oh. What happened what to happened? the MTS okay. connection while, failed? While he comes back, I want. I have. Can I answer of, Mansoor by quickly? No, 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 no you can't. Um, I have a question for you. The quote he read that Muhammadi Begum is Takdir Mubram, which means unchangeable destiny and it will happen. And Allah ki qasam. Allah has told me this. You accept these words from Mirza? Just, just follow me. That's 100%. But okay. the so same... The, okay, sorry. He's back. 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 You asked me a question. You asked me a question. We're going to okay, come, we're gonna, we're gonna come back to this. No, no, no. We're going to come back. We're going to come back to this. It's his turn. Then yeah, do it's important that MTS finish and then... We're going to come back. We're going to come back to this. Okay, because I don't know that when I was, uh, when I went offline, just want to so yeah, just start the again, that's fine, no problem. Okay, just start again. so I said that the principle of Jamaat Ahmadiyya, which they presented, has two legs. First leg is that the prophets of Allah, they make error of interpretation or error of judgment when they interpret their revelation. And in this, they make mistakes. So was the case with Mirza Sahib. Not so always. I, let him finish. Come on, let him finish. I, I have already on record, Razi has conceded. We put the case study of Muhammadi Begum today. And in this case study, Razi admitted that either uh, Mirza's marriage with Muhammadi Begum or the condition of repentance, both of them he presented through revelation. So there was no ijtihad involved at all. So the cover of ijtihad or error of interpretation has been ripped off forever. The second leg of the second leg was that the prophets make mistake, but they, the problem is unfortunately in the entire stream, I have not seen that when Razi came on, he quoted the complete principle in any of his turn. Okay. The, the complete principle is, if Mirza Sahib said, if prophets, he said the prophets can make error of uh, judgment or interpretation. But the next part he always added with this one is that they are not left on their errors. Allah corrects them sooner about his own self. He said that Allah will not leave me on error even for a brief moment. Ek lamha ke liye, for a brief moment. Okay. So in this principle, I displayed and I completely finished this point by, by putting a challenge or invitation to Razi that he cannot produce a single revelation 
in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala corrected Mirza Sahib on his errors of interpretation, such as his marriage with Muhammad Begum, his date of birth. These are just two examples. Now, he then he said in this, he said in his rebuttal, wait, he said in his rebuttal, he said that no, the prophets are corrected with their actions. Guess what? I am not going to give you the chance to misinterpret your prophet. Okay. I am giving you invitation. The usul Mirza Sahib gave, Allah will correct them. Okay. Allah will correct them. You cannot correct an ijtihad through another ijtihad. The malfuzat you quoted, malfuzat has no revelation at all. The only cop out you tried to produce was that he was corrected through his action. Guess what? Till his death, till his death, he was saying, Takhir mein pad gaya hai ya fas ho gaya hai. He's still not sure which one is it. Either his marriage is cancelled or his, his marriage has been delayed. Now, this from 1907, this is very important point. Listeners, please take note. From 1907, after 31st March 1907, Mirza Sahib, before that, he was saying, just it has been delayed. From 1907, we have a couple of references when he added delayed or cancelled. Now, let me give you a very simple reason. Mirza Sahib is, according to Jamaat, in 1907, according to Jamaat, he is close to 74 years old. It has been almost two decades. He is telling people it will happen, it is only delayed. But now an old man has no other option. Eventually, he inserted another option that may be cancelled. What else he could say when two decades have gone past and there is not a slight change happening in the condition. So that's why from 1907 onward, he started to insert two options. Either it is nikah is delayed or it has been cancelled. But the simple answer is it is still his ijtihad. It's not a revelation because if it was revelation, he would only mention one thing while saying two things. So no revelation ever came to correct him. And now the last and final point on this, Mirza Sahib said, a prophet of Allah, if he makes an error of judgment or interpretation, he must be corrected by Allah. That Immediately. Is that, 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 is, that is premise number A. Premise number B, we have proven here, Mirza Sahib were not corrected by Allah. The conclusion that logically follows as a deductive argument, Mirza Sahib was not from Allah. I'm finished. Okay. Before Rosie so, comes in, wait, 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 wait. Before Razi comes in, I have now questions. You have, you guys have spoken about this for the last uh, one hour. Okay, easily one hour. Okay, uh, let people decide uh, what they have to uh, uh, take away from this. I have questions for Razi and I have questions for Imtiaz Bhai. So that audience... Can I answer first or are you going to ask first? No, no. You you, ha you have had your answers for the last no, three hours. No, Muhammad Bhai said I can respond to this. But I it's did important. not ask you any questions. Wait, wait, wait. No, you yes, did. Yes. You raised some points. Give me two minutes. Razi, 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 I gave I you questions. more than three minutes. Razi, I have questions. I'm going Razi, to answer him stop first. doing this. Stop doing this. I have questions. You have done your time. He's done his time. My question is now. My question is now. Is this true? And, and, and please make it short and so that our, our audience can actually um, um, benefit from this. Is this true that Mirza Sahib said that I cannot be on an error even for a moment? Do you accept that? I have to see the reference. But the reference that he quoted was not reference, about prophecy. In, okay, in, in, because okay. listen, let me answer. Let me answer. He gave that statement and he explains despite that statement the Hazrat Nu Alasam, Hazrat Yunus Alasam, they made Ijtihadiyah we'll come to that. he's just we'll come like that. Him. were we'll they come kept to... on here for a blink of Wait. an eye or no? So listen, don't misinterpret. Listen, don't listen Razi, Razi, you keep jumping on Musa. Uh, I sorry. have to still Wait. answer Wait. him. Wait. Okay, you keep jumping on Yunus Alasam and Nu Alasam, mis misquoting the Quran Spinning the Quran to save Mirza. Astaghfirullah. We're not going to allow that. So Ibn wait, Taymiyyah spin the we, Quran. We, we, yeah, no, no, we're not. Ibn Taymiyyah does not support you. Ibn Taymiyyah would have made takfir on you. Oh, you wouldn't need takfir. Wait, wait, wait. I'm not right. 
Please stop this topic. You please. Him in the okay. hell okay. No, he sit. Take care on you. Why no, no, no. I have me? a bad mind. His name. I believe he was pious. I think. Brother Muhammad Imtiaz, he made his final statements. That was the end of yes. this. No, no, I will answer Muhammad Imtiaz. We've had such a good time. Just let me finish. Guys. And then you okay. can add. I will add. Okay. Okay. Jazakumullah. Okay, wait. Okay. I, I have a question. Muhammad Ibegum was never married to Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, correct? Yes, as per the and, prophecy. And, and near the end of his life, up to the near, uh, up to the end of his life, he was repeatedly saying that it will happen, correct? No, not correct. Because he said Adnan, only if the husband it, goes against the repentance. Adnan, yeah. how much times will you be corrected on this? This shows yeah. that Sumu Mokhman will go on again. Right? Okay. I can't help you then, brother. Okay. Yeah. I think it's good if you bring another country. You don't need to help anyone. People have been listening anyway. Up to 1905. Can I ask you, Muhammad Imtiaz, then wait. I'm done and let Ahmed okay. come in. Wait, up to 1905. Imtiaz, bhai, please, please. I am doing this for a reason so that the audience gets the message. They get they the idea. The message, because your, your discussion was very technical. A lot of the people watching and listening, they don't know what the haddi is. They don't know what wa'ad is, what wa'id is. And what, you know, uh, uh, ishtahadi galti is. These guys deliberately, these Qadiani missionaries, deliberately, uh, you know, they murky the waters. They deliberately Holy do Holy this. Love no, no, no. And, and wait, Razi, 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 you will, you will speak. Razi, you have been on our stream for three hours. We, we have brought you in. We allowed you in. So if anything, we're not hiding your words. What, what I'm trying to clarify here is, that Mirza, repeatedly, what you know, your conclusion is not going to change, Imtiaz Bhai. Your conclusion is going to remain exactly the same, right? We're going to move on very quickly. But I want everyone to know that up to 1905, Mirza was longing for his marriage with Muhammadi Begum. Do you want me to pull out the reference or you accept that? We don't need to. We've, we've heard it, seen it. Okay. Up to yeah. 1905. Up to 1905, Mirza is longing for his marriage with Muhammadi Begum. For more than two decades, for more than two decades, Allah did not correct him. Mirza himself said that Allah will not leave a prophet on error. If he's making an istahadi galti, or if he's making a, an error of understanding or interpretation, Allah will not leave him on this. Razi has not challenged those quotes. I have, now, because you're misinterpreting. Now, let me answer, brother. People are waiting. You're wasting time. We already okay. discussed all of this. Okay. Now, so, I have so, to answer so up to, two up to people, 19, so I need up to three 1905, minutes. Up to 1905, Mirza was oh, lasting right. after Mahdi Begum. Now, Zabila, you're doing exactly what William Mirza did. Nabi says, opening says opening that up the whole he, topic Nabi again. loved Hazrat Zainab, radiallahu anh, and was getting revelation while she was made to Zayd, radiallahu anh. Are you happy now? now? Are you happy thing. now? You're doing no. Thing, you should fear Allah, brother. You indirectly mock Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Do mock the word of Allah. If you differ, differ without raising allegations on Rasulullah. Okay, okay. read what I, is. I, okay. the same thing about Zana, Stop brother. Stop going on tangents so deliberately. Brother, fear Allah. Did, okay. Did, do you have anything to did, say, um, Razi? Did, or are you going to just keep the question? Did Mirza I think, want, I think we should. Did, we should okay, stop. Yeah, yeah, look, did, okay, Razi, no, 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 Hashim, Hashim, Hashim. Yeah, but this will go on. No, we are derailing it again. Razi, no, he's doing this. Look, Razi, did Mirza want? Did Mirza want? Razi, 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 did Mirza want? Muhammad Begum up to 1905. No, he didn't. He never wanted her. He writes in his letters to Hazrat Hakim or Binurdin, I don't even want to marry. Okay. So don't lie, brother. Up to Please. 1905. Here, up to he 19... did not lust to... after. He okay. did not want to... to marry her. Okay. And he was Razi, it... Razi, yes. stop this. Stop this. And let stop me lying. answer Muhammad Ibn Up to 1905. No, he never to... wanted to okay. marry her ever. Okay. So, so uh, okay. Imtaz Bhai, I request. Please. Pull that reference up. I have the letter right here. No, 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 no. The letter right here. I'm not going to put any reference You don't have 1905? I don't need to have done by matter has been closed. I, I, of course, the matter has been closed. No, uh, let the people decide, Adnan. Why? Please let the people decide. Now we are yeah. confusing the people after we gave them a very clear message. Maktubat okay. Ahmed, volume two, page fifteen. He explains to Khalif Abul, I don't even want to marry again. You know, so don't lie, brother Adnan. Okay. Fear Allah. Bhai, Imtiaz Bhai. Imtiaz Bhai. Yeah, I'll, my, I'll tell you what, Razi, you got two minutes to answer Imtiaz. And then we are going to bring another Qadiani in. I, I don't know uh, how to put Ashim this. Ashim Bhai, he will raise 10 points in the I room. What, what, what I'm going to do I now? 
anything new. That's no, my no, point. I have to respond Listen. to these two minutes. I will respond to no, what no, you I will. say. You I can't. Will you, will, will you, can, you, can, you will respond, respond to him. Yeah, I will but respond after. The thing no, is, no, you no, we told him that we're going to give him time. This is your final two minutes. We'll give him two minutes. I'm and saying that's it, yeah? I'll let you speak, but I won't take another turn. No, no, this is your okay. final two minutes. This I'm is afraid. my final turn. That's yes. what I'm yeah. saying, brother. That's what go I'm okay, saying. Okay, go on. Two after minutes. Try listening instead that, of yeah, yeah, after that, you know. And then, brother okay. Mthias, you can take your as turn. As much time as you want. Okay. Yeah, and so then we'll brother, bring another Kadiani after this two minutes of yours. Okay, one second. Uh, I'm just seeing what he said right here. Okay, yes. So regarding the Ijtihadi errors, which I corrected, that you said I only give half the picture, this is not true because I can show you a hadith from Sahih al-Bukhari where Ijtihadi errors are made and they're not corrected. And Hazrat Ahmed Asim quotes those. Some prophecies regarding the end times, the true meaning is only seen when they're actually fulfilled. Till they're fulfilled, no one knows the exact details. This is one part of ilm which is why you have to have iman on these things. When they're fulfilled, you figure out what they actually meant. This is a usul that the Quran and a hadith prove. Number two, Hazrat Ahmed Asim corrected Muhammad the Begum uh, point that Adnan kept saying, when did he stop saying that, you know, he will uh, marry her? It's nowhere. I quoted the Malfuzat reference. It's clear that that part is cancelled as well. And you, Muhammad Ibn Tiyah said, Ijtahadi or an heir of a prophet can only be corrected with Wahi. What if I show you example from Rasulullah right now, where it was corrected by action? Will you say is false? So fear Allah, brother. Do Mutali of Sahih al-Bukhari again from Zubair Ali Zaisab's academy. There's examples of Nabi Sism where he made mistakes in his action corrected there's something called ilham as well so through malfuzat has answered it the prophecy was fulfilled her relatives accepted ahmadiyya her son accepted ahmadiyya her mother accepted ahmadiyya You're preaching her again son accepted ahmadiyya i will it's okay let him let him do it i will one more minute to islam mansoor and i'm waiting for your challenge on quran on kad khalat min kabli hirusun mansoor bhai you said you'll do it i await that challenge jazakallah okay. Um, wa you can wait for another another hundred years. Yeah, I'll wait. Here. You keep on waiting for another hundred years. For years. So Isa, he's never coming. He's Stay dead. Here to take the answer. Stay here. Stay here. Okay. Mama Muhammadun illa Rasul. Kad khalat min kabli hai Rasul. He's never coming back. Okay, your time is up, Rasi. Brother Imtiaz, your turn. That's it. Falamma tawa faytani, brother. So we have to say, we have to say, um, you know, goodbye to Rasi then. Um. Jazakallah okay. for everyone's Razi, time. Razi, no, I, I, Razi, I don't Razi, want... No, no, Adame, Razi, even yeah. you are off stage, please take note of the points. Yes, okay? yes. Jazakallah, no, 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 guide everyone. Stay here, stay here yeah. to listen to his response. Stay. Yes, yeah, sure. I won't speak now. Jazakallah, I send my concurring. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Okay, Razi, bhai, before I give you my response, I want to say this. I respect you from the bottom of my heart as a brother in humanity. If in the heat of emotion there was any word used, I take it back. Okay, now my response. Bismillah. So basically, brother Razi, uh, you mentioned four or five things, inshallah, very quickly. First thing was, I was only interested that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala corrected Mirza Sahib on the matter of Muhammadi Begum in Revelation. Now, listen, next point very carefully. I did not introduce this principle. Mirza Sahib gave us this principle that Allah will correct him. Okay. Now, don't ask me. Ask Mirza. Number one. Number two. Now, next point is going to be, I'm sure, new for you. Listen very carefully. Okay. If the principle is that if, if a prophet makes error of judgment, Allah will correct the prophet. Okay. If that's the principle, and then you want to add a caveat that it will not be case all the time. The usul is finished already. Then what is the usul? Okay. The usul you have already finished by saying this. Okay. And next point. You said that you, you, uh, Jamaat Ahmadiyya and people are saying again and again that after, you know, Muhammadi Begum's uh, son, uh, Ishaq Beg became this, this became. Listen, everyone carefully. Even if the entire world become Ahmadi. It has no impact on the failed prophecy of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad. Understand the Usuli point. Okay. Next point. You said that uh, now very interesting point. Brothers, listen very carefully. Inshallah, it will be very educative for all of us. Inshallah. Mirza towards the end of his life, 
he gave two things one is the after 1907 or from 1907 actually to be very precise he started to add maybe this marriage is delayed or cancelled okay now i gave you the answer of this point in the last turn already now second thing he started to say that this was a this was from the mutashabihat people listen very carefully he is telling us a specific person will die a specific lady will come in my nikah what is the mutashabe here <laughs> there's no mutashabe here it's all crystal clear okay there's no mutashabe here and then the next point is and this is something homework for razi okay razi take your homework brother after mirza have passed away i have the references there's a discussion between the first caliph hakim nuruddin and between and he is talking about Mirza Bashiruddin Mahmud, the second caliph. Okay, and the discussion is very interesting. Listen, everybody, carefully. Why I'm saying this? Because people are saying the last time Dr. Yahya said, today Razi said the prophecy was fulfilled hundred percent. Okay, listen carefully. After Mirza passed away, now they are discussing that how about if somebody from the progeny of Muhammadi Begum. and somebody from the progeny of mirza sahib if somehow we they married to each other they will give us an exit that oh, okay it was said about mirza sahib but it fulfilled in the form of their progeny if prophecy was fulfilled in the lifetime of mirza sahib these things do not make any sense and by the way i have not come to the discussion between the khulafa at this time alhamdulillah my research topic is after mirza passed away what was discussion happening between the descendants or the khulafa etc now next point is this i'm going to quote a reference for razi especially for all ahmadis ruhani khazain volume 5 page 1 uh, sorry page 353 listen very carefully aur nabi ki ijtihadi galti bhi dar haqeeqat wahi ki galti hoti hai okay <laughs> very interesting okay very interesting now this cover of ijtihadi galti has further been removed why because he is saying that even the ijtihadi galti of the prophet is the ijtihadi galti of the way now what this statement exactly mean we need to pull our hairs to understand this statement because there lot of mental gymnastic here okay now the last point inshallah i want to finish with this one that mirza sahib made a criteria I have quoted the reference already. He said that if this marriage of myself with Muhammadi Begum, if this does not take place, I make this marriage criterion to verify my truthfulness or my falsehood. And then he added a phrase: "I am only saying this after Allah has informed me." My dear brothers and sisters from Ahmadiyya. you are my brother in humanity sisters in humanity allah has shown you a sign that he was a liar he made a criterion he did not live up to the criterion matter has been closed allah and showed that he is a truth to why you why are you speaking he's mocking he's mocking i the didn't matter, stop stop the, the, he can the, listen the from matter, the background the, the, the matter has been made very clear for anybody to come in the future allah has made mirza sahib write through his own pen that this will serve as a criteria my dear ahmadi community allah has given you a criteria to verify the truth of mirza sahib through the pen of mirza sahib himself and what, what was the criteria if he dies without marrying with muhammadi begum he is not from god right so premise number a he said that if i die without my marriage with muhammadi begum i am not from god premise b he died without his marriage with muhammadi begum the conclusion follows logically he was not from god what else ahmadiyya ahmadiyya community is waiting from allah to tell them that he was a liar okay barakallah fik barakallah fik yes okay, okay. just uh, very jazakallah yeah, khair brother in class thank you for that conclusion so that people know i'm not just making this up I have the reference here on the screen. Okay, the reference I was mentioning was from uh, 1905, June 1905. Okay, Al Hakam, 
and the reference is here where my Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, as late as 1905, he is still uh, basically making claims that this will happen. Okay, this may happen. He's is going on into uh, is going on into details and is still hoping that he will marry Muhammadi Begum as late as 1905. The reference is there. Okay, uh, the newspaper is Al Hakam. Okay, and this is uh, dated 30th June 1905. Okay, he's still hoping. The point I'm making is he's still hopeful that his marriage with Muhammadi Begum will take place. And as Imtiaz Bhai rightly pointed out, that this was the criteria for his truth. This was the criteria. In fact, you know, this was such a big problem for him. I hope you don't mind, uh, Imtiaz, by me explaining these details, okay, that this was such a disturbing episode of his life that up to the time he died, he was... He was... Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. 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 So he was disturbed by it. You know why? Because he made it such a big deal. He made it such an important aspect of his life. His marriage to Muhammadi Begum was a very, very important. You know, we have no, we have no desire to speak about it. Muhammadi Begum, she has passed away. May Allah have mercy on her. Amen. Her husband has passed away. May Allah have mercy on him. Amen. Okay, um, they have passed away. Okay, they have they have taken what they had to take with them. The point here is. The, the case of Muhammadi Begum is important because of this man who has hundreds of thousands of followers and he has deceived them. He himself made this a criteria of his truth and it never happened. This is the point people need to remember. This never happened. And he repeatedly, repeatedly, nonstop mentioned this, that it will happen. It will happen. I am hopeful it will happen. It will happen. It will. And up to 1905, he's hoping that this will happen. And then... When people were questioning him about this, when people came to him asking him, why has this not happened? He would just make up some really lame excuses. He would start giving people the mistake of Noah alayhi salam, the mistake of Yunus al Islam, istahadi galti ho sakti hai, ye ho sakta hai, this can happen. So he would give really lame excuses because he himself had made it a criterion for his truth. It never happened. So May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide all the Ahmadi brothers and sisters in humanity out there. You know, these conversations, your missionaries are not an easy bunch to talk to because they are so manipulative. They are so not straight to the point. We will, we will be talking about apples, they will bring in pears. We'll be talking about grapes and they will bring in pomegranates. Okay, this is how it works with them. So we really have to focus on the conversation. Please, can tell us why. Okay, inshallah, brother, before we move on, I just want to say something, inshallah, and very quickly in two minutes. It's very important. Okay, uh, one thing has continuously been said ever since we are on this stream that we haven't read the Mirza, uh, uh, the books of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad or we are misquoting, etc., etc. Because I have said, I have made a disclaimer that I'm not, not going to use the word challenge, okay? I will use the word invitation. And I'm going to say with full confidence, there's not a single Ahmadi alive on this planet, okay, who knows the books of Mirza more than me, alhamdulillah, okay. If somebody says, I'm just exaggerating myself, okay, come on and I will ask you three questions from the books of Mirza Sahib, okay. If you answer those three questions, I will admit that I have been defeated. Look at, look at this one. I have not even asked anybody. But Alhamdulillah, this is the Allah's name. Allah says in the Quran, Wa amma bi ni'mati rabbika fahaddis. Okay? There are times when there's nothing wrong in, in, in saying Allah's name. Alhamdulillah, I am saying with real confidence, with the sugar of Allah, being very humbled in a positive way, that there's not a single Ahmadi alive who knows Mirza's book better than Muhammad Imtiaz. If you I think, don't, I, I no, no, don't wait, know wait, if that's the wait, wait. If somebody thinks, if somebody thinks, I'm just, I'm just saying it, okay? Next time, okay, we're going to dedicate half an hour and entire Ahmadiyya clerics are invited. I will pose three questions and I will expose to the world that it is Muhammad Imtiaz actually who have read the books of Mirza Sahib, nobody else. One very quick example for a finish. 
they are saying a point about takdeer e mubaram and takdeer e mu'allak in the prophecy of muhammadi begum wallahi brothers it took me many days to go through all the references about this particular point of takdeer e mubaram which is unchangeable uh, decree or destiny and takdeer e mu'allak which is changeable decree alhamdulillah finally allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me those conclusive decisive passages which are going to make it clear that what thing he is referring as takdeer e mubaram unchangeable and what thing he is referring as takdeer e mu'allak or changeable this is just one of those three questions which i which, uh, look look at this one i have already given you one question out of three nobody knows on this planet from the ahmadiyya that Mashallah. when he uses when he uses the term takdeer e mubaram and mu'allak what he exactly mean you need to go through 23 volume all malfuzat everything only then you can find alhamdulillah i did this okay last point inshallah before i finish this uh, disclaimer my uh, my my request uh, to 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 razi is because they are giving an impression that we are not because this this thing is very important okay they are giving an impression that how come we are not allowing them to use these videos to post on their channels has the usuli answer okay the principle because today stream is about the principle okay the principle response is this because when you when you discuss them when you put them on your channels the problem is number 1 it is a one sided thing okay we are not there to respond now you you may say this thing okay you come and respond we don't want to come on your channels why because we have countless examples where you disrespect people you take their things out of context you make short clips and copy paste to, to mock and ridicule them that is the reason we are not going to come there this platform is open for everyone both sides come here we discuss let the people decide so please don't don't use those mis detective oh, because they are too afraid at we are alhamdulillah we are not afraid at all i gave you a simple channel you don't even know mirza's books I have to teach you what he has written first. Okay, Jazakumullah Khair. Barakallah. Right. Before we bring in the next, uh, I want to make some observations very quickly. Um, we often hear, I mean, this repeatedly from this Ahmadi community that, Mashallah, you know, people are embracing this particular, you know, Ahmadi community all over the world. What they don't tell you is because you are using the Quran. It's the power of the Quran. It's the life of Prophet Muhammad. Ibn Abdullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam it is his life his biography his teaching and it is the Quran revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that you using for da'wah the power of this Quran and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam his life and character that is bringing people to Islam then you poison and inject them with your Ahmadiyya belief system Yeah, you start with Ahmadiyya. You start with Musa Gulam Ahmad and so on and so forth. Don't use the Quran. Don't use any of the hadith, and then let them people decide. What you do use, as far as my understanding goes, that you use the Quran to invite the people, and because of the power of the Quran, because of the strength of the Quranic arguments, that is why people are embracing. They are embracing because they are embracing to the truth of uh, Islam uh, um, through the Quran. That is why. Mansour. That is why uh, we see. You know, people when you're you, going you're, there, you're, you're claiming that. You're absolutely right in pointing that, and I'll, I'll I'll give you some of my personal observations in this as well. Um, when they claim that they are gaining converts, first of all, they're not gaining converts in the most educated parts of the world. Okay, they are gaining converts in remote areas of the world. People with uh, uh, you know many challenges in in particular education problems. So what they do is they go and build schools. Okay. and then they take children into these schools and then they raise them as ahmadis okay a lot of the times they they do these activities in poorer countries okay without telling people what is this about so people are already generally uh, aware of islam in these lands people have a very good impression of islam so these guys they use the the cover of islam to as you said inject them with Ahmadiyya later on. Okay, they don't actually tell people that this is a separate religion. They believe in another prophet after Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. They don't start with this. Okay, so so they 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 go under the cover of Islam. They will go to remote areas. Now they're losing big numbers 
in the subcontinent. India and Pakistan, they're losing big numbers. In the Western world, the youngsters are repeatedly questioning some of the basic beliefs and as to why they are so separate from the rest of the Muslim Ummah. Why are they so separate? They cannot celebrate Eid with us. They can't do things with us. They can't, I mean, there's nothing they can do with us, right? Because they have chosen to be separate. They have chosen themselves to excommunicate themselves. Okay, they blame the mainstream Muslims for calling them disbelievers, but they are the ones who are calling us disbelievers. Okay, if you take Mirza's writings, Mirza's writing that anyone who doesn't believe uh, in, in, his, his, in his message and in his prophethood is not a believer. He's not a believer. Okay, so all these things are there. So they, they do this under the cover of Islam. This is why we are trying to protect all those innocent people who may fall victim to their propaganda and their deception. At the same time, we're reaching out to the youngsters, the youth in the Western world, in the English-speaking world, so that they can hear all these points. Okay, These streams can be very messy. They can be very unpleasant at times. They can be packed with information. They can possibly be packed with confusion because these missionaries deliberately, they're trained to confuse. They're not trained to give you clarity. Mirza's writings... You know, uh, Imtiaz by saying it's a blessing. I don't think it's a blessing to read Mirza's books or memorize them. You know, it's, it's a blessing in one case that you can use those writings to highlight the blunders and the errors and the inconsisten inconsistencies and the confusions within his writings. He's full of contradictions, this man. Full of contradictions. Full of confusing statements. Full of mad statements. Crazy stuff. There's some crazy stuff he has written about the prophets, about himself. There's so much. I'm sure Brother Imtiaz has volumes mm. upon volumes. I have volumes. I On have... this note, I want to uh, ask uh, Brother Imtiaz one thing. Is it true, just to confirm from the writing, it's a well-known thing, that he wanted to write the Brahina Ahmadiyya in 50 volumes, and he was able to do five. And his explanation wasn't that, you know what, 50 and five, the merit is the same. The strength of the arguments in five volumes is enough to, to suffice 50 volumes. Instead, did he say something like, what's the difference between 50 and five is only a dot? Is that correct? Because if he said that, if he said that before you respond, if he said that, that really shows that this person is indeed is, is an imposter, is a false prophet, is a, is a liar. Because someone who it's clearly seeing that he's unable to, because he made a statement before, which was well known. I will do it in 50 volumes. And now he's unable to produce it. And a silly, childish response is provided that what's the difference between 50 and five is only a dot. I mean, what kind of response is this? No sane, sound judgment individual will fall for this argument. So is this correct? Is, did he write something like that? Okay, Jazakallah, it's a very good question, okay, but uh, let me make a disclaimer before I answer. It's a very technical job to speak about Mirza Sahib because ah Ahmadiyya community, they are sitting with their pens, okay. Whatever is going to come out of my mouth, they're going to take it note and next time that is the first point, okay. But I just want to say something very quick because Alhamdulillah, even though I compile everything, but brother uh, Mansoor, my, uh, you can say, my style is, I don't talk on a topic for which everything is not fresh, ready for the references, okay? But I just want to make a quick observation, however, on, the, on your question. Mm -hmm. That he actually said that he is going to produce 300 arguments to establish the truth of Islam. This 50 volume thing, it's a later development, okay? The actual okay. claim was 300 uh, arguments to establish the truth of Islam. So when any Ahmadi comes, just ask him this question that out of these 300 arguments, how many of them he actually completed? Okay, okay. Fair right. good. understood. Okay, right. so before we proceed, uh, I just wanted to make a quick announcement that inshallah the next stream would be with former Ahmadis, so you know, ex Ahmadis or whatever you want to call them. Uh, inshallah, this will be a Muslim. Um, well, they are Muslims on the Alhamdulillah now. So we'll be discussing with them. So if there are any former Ahmadis, we would like to hear from you on our next stream, uh, which inshallah will be on Saturday. We have 
we probably around 7 p.m. as well. Uh, but yeah, we will uh, we'll be posting that uh, invitation um, soon uh, next week, inshallah. inshallah. So if there are any former Ahmadis you know or you're acquainted with, uh, do let them know. And inshallah, Brother Adnan uh, and Brother Imtiaz, inshallah, if they are free, they will be joining us and taking questions from them. We would like to hear their experiences, both when they were Ahmadis and after, uh, what problems, what uh, challenges they faced. And inshallah, we will be focusing on that um, uh, that particular uh, you know group of people from uh, fr from from the Muslim community. Inshallah. Jazakallah. Does it need to be on Saturdays? Can we not have on our regular Thursday streams? It's because of Brother Imtiaz. You know, he's in Australia. He has to go okay. to work. If he comes on any other day, then he'll have to actually take a day off. Oh, and right. to be honest, we don't want him to go through that unnecessary um, you know hardship. That's a Allah, hey, brother. That's May Allah right. bless you for this uh, for the saver. Um, uh, Ashim, why in the in the next part? What is the next? Uh, are we going to allow? Because I I don't think so that we should go any further on this uh, the the part A. We should move on to the second part, which was two signs of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad's truthfulness, which he prophesied from the ahadis. Let's see if he fulfilled or not. What do you think? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think we Certainly. should move on because it's already been uh, three and a half hours. Uh, we should have completed all of this by now. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we always get derailed unnecessarily. So let's try to stick to the plan, inshallah. So I'm going to bring in uh, Ahmed next. next. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Alaikum salam. Alaikum salam. Can you hear me? I think you've got your tab open, Ahmed. We can hear you. I want to say something. Salamu kala yadur wa la yanfa. Your salam does not benefit us or it does not harm us. So, you know, okay, stop playing okay. these games. But there's few points that were made by uh, Brother Mansoor and a few, few of you are, are being patiently listening. Yeah. You know, yeah. with regards sorry, to... I'm sorry, you need to first close that, close tab. that tab. Okay, sorry. The YouTube, the YouTube tab, that's, tab open. that's open. YouTube tab? Yeah, yeah. Which tab? I don't have any tab open. We can hear, we you, can echo. hear you echo. Yeah, we hear, okay. yeah, we hear okay. you. Echo. Can, I, can I come back on quickly from my phone? Then? Yeah, 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 sure, yeah, sure. sure. Okay, I'll connect my phone and come back on in two minutes. So only okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, he mentioned he mentioned something about salam. Uh, we basically they say salam or salamu ala manittaba al huda to those people uh, for whom we seek guidance. So this is not an insult when we say was salamu ala manittaba al huda. We basically it literally means peace be upon the one who follows the guidance. This is what it means. So we are well wishers. We are telling you. Yeah. Peace be on you if you follow the guidance. Okay, if you don't follow the guidance, peace cannot be on you. You can't be in peace. There's no way. If you're not in peace with God, if you're not in peace with Allah, then you cannot have peace. Period. Okay, so that's what it means. I don't know why they take it as an insult. The Prophet ﷺ wrote this to many people in his in his letters. Yes, it is true. It is said to disbelievers. It is said to people who do not believe because you're trying to get them to be guided. So this is what it means. Uh, yeah. We will wait for in Ahmed fact, to come. Razi in. used the same uh, when he greeted us. No problem. So I, don't, I don't know why don't, he's taking an offense to that. No, because he's saying "Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah," and we say in response for "Assalamu yeah. ala manittaba al huda." Yeah. Yeah. And and to be honest, you know, when he said "Salam," you responded "Wa alaikum salam" because yeah. there's nothing wrong in so, that either. So if they say it clearly, then the ulama yeah. say that this is the correct opinion. You return the salam yeah. to, so, clearly, to non Muslims yeah. as well. Okay, so he's back. If they ask by what point are we discussing, uh, which one is the first one are we raising uh, this time? Uh, I think uh, if Ahmed wants to make some you know, points in two minutes, then we shall can start. Yeah. Yes, please. If you want. Yeah. Yes, please. I think I, I, I think I want to address first of all. I think Razi has done an amazing job uh, with regards to how he dealt with all of you, uh, and I think Brother Nan needs to learn from Mom, Brother Muhammad Imtiaz, uh, you know, especially with regards to how to deal, you know, with 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 with, with these discussions. There's, there's no need for that, right? Ahmed. Okay, okay, no, no, that's fine. Let I'm, me get I'm on happy. With the because I'm happy no saying that. Now. I'm happy saying that it. because at least they are learning from Brother Imtiaz, and if yeah. that's the case, then yeah. you need to start following his arguments and and Can believe I, in what he will. do. Yeah. You no, know, that's not the point I made. I'm saying in, in the mannerism he conducts himself. That's what I meant. Okay, yes. so the point uh, the point I'm trying to make here is 
uh, brother mansoor first of all made a point that they're using the quran i think that's good that you 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 have accepted in a way that the ahmadis are using the correct way of the quran and just recently where the khalifa went to germany where i was visiting and i couldn't come to your stream 47000 ahmadis by the grace of allah were, were there and just on the jalsa of three days 40 uh, 39 ah ahmadis who just came uh, muslims and non-muslims who just came to observe accepted islam ahmadiyat so your claim of uh, you know some remote part of africa people are accepting and this and that uh, and the, the, and that's the only point that's absolutely false people are opening their eyes there are those christian missionaries who have felt themselves and they are, they have recorded interviews saying that by looking at this man's face we can tell he's from allah and we felt we we felt something here they pray behind him so let's not talk about these things and the, you know these are just side points and another point that you uh, brother mansoor made and i want to answer that with regards to brahine ahmadiyya we have dealt with this very very extensively in our stream we don't want you not to come on our stream please you want Aglan to come we're having a stream uh, you know next week inshallah just as we come to your streams we will be respectful he knows we were respectful very respectful without any time we gave him, gave him as much time as possible and anan would would agree to this for, for for him to speak so i think it's not correct way brother muhammad said that we're uh, you know we're not being respectful and we're not giving people time okay so the point about uh with with, with regards to that you made about uh you know uh, 50 and 5 Every time we mention Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or ahadith, first of all, I must mention this. It is not to attack our beloved Prophet Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam or anbiya who are mentioned in the Quran, but it's to show you a mirror and to say that the usul that you guys have concocted at home, say, he said sitting on his bed, just writing these down, is, is something that does not exist in the Quran or anyway. For instance, we, we have an example when Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam went to Miraj, right? And he came back. He says, Faqala hiya khamsun wa huwa, wa, wa hiya khamsun. Okay? That the five, the 50 prayers were replaced with five. Okay? If someone raises, a, raises an allegation now, oh, you know, first Allah the Almighty granted him 50 and now he's replaced with five, it would just, it would just be, you know, it, it, it would not be a nice ar ar argument at all. So when the promised Messiah, salam, you know, uh, says with regards to writing 50 parts of Rahina Ahmadiyya, he himself explains this later on. That and, and, and brother uh, Adnan Rashid himself said that he wrote 80 plus books, which he said he hasn't read page to page. You know, he has he has accepted this. So, 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 so the point I'm I, trying to I, make is, I, I wouldn't like to read them, I wouldn't like to read them. Okay, that's that's that, that, that's fine, that's your choice. But, 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 but no, you made a very because, nice, no, you made because a very what... nice picture, though. Okay, let me complete. You made a very nice picture with Brahim Hamdi holding in your hand, you know, like, like, like you're some. No, it was, it was, it was, it was, it was Rohani Kazai, not Brahim Hamdi. Yeah. No, no, no but, uh, you had Ronnie Khazan in in your hand. You were holding, 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 holding yeah, holding yeah, not not Brahini Ahmadiyya. Yeah. I yes, have yeah. I have the first edition of Brahini Ahmadiyya in my my yes. personal library. If you don't want to read it, why do you have it? Because it it's a piece. It's, it, it, it's 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 a piece of history. I'm a historian. Yeah, is, that, is that why you have it? Yeah, okay. hundred percent. I I I have people. I have I have items from uh, many ancient civilizations. So that's a separate question. So okay. I want to quickly, very quickly, talk to you about this. Okay. Yeah. Uh, when we, when we, you know, when we are doing these streams, we're not doing these streams to uh, insult you and insult your religion and your understanding. We're simply trying to explain to the Ahmadi, innocent, gullible Ahmadi masses that yeah. they don't know Mirza. They haven't read. I mean, I can guarantee you most Ahmadis, like most Sunnis, to be fair, they haven't re read the literature. Okay. And uh, when, when we do present these things, we we are we are being very careful. We don't take his writings out of context. Okay, we when we present uh, his character, let's say his abuse, his swear words, or when we present his false prophecies, we're not spinning those facts. We're not we're not trying to manipulate things uh, in a way that they they are actually not. Okay, can, when can, we say, can, I, can I prove that you do? Can I prove that? Yeah. Can, can you can that? you just let him speak, Ahmed, and then you can yeah. have your statement? Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah. For example, for example, when we say Muhammadi Begum prophecy wasn't fulfilled, we yeah. spoke about it extensively, showing that Mirza made it made it a sign of his truth. Okay, mm -hmm. it never happened. Yeah. Up to the end of his life, he was hoping that this will happen. It never happened. Okay, okay. you cannot d dispute that. Number okay. two, he made other prophecies like about the death of Abdullah Atam. Okay. It didn't happen at, at the right time. For example, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Then he 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 made a prophecy about you know Abdul Hakim, Doctor Abdul Hakim. Even though Doctor Abdul Hakim changed this time, but Mirza himself in July 1907 he said that Allah will prolong his life, 
Mm-hmm. Allah, I have the references, by the way. Yeah? So, so when we people like me, okay, yeah. who has no interest in reading Mirza's books, apart from the fact that we want to reach out to the Ahmadi community and do dawah, I would only read them for the sake of dawah, okay, mm-hmm. so that we can speak to the Ahmadi community. When we see all these things, Mirza's unfulfilled prophecy repeatedly, one after another, one yeah. after another, repeatedly, you yeah. really want our people to believe in Mirza? Do you think only uneducated people, only mm-hmm. uneducated people who do not know Mirza and his reality will fall for this, uh, for, for this, uh, okay. you know, facade. Can I respond? Yeah. Can I respond? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the point uh, that you made that you don't change words or you don't hide stuff and stuff, why is it that in the entirety of that stream that you didn't, when Razi mentioned countlessly to, to mention the reference of Anjami Hatim from 1896, where the promised Messiah and two references that you did not mention knowingly, but the promised Musali Salaam says, Fasla to Asan hai. Ahmad Beg ke Damad Sultan Muhammad ko kaho ke takzeeb ka ishtihar de, fir uske ba jo miyad khudai tala mukarar kare, agar usse uski mot tajavus kare to me juta hu. Okay, one second, just listen to it again. He I'm says, listening. It is easy to determine, right, the fair fasla, to, to come to a conclusion that tell the Damad, you know, the, 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 uh, the, uh, the 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 Ahmed Beg son son in law to to do takzib okay of the or uh, to to publish a takzib right meaning to publish denouncing his repentance okay then after that if he does not die within the miad mentioned by Allah the Almighty to me then I am a liar okay? when when did he say this, this? when in, did he say this and Jami Atam in 1896 okay 1896 second, let, okay. Let, let, let me complete let me complete and then the second reference that you mentioned, he was after her, he was this and that. Exactly the way that the Christians spend their entire life. Brother Muhammad Imtia said, I, I, I am the most learned in this. Wallahi, it does not matter. Christians have spent their entire life studying the Rasulullah Yet Salah they are Allah. not guided. Yet they are not guided. Yes. Why? Correct. It's the intention. Correct. Correct. But, but there is, a, there is a, a difference. Okay, now okay. let me complete. Wait, wait. Imtiaz Bhai, Imtiaz Bhai, you've you you had your time. Let, let, me, let me speak with him. Yeah, yeah. Let, let me continue the second point. Then, in Majmua Ishtarat, in the first Jild... No, no, wait, uh, Ahmad, you're raising a lot of points. Go step no, no, just by two step. Points, the... Just two points. Just two points. Last, yeah. last point. Last point. Yeah. The Prophet Matari Sattar Salaam says, and I quote in Urdu, he says, Hame is rishte ki darkhaas ki kuch zarurat nahi thi. We okay. had no need to mention, uh, to, to request for this, uh, for, 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 for this proposal. Sab zaruraton ko khuda ta'ala ne pura kar diya tha. Every need of mine was fulfilled by Allah the Almighty. He gave me children, and he gave me children. And he gave me children. And he gave me children. اور اپنے کاموں میں اول العظم نکلے گا پس رشتہ دار جس کی درخواست کی گئی محض بطور نشان کے ہے it is a sign from Allah تو خدا تعالیٰ اس کمبے کے منکرین کو آجوبہ کترت دکھلاوے this sign was for the family that Allah the Almighty shows them the sign so this prophecy would only be false and this is my last statement if Ahmad Beg didn't, did not die within the prescribed time and when died okay. the natural reaction of the family if okay. it was that they considered the promised Messiah to be a liar they opposed him and they did not do that Razi mentioned names of those, you know, family members who accepted the promised Messiah of Islam. So okay. I, I, you know, people are dumbfounded to, to sit here and think you spent three hours discussing something, you know, an element of the prophecy which promised Messiah of Islam has himself explained in Anjami Atam, why that part of the pro- pro- prophecy, one, uh, the, 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 the element of the prophecy that was revoked in 1908, Razi mentioned the reference as well. So let's mm. not play with words. Let's not play with references. You claim you don't play with references. Okay, okay. okay. You're, you're going on. You're going on, Ahmad. Okay, L- let, me, let me very quickly come back to a few points because I'm not going to take long as well. Firstly, uh, the Christians studying the Prophet's life and not believing in him, they, they are real disbelievers, kuffar, for not believing in him because they are deliberately rejecting him, knowing well that there are clear-cut, explicit prophecies about Prophet Muhammad وسلم, which the Quran refers to. Okay, so the reason why we blame Christians for not believing in the Prophet and hold them accountable is because there are clear prophecies in 
the Bible about Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. There's an Arabian prophet. I've written a book on it. It's being published. It's in the process right now. It's called Abraham Fulfilled. It's coming out very soon. That's my field. One of my fields is comparative religion. And I have co-authored a book with three authors, Alhamdulillah, um, yeah. in total three authors. It's coming out very soon. Okay. So there are prophecies upon prophecies yeah. about Muhammad <laughs> Rasulullah Sallallahu in the Bible. There are no such prophecies about Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani anywhere. There is no mention of a prophet, his geography, his characteristics, his, 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 uh, his teachings. There's nothing about him. Okay. Um, so this is, this is one point. Second point I wanted to mention is that you, you mentioned, uh, very quickly about, uh, uh, him, uh, you know, in Anjami Atam, you, you, the first quote you read, uh, where yeah. was that from? 1898? Anjami Atam, uh, Anjami Atam uh, page 32. Page 32, and what was the year? The year the book is published in uh, uh, 1896. Uh, if I 1896. 1896. And what did he say in 1896 in this book? What did he say? He said, Fasla to Asan hai. Fasla Asan hai. Yeah. Ahmed Bey ke damad Sultan Muhammad ko kaho. Okay. No, let me read it from the top, so it's much, much, much more clear. He says, No, 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 I, 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 okay. I just want a summary. You read it already. I need a summary. Okay, okay, okay. Mm. Okay, he says, Fasla to Asan hai. Ahmed Bey ke damad Sultan Muhammad ko kaho. That tell the, the, the Sultan Muhammad who is, uh, uh, you know, son the son in law, the husband of Muhammad the Begum. Muhammad yeah. Begum. To get the Kazib ka ishtihar de, to publish, okay. renouncing me okay. or, 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 or the repentance that he did. Okay. Okay. Fir mm -hmm. iske baad, jo miyad mm -hmm. khudai taala mukarrar kare, whatever mm -hmm. miyad Allah the Almighty would tell him, because now he has repented, so that miyad of his death is gone. He has, okay. he has repented. Okay. Okay. Agar iste uski maut tajavus kare, to main jhuta hoon. So, so what was his crime? Question, what was his crime? Sorry. What was the crime Sorry? of Sultan Muhammad? What was the crime of Sultan Muhammad? Toba from what? Sorry? The crime of Sultan Muhammad was what? Toba from what? Toba from what? What do you mean? What are you asking? What crime did Sultan Muhammad commit? From, what crime from, did Sultan Muhammad commit? Yeah. For, for, for what did he make Toba? He, he, he believed that the prophecy that Prophet Muhammad Wasallam made against Ahmad Beg was correct. No, no, no. His crime was marrying Muhammadi Begum. You you want to prolong it, this discussion? No, no, or no, no, you, no, 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 I'm not prolonging yeah. it. Okay. I'm telling so, you, he so, has accepted that the prophecy so, was fulfilled. Hence, he, okay. hence he repented. Imtiaz Bhai wants to come in very quickly. Hence, he wrote letters. Yes, yes, Imtiaz Bhai, come in, please. Okay, first of all, uh, Brother Ahmed, uh, welcome to the stream, brother. Thank you. So, uh, Brother Ahmed, uh, because I, there was one particular point uh, specifically with my name, so I just want to address that first. So, Brother Ahmed, you know, you will agree with me, everything has a context. As they say, uh, they, 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 they're saying that a text without context is pretext, okay? So, nothing can be taken out of context. So, when I mentioned that, you, you can say that I was compelled to mention that look, I know the books of Mirza Sahib more than anybody else. Why I have to say this, that the, the context was, Brother Ahmad, right from the beginning, pretty much in every stream, we are being taunted <coughs> that we have not read Mirza's book. We're taking them out of context. We're not reading in the, in, in the, in the right context, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So mm -hmm. in this context, Brother Ahmad, that statement was made. So without, that, without having this context in brother I, 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 into mind, that statement obviously uh, is not the right statement to make. So that was very important clarification. And then brother Ahmed, uh, very quickly, because you mentioned, even though our topic in this second part of the stream was not what we have discussing, but because you mentioned few things, I just want to make a very, you know, quick, uh, you can say observation as well, which, which will be obviously off topic because we are already off topic anyways. Okay. So brother, uh, you mentioned that, you brothers, basically the Ahmadi community, you Allah, you said that Allah, we don't attack the Prophet. Are you, you still uh, agree with this? Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Now, brother Absolutely. Ahmed. Now, brother Ahmed. Okay. Brother, <clears throat> the the judgment of the uh, of the final day is a very crucial matter for all of us, regardless of we are standing 
on which side of the history okay brother now yeah. let me quote you three passages they are very short passages very sweet passages and i want you to respond is it mm -hmm. attacking the prophet or not okay so first i will quote and then i let you respond brother okay Oh, would, would we Ahmed, be going off topic? Would we be no, going no, 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 brother Ahmed, let me topic? respond to your point because the, what you mentioned okay. that Ahmadiyya yeah. Jamaat does not attack the Prophet, that's not a truthful statement. I want to give you the evidence. Okay, brother, okay. in the in Maktubat Ahmad, hmm. it is the new edition, volume number two, page number 205. And this Maktub is, as you know, very famous and very close person to Mirza Saiwal, Muhammad Ali uh, Nawab. Sardar Muhammad Ali Khan, that was from Malir Kotla. Obviously, you know this. So, uh, brother, the context is that people, after the the debate of, uh, of uh, Abdullah Atham, okay, the peop some people, including including the cousin of Mirza Saib's wife, Saeed, they became apostate because their understanding was that Mirza Saib has lost the debate. And then from those people whom Mirza Saib sent as an ambassador to negotiate the terms of debate between him and Abdul Atham, one of those people was Yusuf Pathan. Yusuf Pathan became apostate as well. And there was a great unrest in the Jamaat in 1894 because the, the term of Abdullah Atham death has passed. He did not die. And the Christians were beating the drums in the street. And basically, obviously, they were humiliating the someone who was representing Islam. In this context, in this context, uh, Nawab Muhammad uh, Khan of Malir Kotla, he wrote a very harsh letter to Mirza Sahib. And Mirza Sahib was very sad because he mentioned in his letter that, look, I'm very you know, upset because of the thing you mentioned. So this is the context. Okay, now listen what he said. Now, Mirza Sahib is, because the, the issue is, the issue is yeah. people have become apostate. Close okay. relatives have become apostate. People have you, from have you read the response of the Prophet No, no, brother, no, no, wait, wait, wait. It, it is okay. only one point, only one point. Okay. People okay. from Jandiala, people from Jandiala, this yes, was the yes. place from where the people came to take Mirza Saib to represent them in the debate with Abdul Atham. Those yes. people, also, many people from Jandiala became apostate as well. So in this hmm. context, Mirza Sahib is giving a reply and an answer to calm down the Jamaat. And guess what he said? I will quote word to word. He said, تفسیر ابن کثیر میں لکھا ہے کہ کئی سچے آدمی بھی حدیبیہ کے قصے کے بعد مرتد ہو گئے اور وجہ یہ تھی کہ اس پیشن گوئی کی کفار مکہ کو خبر ہو گئی تھی اس لیے انہوں نے شہر کے اندر داخل نہ ہونے دیا اور صحابہ پانچے ازار سے کم نہیں تھے ان انگلیش ہی سینگ بکاز دا ٹاپک ایس پیپل بیکمنگ آف پوسٹیٹ مرزا صاحب سیڈ ان دا ایونٹ آف حدیبیہ وین دا فرسٹ ایئر آف حدیبیہ جرنی when the Umrah or the pilgrimage was not performed, some, yes. of, the, some of the Sahaba, now is not talking about the Munafikun, some of the Sahaba, okay, from some of the Muslimun, they became yes. apostate. Now, yesterday, Brother Ahmad, I did my research, okay, that is simply not true and it is very painful. You know why? Because the Hadith says that whoever gives pain to my Sahaba, it is though as though as he's giving pain to me. Okay, so if somebody is referring to Sahaba that they became Murtad and who which Sahaba? Sula mm -hmm. Hudaybiya, the first year of Hudaybiya's journey that resulted as a Baita Rizwan. Okay, mm -hmm. the pledge of Baita Rizwan, the people who were given the glad tiding of Radhi Allah and whom were do an. Okay, those people, Mirza is saying they became Murtad. Is it not done? attacking the Prophet? Why? Because attacking the companion of the Prophet, according to the Hadith is attacking the prophet himself please respond okay thank you so much for for that i think the 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 the, the beauty of this all is that the whatever you know we are nobody here let's be let's be very honest us you know who defending the honor of the promise of the great greatest lover of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam we are nobody here he has himself answered all these things in, in in his book and since you said you have read all of his books you must have read anwarul islam have you read anwarul islam this have is you your topic Please speak, yes, please yes. speak. Yes or no? Yes or no? Have you read Anwar al-Islam? My you, brother, you I'm not. Why, why do you play these okay. games? Uh, answer it's this no question. Games. It's no games because you make big claims. Answer, and, uh, answer this question. Have, okay. have, have you, have you, have, have you read? Islam, have, I'm answering, I'm answering, I'm answering. No, okay. I'm, I'm going to ask you five, 50 questions about history books and then you're going to 
you know, and Varul Islam, page 28, the Prophet Muhammad Sallam says in Urdu, and I quote: "Or ye kehna ke baaz Musliman is ilham ke baad isai ho gaye, isse bhi isaiyon ki sadaqat par ek dalil samjhna sirf ek khabasat hai, usse zada nahi." Okay, then he continues: "Ana dan adubullah, o oh, o oh, unknowledgeable person who is a uh, <clears throat> enemy of Allah, enemy of Allah, enemy of Allah." اگر اس عرصہ میں دو چار فاسق نام کے مسلمانوں میں سے جن کو ہم نے بدمواش پا کر اپنی جماعت سے پہلے ہی خارج کر دیا تھا مردار دنیا کے لیے عیسائی ہو گئے تو ہم تو ہم تجھے ثبوت دیتے ہیں کہ اس پندرہ مہینے میں سدہ عیسائی خالصتاً للہ مسلمان ہوئے پھر آخری الزام اس ہندو زیادہ کا یہ ہے کہ اگر مباحثہ کے بعد دو دو پادری سخت بیمار ہو گئے تو یہ بھی کچھ دلیل نہیں کیونکہ تم بھی تو اکثر بیمار رہتے ہو اس کا جواب یہ ہے کہ He himself answers that he, these people were kicked out of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam himself from, from the community due to, due, due to them, them, themselves being fasiq, right? And these people became Christians because of their love for du- dunya. Now the second point that you made. One of no, the no, no, greatest... no, 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 point, no, no, point, no, no, point. no, you made three four points. Let me answer. Brother, there answer. was only one point. There was I'm only one point. Anywhere. No, Please you made... You, you made let me respond point to point. You made the Jandiala point. point. No, 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 Ahmed. Let, one more point. You made Jandiala point. Let me address that point. One of the, the greatest you know, treachery that you guys do and, and the biggest hypocrisy is when these Jandiala, mission, uh, J- J- Jandiala Muslims were going from corner to corner asking Muslims to come and represent them again uh, uh, against Henry Martin Clark. And your ulama was saying to boycott this, 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 this mubahsa. They said, and this is quotation from, and, and this is for Adnan to go back and see from Henry Martin Clark in the Christian Missionary Society themselves. Okay, I'm also a student of history. And they said they could only find a champion in Mirza Ghulam Ahmad of Qadiyan. They couldn't find anyone from the entirety of India. Okay? And you're telling me, you're telling me sitting here, you're tell, telling me the only person who debated them. And hey, your three them minutes out. are up now. Okay? Come on. No, 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 You're telling it's, me... It's, it's not going anywhere. That, anyway. Nay, 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 wait. Guys, please. please, 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 please. I have relax, this phone. Relax, 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 relax. Let's not get... Try, try to stick to two minutes uh, each because otherwise it just goes okay, on and please. on. Okay, so, so I think it will be good uh, research for Brother Adnan, Mansoor and all, all, all others who are listening to go and search what the Christian Missionary Society Brother, wrote, done? wrote about the promise. Let me complete, please don't interrupt. About the promise Messiah alayhi salatu was salam when, when he represented the Muslims, right? When he represented the Muslims, when every other of your scholars were sleeping, right? They were sleeping. They, were, they, 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 they couldn't come forward. Listen, you're so still not answering the question. Adnan, Adnan, you're not answering the question. Adnan, please, Adnan, please, please, please. Yar is not answering the question. I'm going to report it. Please let him finish. Okay, I think it's done now. Go on, Imtiaz. Bhai. Okay. Okay, brother. First of no, all. No, brother Imtiaz, sorry. Adnan, one please. Yes, just, Adnan, one, just one second. Adnan, I will second. discuss that. Please, I Adnan, want him please. to answer the question. Yeah. I will, please. Okay. Yeah. Now, uh, brother Ahmed, first of all, mm-hmm. whatever you said, that will be responded in its due time. I have taken notes of all the points you mentioned, and I promise you, I will respond all of them. Answer me a direct question. Mirza Sahib said that some of the Sahaba, they became murtad or apostate because the first year of Hudaybiyah, the Umrah or the pilgrimage was not performed. Is this statement a statement of truth or is it an allegation on the Sahaba? And I explained before, putting allegation on Sahaba according to the Hadith, okay? It is putting allegation on Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said that whoever give aza pain to my Sahaba, he has given pain to me. And, okay, so understand this. So please give, you only have 30 seconds. I want a clear response. Mirza Sahib said, some Mukhlis Sahaba became apostate after Hudaybiyah. Do you agree or not? Please give me direct answer. If we prove this from your own tafasir, would you become an Ahmadi? Why don't you answer directly? Why you ask a I'm question with a question? Answering. If we prove this from your ahadith, you made a big claim, would you become an Ahmadi? No, Today irrelevant. You need to answer the question rather than asking another the question, Ahmad. Is, okay, the point is, that particular statement that you're mentioning, it's not in front of me. I haven't read it. I would have to go back 
read and come back to you. That's but, fine, no problem. But you no made problem. a point about, about no, no, Sahaba. Finish, one, one second. No, wait, what Ahmed, wait, Ahmed, wait. Ahmed, wait. No, 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 Ahmed, wait. No, 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 you make a point, let me no, answer. Ahmed, no, Ahmed, no. Give me 30 seconds. We will go I, point I, to I, point. We will go point to point. No, Ahmed, please, Ahmed, no. Ahmed, let brother Muhammad in here speak. It's my turn, I will speak, okay, Ahmed? We have to go point to point, okay? You gave me 30 seconds, though. You gave me 30 seconds. No, not at all, not at all, okay? Okay. My first question, okay. you said that you do not have the answer, okay? When you go I home... Say that. No, I no, say no. That. Okay, give the answer. Okay, okay. The, the, I, I did not say I don't have the answer. So don't don't mis misquote me. That's, that's not what okay, I said. What I, said, said. I, I no, said I, I think, haven't read I think, that. I think, Brother your question was, have you read what... I know. Uh, what no, Mirza Gulam no, said? No, 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 no. He said no, no, he didn't no, have the. No, no, he no, has no, not no. read it. My question is. Question. My question. No, no, no. I don't want people to be confused. My yeah. question was: Mirza Sahib said that after the first year of journey for um, for the pilgrimage to towards Hudaybiya, when the Umrah was not performed, some of the Sahaba became murtad or apostate. Okay. 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 I've heard if it. If you times. agree with this. Yes, say and I agree. If you don't agree, say I don't agree. If Mir listen, what, listen. I am no listen, let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. I am not asking you <clears throat> that what are the Mufasirun have written. No, I'm asking you, <laughs> Mirza Sahib said this. Do you agree or not? Okay, now let me speak for 30 seconds Please. and don't interrupt. Please. Please don't interrupt. Okay. Yes. So as I said, first, if you interrupt, it, you people would see this. When Adnan came to our stream, even if it was forced, we did not agree. We did not interrupt. We let him speak. So have that patience, for, 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 you know, for God's sake. So the point I'm trying to make here is that particular part that you're mentioning, I have not read. I'm going to go back and read and come back. But the point that you then went on about Sahaba, is about radiyallahu anhum raduan, as to show the people that we don't respect Sahaba, is absolutely incorrect. When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam is told in Kitab al-Tafseer, that on the day of judgment, some of his companions will be taken to hell. In Bukhari, Kitab tafsir he says, Usai Habi, Usai Habi, us ya, ya Rasulullah, these are my companions. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam is told, you do not know what these people did after you. And we have the Katibi Wahi Abdullah bin Sarah who also deserted Islam. So there were people who did desert Islam. That's the point that I'm trying to make here. Okay, so what time. did Rasulullah, no, no, I'm not finished. Please, have some, relax, relax. What did Rasulullah you, you said 30 seconds. Said? You said, said 30 seconds. Okay. You have a very bad management of time or understanding I'm of time, finishing. isn't it, Ahmed? I'm finishing. I'm finishing. No, okay. if you say 30 seconds, can you keep on taking? No, no. Rasulullah point sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. Point, point to point. I'm saying the hadith of Rasulullah. Please listen. Have respect for Rasulullah. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Fa'akulu." I would say, as the righteous man said, "Kama qal al-abdu salih, akuntu alayhim shahida ma dumtu fihim." Oh Allah, I was a guardian among these people I, as long as I was among them. Oh Allah, when you raised me up, or oh Adnan, when you caused me to die, tawaffaytani, oh Allah, when you caused me to die, kunta antar alayhim. You were a guardian over them. He uses this in Kitab al-Tafsir. It is a digression. I, I accept this. But Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. What has this got to do with this question? Nothing. Why do you do this, Ahmed? No, no, you no, no, said no, no. to respect, and then you are the one who is doing the disrespectful thing by waffling by not answering the question if you don't so have an answer like you said look i haven't hadith read it you should have stopped there hadith of rasulullah is a waffle come on no no waffle meaning ahmad, not related to time? the question ahmad how much I time you want rasulullah was cold. You no, no, his time is we can, up. We can be up. here all day you know his time is up. Okay, ahmad, the time is up brother muhammad imtiaz please go and respond yeah go on okay now alhamdulillah the two things have been established number one who has read the books of Mirza Sahib, people can see now, Alhamdulillah. Second point is, Alhamdulillah, he admitted clearly, and I will have Husnu Zan, good assumption. As a Muslim, we always have good assumption. I would not try to say that maybe he's trying to hide. No, I will have good assumption. He said that I do not have the answer for this particular reference. Okay, now, Ahmad, please note down this point. Then in the next okay. stream, when you come, the first point you need to address is this one. Mirza Sahib said that after the first year of journey towards Hudaybiyah, some of the Sahaba became Murtad. You have to mm -hmm. tell us when Mirza said this, was it a truthful statement or was it a lie? That point is finished. Now, okay. uh, because the topic is, wait, Ahmad, the topic is because you made a very big claim in the beginning. You said that you mm -hmm. Ahmadis do not attack or maybe disrespect the Prophet. I am just portraying for the people. Ahmad, please be quiet. 
I'm just okay. portraying for the people that that is not simply true. Okay. Now okay. I'm going to give you the second example. First one is done. Now I'm giving you the second example. Okay. Now please. No, no, please, one second. No, no, one second. Adnan, no. Please, Adnan, please, please. Aap, Adnan, please listen, you listen to me. 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 Listen to Okay. Adnan, Wait, allow wait, me. Wait, 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 wait. Listen to me. Just listen to me. Just listen to me. Just listen to me. Just once listen to me. Listen to me. You're letting him off the hook. Here you asked him a very clear question. Okay. You're letting him off the hook. You're moving on to something else without establishing. I am a point. not. We will. I am no. not. Okay. Wait. Wait. He needs to tell us where did the Mirza, where, where, they, they, where did the Prophet get this reference from? And where are the apostasies after Hudaybiyah? I really look, look, look. Why is this important? Imtiaz, by why am I doing this? I'm doing this so people know Mirza was a liar. He was lying uh, through his teeth. And if you move on, this point will be unestablished. I am I not moving the... on, please. Okay, okay, wait. Okay, he needs to show us where are those Sahaba who apostatized after Hudaybiyah. If that's not the case. If they did not apostatize after Hudaybiyah or during the time of Hudaybiyah, and if Ibn Kathir didn't say it, why was Mirza making this up? I need him to answer. Now over to you. Now you can take okay. over. I want this now, answer from him. Yeah. Now, now because because look, Adnan Bai, we all have different personalities, different style of discussion. Okay, my style is this. Okay, he admitted. that he does not know about this particular reference no problem no problem we have noted no, no. it down adnan bhai let me speak we will first. read it we will read it to him adnan and, 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 bhai if, yeah allow me to finish brother please yeah okay yeah. so i have showed to the people my point what i am trying to show to the people is that this statement that ahmadiyya jamaat or mirza gulam ahmad did not attack the prophet that is not a truthful statement i am showing examples on this subject i gave one example of hudaybiyah apostasy okay now i'm going to give him second example on the same topic and i want people to take note and adnan uh, uh, please uh, i want people to listen very carefully in ruhani khazain volume number 15 page number 535 okay Okay, Imtiaz, by one second. Is Brother this going Adnan. to support the same point that Mirza was insulting the prophets and the Sahaba? Yes. Correct. Yes. Correct. Wait, wait there. Hold on, hold on there. Hold it there. Hold it there. Before we go to that, Imtiaz, by here, Mirza is basically lying. He has already lied, and you're moving on from that. We will you know go what? to that point you're raising. I want Ahmad. I want Ahmad to tell us: Did Mirza lie? and if he lied why did he lie and if he lied he's a false prophet yeah because he so, doesn't so, know so we will let him go we we'll let no, ahmed okay. go okay can after can can you read example. the reference okay sorry one second you know, i'm not after... going forward guys 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 if, if you you said if i am the amir no. of the stream i'm not moving forward until this point is sure. established uh, okay. uh uh imtiaz bhai can Should you read the reference should we let ahmed again? go so he can research it and no, come back no 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 let me no, show no. it on the screen if you have it wait guys can 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 you can you let me handle this imtiaz bhai can you read the reference again one okay. once again before we move on to the next point which we, we will allow you to make you are more than welcome to make that point but before we go there i need this one to be dealt with read the reference okay. again please okay i'm going to read the reference for the audience again and uh, i don't want to go into the context the context very quickly is some people have from the jamaat of mirza you you've explained it you've explained no, it no, allow, 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 please please yes. some people from the jamaat of mirza sahib have become apostate okay and there's a great unrest in the jamaat in this context mirza sahib is giving a reply to his people on the topic of apostasy what he said he said yes. that ibn kaseer mein likha hai Yeah. कई सच्चे आदमी कई सच्चे नॉट वन कई सच्चे आदमी मुर्तद हो गए ओके एंड ही सेइंग दिस विद रिगार्ड टू द फर्स्ट एंड दिस इज इन द मकतूबात ए अहमद न्यू एडिशन सेकंड वॉल्यूम पेज 205 ओके नाउ व्हाट इज व्हाट इज सेड ही सेड दैट कई मेनी पीपल बिकेम अपोस्टेट बिकॉज़ ऑफ द 
first year journey towards Hudaybiyah when Umrah was not performed. He is drawing a parallel between this and when people his, from his Jamaat became apostates. What he is doing is, he is answering a direct question to his Jamaat. That, okay, if this is the case with me, if my people have become apostate, so was the case. Please, everybody pay attention. If my people have become apostate, so was the case with the Jamaat of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa This is how he is doing the answer. So Ahmad has said, and I want to still respect his position. He said yeah. that he does not know how to answer this particular point. Or he maybe no, 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 wait, you, you, do, you don't do that for him. You don't do that Let for him. Let me respond. Let me okay, respond. well, you have read the quote. Thank you, Imtiaz Bhai. Thank you very much. Allah bless you. You've read the quote. The quote is there. Maktubad Ahmad, volume two. Okay, you, you have given the page number as well. Mirza said it that uh, Sahaba, Sahaba, Sahaba apostatized at the time of Sulh Hudaybiyah. I want Ahmad to produce those references from the history of Islam. And if that's not the case, then Mirza is a liar. Okay, can I respond? Yes, directly. Okay, don't waffle. No, 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 listen, don't dictate, Adnan. You, no, you no, ask something, answer, answer relax, the question. You don't have an answer, say I don't, say, I don't have an answer. Is that what we did to you? No. Is that how we treated because, you? Because I wasn't no, waffling. Is that how we treated you? Go back to your stream. Half the Go back bro. to your stream. You Listen no to it again. I wasn't waffling. I was giving direct you was, answers. You was waffling. You was a lot. Okay, a lot. that's fi fine. Let people. You should have out. called him out if he was waffling. Yeah. No, no, no. Why, why were you being polite? Okay. I need an answer. Enough of direct question. answer. Let we would like an answer, Ahmed, from you. Go on direct. Waffling is not respecting. Is disrespecting the time of everyone. No, I'm not disrespecting. I don't have time to waste it. Relax and listen. Yeah. Okay. Let's listen. You think it's some um, a huge point that you've made. Okay. First of all, as I've mentioned, there is a fact that companions from the life of Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, some of them did desert. Some and okay. This is stop a fact. this. I'm gonna stop you now. I'm gonna stop no, you no, now. Stop no, playing honestly. games. We're not, not answering that question. We're not asking that question. We know the history. I I am okay. teaching Sira. I'm okay. teaching Sira, brother. Did don't waste desert? my time. I'm did asking a question. Did people? Uh, did people, Mirza is talking about yes. Hudaybiyah. Did people, did Sahaba apostatize at the time of Hudaybiyah? If they did, what are their names? Okay, because okay. he said multiple. He said many. Who are they? And if that's not the case, then what is Mirza? Look, simple, let me simple. Answer, let me I, I, hope, I hope hundreds of people watching this live right now. I know, no, there could yeah. be thousands okay. watching, no problem. Listen to the answer. Okay. And if you don't agree with it, you say you have an answer. No, 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 either, you either, no, either, either Mirza Saab is telling the truth. He got it from somewhere, which is fine. No problem. We mm -hmm. are, we would happy to be stand corrected. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. If not, if not, then Mirza Saab made it up. In which case he's a liar. Which one is it? No, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, I'm, I'm not going. I'm not going back your dictation here. No, I'm You're not dictating. I'm not you dictating. Are. You tell okay. me to answer. You, if and you then need you stay quiet. Ahmed, if you need help, if you need help, go out no, of the stream. Speak no to your scholars. Me. Speak. Wait, Ahmed, go back. Go out of the stream. Speak to your murabis, your scholars. How the hell do we deal with this one? And if you have answers, Wallahi, we'll let you in. We'll let you in yeah, again. Then. We are still here. We're going to let someone uh, someone else in. If you can't answer this question, I'm not going to move forward. I am That's not fair. going forward. Okay. okay. Wait, wait. Okay. Imtaz Bhai, wait, wait, wait. I know what I'm doing. Wait. I, he knows I, have, doing, yeah. I have 15. Yeah, I have 15, 15 to 20 years of debating experience. Trust me. Okay. So you I'm, asking you, Ahmed, I, I'm asking you, Ahmed. I'm asking you, Ahmed. Ahmed. Yeah. Mirza said, at Hudaybiyah, hmm. many companions apostatized. Yeah. And he attributed this information to Ibn Kathir. Where is it? And who are the companions? Okay. And if that's not the case, Mirza made it up. And in that case, Mirza is a liar. Which one is it? Okay. Simple. Let me answer. Let me answer. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If we show you from your Mufassirin that this exists, whether in Ibn Kathir or any other book, listen to no, what no, I'm no. saying. No, no, no. Mirza, look, 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 look. Show me. Show uh -huh. me. Listen to what show I'm me, saying. Show me, Hudaybiyah. Understand what I'm answering. Show me. Read, read, read. Don't waste time then. Read, read. I'm not. Listen Don't to waste what time. I'm saying. Listen, yeah. open your mind and listen. And try to understand yeah. what I'm saying. Okay? I am saying, and Brother Imtiaz, by Allah I'm saying this, I'm not aware of that quote. We're going to go back and look into this. Deeply. Okay. But the point I'm trying to say is, listen, 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 let me complete the point. Relax, relax, relax. 
I am aware of a reference mentioned in Tabari, which I have read, okay, which mentions that Sahaba was put under a trial, a fitna, because of this. But I haven't read this particular reference. But the point is, we we have we are having a stream on 16th, and we're going to we're going to answer this. I, I want in to speak. And we would want. Brother, 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 you you Imtiyad, can speak you, one second. Give me one minute. Yes. Brother Mohd Imtiyad, could you please come on to that stream and over the Adnan as well, so so we can discuss that further. Now, no, you okay. can you can you can uh, come here. We don't have to go okay. to your stream. Okay, okay, one second. Uh, okay, brother guys, Adnan, can I just make one observation very quickly? You, 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 you can, Mansoor Bhai. You can. Yeah, what I'm quickly. saying is. Because yeah. Ahmed is unable to provide anything, so why don't we let Ahmed go? Because there are other Qadianis waiting. So Ahmed can go and search for that reference and come back. Because that's how we're not letting him off the hook. He has yeah. to come back and only deal with the subject. If what he's unable to do so, that's something different. What because he doesn't know. Today? So let us give him the chance to go and what search and ask his more of this. Mansoor, I want to just make a final observation on this one. Yeah. Yes, please do. Please do very okay. quickly. Go ahead, please. please. Okay, I found a reference. One second. Okay, you found the reference. Brilliant. Yeah. Go ahead. Read. We will we'll happy. We'll happily stand. Give me a second. Correctly. I'm we'll opening it. One second, yeah. Mm -hmm. One second. Bring it on. You're gonna show us how many companions of ties. Right. I'm just gonna take a break. Uh, Mansu, you want to take over, please? Yeah, that's fine. Hashim, bye. Jazakallah khair. Yeah, I'll be back in. Jazakallah khair. Yeah, you know if they misbehave, we'll I will kick them out. We'll we'll see you soon. Come back. Don't disappear, please. I'll be back. Inshallah. Okay, one second. Okay, okay. Ahmed. One second. I'm, I'm, I'm reading. I'm yeah. reading. One second. Yeah. Ibn Kathir? I'm, I'm looking at Ibn Kathir right now, and I'm seeing whether, whether that is that exact reference or not. Uh, Ahmed, okay, let me... Ahmed, 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 let me yeah, help you yeah. on one thing. Ahmed, let me help yeah. you on one thing. Yesterday, yesterday... Alhamdulillah, we went through the entire Tafsir Ibn Kasir on this surah. Okay, it is mm -hmm. not there. It is not mm -hmm. there. So, okay, but as I said, for this, for, yes, okay, okay. Okay. As I said, for this, for, for, yes, for this, for this particular reference, for this yeah. particular reference, what you are yeah. asking for, we will answer this. But well, can we can we continue the discussion for which you have started? Not with you, Ahmed. Ahmed, wait. Not with you. Ahmed, wait. Ahmed, wait. Ahmed, wait. I want to speak. Ahmed, I want to speak. Ahmed, wait. I want to speak. I want to speak. Ahmed, so, you're not very Ahmed, capable. So you should, should just stay silent. You, you think you're very um, capable. You're here to manage. So just relax. And no, stay please, silent. please, Ahmed, don't be rude. Brother Ahmed, um, Brother Ahmed. Just one second. One second. I don't want people to give me mannerisms on my stream. If yes, you want to have a discussion, <laughs> discuss properly. You asked. You were. You were asked for a reference. If you don't know it, that's it. We will give you the time. Go ask your murabbis, your elders, your 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 learned people, and come yeah. back. Rather than insulting us in how we perform our streams. If yes. you know better, you know you do that in your stream. But here Listen. we don't want. I'll give you both the chance to speak um, and, and yeah. see whether you want him back or not. Yeah. If you want to continue discussing, look at the comments and look at the people who are watching. They are fed up with your waffling, with your metaphorical interpretation, with your digressions and so on. I may not be as very humble and very passionate uh, in terms of, you know, you know, in terms of how people deal with the people. I will kick people out from the stream if they misbehave. I told the very beginning, like when Hashim said, OK, he wants to break and he's handing over to me for moderation. I will show no mercy if you misbehave. It's not like, oh, it's your right. Yeah, you come here, you behave. If you don't behave, then you don't have the opportunity to speak here. You can go in your stream and you can waffle all you want. You can waffle 24 seven. But the truth becomes clear because we are trying to establish truth here. We want to let people know whether Mirza Saab is a liar or not. Because if he is a prophet, his prophecies must come true, must be fulfilled. And our panelists, you know, our esteemed panelists are demonstrating for the last few sessions in the streams. But it's not the case. He is indeed a liar. You are unable to defend your false prophet. So before I want to ask Brother Adnan and Brother Mohammed Tiaz, do you want him back? Because only on this condition, he doesn't talk about how we conduct our stream. He doesn't talk about how he conducted in his stream. He answers directly. If he doesn't answer directly, I'm afraid he cannot have any opportunities here. Mansoor Bhai, yes. I want, can I speak? Mansoor, can I speak? Yes. Yeah, go yes, ahead. Please. Okay, okay Mansoor Bhai, here's my suggestion. It is fair to give him one last chance. Give him one minute. If he has an answer, he can answer. But 
if he does not answer in his one minute, that will be only fair, Ahmed Bhai. You can go back and when you, when you come next week, we will begin from where we left off. This particular reference. That's my suggestion. Yeah, and always will be direct answers without any waffling. I don't tolerate any waffles here. If people don't know what waffling is, they go, can go to a dictionary and find out what waffling and blathering is about. Blather. What is blathering? What does it mean? Droning, blathering, waffling. You know, yes. this stream is to benefit and, people in terms of yeah. how. Yeah. yeah? Jazakallah. So, and so, before, so before, we'll bring before, him you, in. before you let him in, I want, I want the people to know why we're doing this. This is not just out of the blue. Brother Imtiaz pulled out this reference and we are holding on to it. This is not being petty. This is very important. This shows how much of a liar this man was. He was making up information on the spot and throwing it at people. For example, he claimed that there is a hadith from the Prophet where he said that there is a black-skinned Prophet from India whose name was Kahin, also known as Kishan and Kanaya. Christian and Kanaya, okay? There is no such hadith. We, we, we ask them this question. They cannot find it and they're making it up. One of them actually, Razi, Razi in one of the streams, he added the words, Kala Nabiyun, Kala Nabiyun. And when we grabbed him on that, he admitted that these words are not there in the text. And then he said, it is in Tariq Hamdan. It is not there. There is no such thing, right? So Mirza made this up. Then Mirza claimed, then Mirza claimed that uh, a prophet, the Masih, the, uh, the Mahdi will come in the 14th century, Hijri, okay? And he attributed this information to the Prophet ﷺ. There is no such hadith. There's no mention of the 14th century in any of the hadith of the Prophet ﷺ. Then he claimed, Mirza, that there's a hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari having explained the virtues of Sahih al-Bukhari. The Ahmadi play these games. They say, oh, he forgot. Mirza forgot. Mirza made an error. Okay, this cannot be an ijtihadi error or this cannot be an error of for forgetfulness because two things. Mirza is explaining what Bukhari is. He explains what Bukhari is and then he attributes a hadith to Bukhari that these words are there in Sahih al-Bukhari and they're not in Sahih al-Bukhari. Okay, those words are not there. Hada Khalifatullah al-Mahdi. He attributed this information to the Prophet through Bukhari. It's not there. So it's not just one example. We're not being petty. There are multiple examples of Mirza lying through his teeth, making information up on the spot, and his gullible crowd, they, they, they followed him. And now when we question, question all these things, these guys, they play games. Bring him back on and let him answer the question directly. How many of them apostatized at Hudaybiyah? And what are their names? And where did Mirza get this from? And does Ibn Kathir even mention it? Okay, thank you for uh, taking me back. So the point uh, that I want to ask you is, you read the reference. Does it mention the word Sahaba there? Imtiaz Bhai, read it again, okay. please. Okay, I read so, the... You want me to read the text, Ahmed Bhai? Yes, yeah, you said please. Sahaba. You specifically used the Ahmed word Ahmed Bhai, wait, wait, wait. Do you want me to read the text and then you can respond, okay? Can I read? Okay. Well, uh, but before you read, one second, Imtiaz Bhai, before you read, this is how absurd these some of these people are. I'm sorry. It says they apostatized from what? Islam, right? And they were with the Prophet. So if they were Muslims and from Islam they apostatized to Kufr, what were they, Sahaba or something else? Ahmad. No, no, no. I know what you're saying, but I'm saying when you called something, Yes. To, Ahmed, what kind, what kind of question is this, Ahmed? What kind of question is this? No, because that, uh, okay, this Sahaba, if they were Muslims, if, Adnan, if, you know if they were Muslims, asked, if they were Adnan, Muslims and they were at Hudaybiyah with the Prophet, when, what do you think they were? Whenever, is there a third status? Whenever we present a reference to you, you always want us to pull it up. You want you wanted Razi to explain it all of it, right? Okay. You don't. Imtiaz you, you, bhai, that's please that's read that, the that's reference. That's the only again. reason why I asked you. Imtiaz bhai, please read the reference again, please. Okay, Ahmed, uh, brother Ahmed, is your defenses that people became murtad but they were not Sahaba? Please answer the question. Sorry, sorry. Say, 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 say that again. Brother Ahmed, is your yeah. defense is that those people 
It's not my defense. Okay. I'm simply okay. asking the question. No, 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 Ahmad, no, 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 please let me let me speak, brother. Let me speak, brother. Okay. Yeah. If, yeah. if you're gonna go to this nitty gritty, we can go as well. Okay, brother. Please allow me to speak. Hmm. Answer my direct question. Those yes. people who are mentioned in this quotation, are you trying to say they were not Sahaba? Yes or no? Of course, the Sahaba. That's finished. Okay, you don't need that. Let's move on. Give the answer now. Okay. Now, what, what, what I'm saying is the, the thing that I've been looking at, the thing that is in front of me, it says, This is the Arabic mentioned in, uh, in Ibn Kathir. But there is a difference of opinion because some say it's with regards to Isra and the other, other, other commentators or other Mufassirin have said it's with regards to, um, uh, you know, about, about Sulah Hudaybiya. But, but Sahaba, of course, died on Islam. That's the point. So that's what I'm saying. This, this, this requires further reading. You can't accuse someone of, of, of lying because that wasn't the topic of discussion that when I came on, that wasn't the top topic of discussion we were having. Therefore, therefore, I know, Brother uh, Muhammad Imtiaz, in, in, in you were giving the respect and you're saying go back and we're gonna have a, we can have a discussion on it. This is why we're calling you for the, for, for the stream on the 16th and we can discuss, this, discuss particularly this, this topic in detail if you want. Please. Okay, on, brother. okay, Brother Ahmad. Okay, Brother Ahmad. Because people have already uh, listened what you have to say, what I have to say. Now matter has ended on this point that you need to do more research on this particular reference. When you come, Brother Ahmad, next time we'll begin from here. No, but why can't we discuss some some uh, the, you know the points that you were making with regards to you know the truthfulness of of a prophet and the signs of being a truthfulness prophet? No, no, that's we'll, not, that's, that's, we'll that's, go point that's to point. Digression. Is that point. Nothing digression? else we we'll discuss with you, Ahmed. Only this point. Sorry. Yeah. Nothing else will be discussed with you only this point, and this is your homework. When you come back again with a good answer, then you'll be in. We'll let you in, and you can express yourself. And, with and, the and, uh, yeah, and before you go, Ahmed, I have some uh, homework for you, a tip. Okay, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said about these Sahaba who were with the Prophet sallam, who gave it, uh, their pledge of allegiance uh, to him under the tree, Allah said about them, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم لقد رضي الله عن المؤمنين إذ يباعونك تحت الشجر Allah yes. is pleased with the believers okay when they gave their pledge of allegiance under the tree okay this was 1400 companions of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam according to most reports okay if there were apostasies we would have known them they would have been reported there was no such thing. Mirza made it up on the spot uh, because he was baffled or he was rattled by the fact that many of his uh, followers are leaving him. So he just came up with this quick, uh, quick fix. And now this quick fix is going to be a lock in your neck on the, the Qadiani has, missionaries. We, we, we'll let him go. He himself yeah. has commented on this verse. So for you to say that he... That this is your source of uh, the only how does that help you? Actually... His commentary, how does it help you? No more, no more right, discussion, discussion. Discussion. again. You make we, we have to let you go, Ahmed. Um, next time, please. Um, the first thing that you'll be discussing is this particular question that uh, Brother MT asked, asked you, and nothing else. So, we expect from you a well researched reading and study from you with your murabbis, with your own, own self introspection, and so on. On this very question, okay. Thanks for You're coming to right. our wise. Thank you. So we have next. Mansoor, uh, bye, please. Before Zayko. before you go next, Mansoor, bye, please. One point. Okay, before that's you... fine. He doesn't have to speak. You can carry on speaking. Okay, okay, Mansoor, bye. Uh, as yeah. you can see, we are already four hour thirty six minutes into our stream. Yeah. Okay, brother. And uh, let me tell you, for last twenty seven hours, I have not slept. Okay. My 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 request is inshallah, because inshallah we are here, they are here, inshallah, this will continue. So let's inshallah cap today's discussion at five hours with the Ahmadis and we can give inshallah half an hour to our Muslim brothers to come because they want to come and they want to comment. Okay. So with That's me, very fair. With me, brother, with me, brother Mansoor, they still have 24 minutes to go in this stream. Number one. Number two is now the topic of discussion has become because of Ahmad's point that they claim that they do not disrespect the prophets. Okay. And our position is no. No, one second. Uh, please, please, Adnan, please. Allow nahin, me to finish. Hame, hame, hame uske topic many, we don't have to go on. Can topic. I finish, Adnan, bhai? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. okay. 
Now, for the next 23 or 22 minutes, if we open up a new topic, we will never be able to cap that. And Same topic. Un um, please, uh, the unfinished discussion always confuses the common masses. Okay? So, for yeah. the next 22 minutes, the topic will remain what has already started. That we mm. believe and we have evidence that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad has attacked the Prophet to save himself. They are obviously, obviously, they disagree with us. We have already discussed one example with Ahmad. Now, if Tahir Bhai or whoever has came now, if he wants to say something on this first example of Hudaybiyah, please go on. Otherwise, exactly. otherwise, uh, otherwise, I... otherwise, otherwise, I have two more examples. Prophet Yunus alayhi salam and Prophet Isa alayhi salam. And we want to establish our position that Mirza Sahib did attack the Prophet. Okay. Uh, Imtiaz Bhai, like, th these points are very important. They will be discussed and they're, they're valid. Okay. But let me explain something to you. These uh, Qadiani missionaries, they don't care if Mirza, Mirza abused the Prophet or so used this kind of language against the Prophets. He did. There are multiple references. What is more important for the masses who are watching right now is whether he actually lied black and white or not. Precisely. This is the point, yeah, this is the point I was addressing. He lied black and white. He lied through his teeth. Okay, fine. Let's say you, you produce five references, Mirza abusing uh, no, alayhi salam, or Yunus alayhi salam, or even the Prophet of Islam. We have plenty of references. I know. I've seen them. But what is more important for the masses here, the Ahmadi masses is, that they need to know that this man called Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani was an outright manipulator, forger, and liar. Okay? How can we show that to them? By actually opening the floor to these people and ask them to address questions where Mirza lied black and white. So Thank next you. point I would like to, uh, with, 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 with absolute, uh, uh, you know, uh, sympathy to what you had to say, in Tiaz, by I, I, I respect completely what you're saying, but I insist that the next point we raise here is the point about Kanaya and Kishan. Okay, Mirza claimed that the Messenger of Allah, Prophet Muhammad, said that there is a black-skinned prophet in India, or there was. And his name was Kahin. And he gave the words in Arabic, by the way. He attributed mm -hmm. the words not in Urdu, which was Mirza's language, not in Persian, which was India's administrative language. He... Mansoor Bhai, uh, Mansoor Bhai, just before he comes back. He's back you... already. Okay. You need to fix your mic, uh, Adnan. We, we can't hear you, Adnan. We cannot hear you, Adnan. So try fixing your mic. No, not not clear. So Mansoor Bhai, uh, yeah. Bef inshallah. yeah, brother Imtiaz, do speak while he's trying to fix his mic. Okay, Mansoor Bhai, inshallah, before non mic comes in, just very quickly, as I explained to you already my situation. Okay, so we're gonna give them twenty more minutes, which means it will always be already be five hours of stream with them. Inshallah, we'll continue from in. Agree, time. agree, agree. Yeah. That's agreed already. That's yeah. that's fine. Yeah. So that's why there's a quite a few Ahmadis uh, on the back chat as well. So we'll give them opportunity to perhaps um, answer the same questions. Like you know, we have Fath Islam. Now, do you mind responding? To what Adnan is saying about. Go ahead. Uh, okay, brother. Brother Imtiaz, uh, uh, like in the earlier stream, when the Razi came with the new. Uh, are you answering the, the question that is asked now, or are you talking yeah, about yeah, previous? 100%. Yeah, Fine. yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm answering about that. When the Razi was quoting the Hazrat Nuh Islam's uh, prophecy, you told uh, that that's not the topic of today. Oh. Sorry, 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 sorry. Before we change the topic, before we change the topic, just I, I, I want, I want this gentleman, this uh, Kardiani gentleman, to answer this question. Uh, did Mirza say that the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said that there is a prophet from India, Kana fil Hind, Nabiyan Aswadulloni ismuhu Kahin. He gave the these Arabic words attributing these words to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, okay? Uh, and we have the reference. And uh, um, can yeah. you find this hadith for us anywhere in the world? Okay. 
let Fateh Islam uh, respond and reply to you. Go ahead. Yeah, I'll, I'll respond that the first thing. Uh, we already gave that reference and uh, in your own Ulma's books that is mentioned, there there should be a prophet in him too. So the thing is that... Wait, 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 brother Adnan. Wait, wait, you, brother, you must, brother, you, wait, you just made to... something up. You just, like Mirza, you just made something up. Where did uh, uh, our scholars say that there will be a prophet in India? When, when yes, I say yes, our scholars, I'll... okay, wait. First of all, my question is about the hadith. Forget the scholars. scholars exactly. There are thousands. There are thousands. Mirza said, Prophet Muhammad said that there will be a prophet from India. Sallallahu alayhi wasallam. There will be a prophet from India. His name will be Kahin and Krishan and Kanaya. Where is that hadith? Yeah. Let, 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 let me share my screen. Then, hadith. Uh, you're going to show, show then, us hadith, then, yeah? then people will understand. You know, I have two minutes. I Let me respond. Answer you are the question shifting directly. topic, one topic to another topic. We don't, no, no, we don't no, no. this you. is the topic. No, this no. is the topic we were in discussing the, in, the before start, you in the start, let me establish my case first. Adnan. Okay, wait. Please. No, no, no. You asked this question. In the start, no waste, yeah, I'll, no I'll answer answer. that. No, no, no BS. No BS. Sorry. Answer the question or you go. Answer the question. So, I'm can you start you. giving us first the reference which hadith yeah. collection if, if is? If you it? want, if you want a kind of answer which you want from my not side, not a kind of answer. No, write it down. I'll, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll, I'll read that. Or if you okay. want to Wait. answer me, then what's your name? You what's your name? What's your name? What's your name? My name is Fateh Islam. Fateh Islam. Fateh Islam. Mirza okay. Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani wrote that Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said. In the Arabic language, Kana fil Hind Nabiyan Aswadulloni Ismuhu Kahin. Where are these words from the Prophet? Do you understand the That's, question? That, that, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll let me give it to you. Okay, answer please. Let me share my screen first. First, you have to, we, we have to establish a, a case. Then I'll show you that one. Mansoor, by start is that's two minutes a, now. Yeah, yeah. That's a had, that's a hadithul Mahdi, that is written by Hazrat Mulana Walidut Zama. He okay. wrote that. Wait, stop, 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 brother, stop, 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 stop. Adnan, stop. my I'm please gonna, give him his two nay, minutes. Nay, 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 sorry, sorry, Imtiaz, by no, sorry, sorry. I'm not going to accept this BS. Do you have the hadith or not? He's gonna waste our time, Imtiaz, by I'm not gonna yeah, allow yeah. that. Okay, no, no. Do you have the words from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam or not? Simple uh, question. Yes or no? Uh, yes or no? I'll give you. I'll give you. No, no, no. Answer my question. Do you have? Yes, I these have. Yes, I do, have the words. You have these words from the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Yes. The the thing is that once once the why for the Islam how, for the Islam how how Hazrat Ali can quote anything for the Islam for the Islam. How Hazrat Ali can quote Fateh anything? Islam, Fateh Islam. Is the Hazrat, Hazrat Fateh, Ali was lying Fateh anything? Islam, Is Fateh Hazrat Islam. Ali was lying Fateh anything? Islam. Why are you Why waffling are you here? Hazrat Ali no, Islam. I'm not waffling. I'm, you are I'm waffling. waffling. You are quotation. Okay, Hazrat good. Ali. Mute him. Mute him. Mute him. Give him his time. When, no, no, no. no. Imtiaz, no, no. Imtiaz, your style is different to mine. One second. You can deal with them as you like. Let me deal with them uh, the way they understand. Fateh Islam. I'm going to ask you once again. I'm not going to allow them to, uh, to, to waffle, take us around the world, take us around London, then to Birmingham, to Manchester, to Canada, then to the US, then to Latin America and come back to London. No. Get straight to the point. Mirza said categorically, Prophet Muhammad said, there is a prophet from India, black-skinned, black color. His name is Kahin Krishan Kanaya. He attributed these words in the Arabic language specifically to the Prophet of Islam, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Either this hadith exists authentically, the, uh, authentically or inauthentically. Uh, Mansoor, I will give them, I will give them more No, why, why choose an authentic hadith? If Mirza is going to speak, he must speak that this is an authenticated report. Uh, no, from no, no, Muslim no Muslim. problem. Mansoor, Mansoor, I know I, 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 the reason why I'm going to give them this leeway so that they can find it somewhere. Even if it's modu, even if it's da'if, even if it's a false attribution, bring it where the Prophet of Islam, Prophet Muhammad said that there is 
a prophet from India, black skinned. His name is Kahin Krishan Kanaya. Okay, we've heard um, uh, the actual demand you're asking. Okay, let's let's see where the edit is. Yeah, yeah. Let me share that. So if he has the hadith, we are we we, we yeah, are more he's, than... he's sharing his screen. So there you go. Okay, hadith. Inshallah, let's go. Very happy to see. So it. read it. Read okay. it. Okay, it's a hadith from the Prophet Sallallahu right? Yeah, in a that's a narration from the Hazrat Ali. Okay, no. okay. Well, first of and all, he's, first of he's, all. He's, no, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. That that's wait. the same. I, that's wait. the same. No, thing. no. Fateh Islam. The, Fateh Islam. That, that's the same Fateh thing Islam. which is presented by the Fateh Hazrat Masih Islam. Be quiet. Be quiet. That's the same thing which is presented by the Hazrat Masih Be quiet. Be quiet. Be quiet. Stop making noise. Don't make noise. Be quiet. I will read it. I will read it. But is it from the Prophet? First question. Hazrat Ali is, is a Hazrat Nabi Ali is not the Prophet. Hazrat, Hazrat Ali, Ali is, is not the Prophet. Allah? Wait, wait. Hazrat how he get? Is... How he get? How he get? We are not. We are not discussing Hazrat Ali or Jamal here. It, it, it doesn't. Wait. Stop. How stop making noise. Stop khabar. making noise. Have a conversation. Don't be. Don't yeah. be. Are you from a village? Stop making noise. Let's have a conversation so that it seems audience you are can. From village. No, I'm not from a village. I I know how to deal with the people from village. This is yeah, this is something I have. Okay. 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 I'm asking you a question, Fateh Islam. Is this from the Prophet of Islam, Prophet Muhammad? Because that's what Mirza said. That's what Mirza said. The Prophet said it. Is it from the Prophet? And then we will read it what Ali said. Apparently or allegedly. Is this from the Prophet? No, my turn. No. Yes. I'm that, asking you a question. Uh, Your turn. You, but is it from the yeah, Prophet? Yeah. That Hazrat Ali is narrating that. I am asking. Oh, Hazrat Ali, no. I, My question I'm is that asking, has, has, we first gave of all, you the first of all, this is not Islam first of all, first of all, this is not the hadith Mirza we narrated. We gave you the reference of okay, Promise wait, Messiah, wait. Islam, first of all, first of, I'm not going to let books. you off. I'm not going to let your, your I'm not, I'm not going to let your Dajjal lie. I'm not going to let you be a Dajjal. I'm going to let you. You are doing be, a Dajjal. You are, uh, you look, are saying. Uh, uh, let's see. Let's see. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed Kadiani. Mirza Ghulam Ahmed Kadiani said, "Ah, Hazrat ne kaha." Ah, Hazrat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam ne kaha in Urdu language, "Kana fil Hind Nabiyan Aswadullauni ismuhu kahin." Do you understand? Mirza said yeah. this. Okay, yeah. Mirza said this. Ah, Hazrat ne kaha. Hazrat Ali ko kisne kaha? Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. Hazrat Ali ko Allah wait, Taala ne kaha? Wait. Ya Hazrat so, Ali ne apni dil se kaha? Are you going to Are you going to listen or not? Are you going I'm to listen listening to you and you are not yeah. answering me. Mirza said the Prophet Your said. Your own Hale okay. Hadith scholar okay. except wait. Krishan is a okay. Nabi. Okay, wait, wait. Do you know there's a Hadith in Sahih al-Bukhari which says, Man kadaba alay, man kadaba alayya muta'ammidan fal yatabawwa maka'adahu minan nar. Why am I doing this exercise? So that you understand where I'm going with this. The Prophet Muhammad Wasallam said, anyone who lies in my name or on me, Anyone who lies in my name or on me, yeah, deliberately, deliberately. deliberately let him take his seat in hellfire. Let him take his seat. So anyone who names the Prophet and says, the Prophet Muhammad said this, and it doesn't exist, then this man is not only a liar, he is burning in hellfire. Do you understand why I'm so concerned about the Ahmadis? Why I'm so worried about them? Why I have so much sympathy for them? Now, Mirza said that Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu said that there is a prophet in India, black-skinned. His name is Kahin Krishan Kanaya. Did Mirza Sahib say this? First of all, yeah, yes yeah. or no? You are yes. you are not reading. You are not reading the text of that that narration. Okay, I will. It says, Inna I will. Hu I... Alayhi salatu was salam. Inna will. Hu Alayhi. I Inna will. Hu... I will. Inna I will. Hu... I will. Okay. Translate it I... for me, brother. Wait. Translate it, Bra sir. Listen, this guy. This... The last, okay, uh, the last uh, red line uh, translated. Uh, Mansur, throw him out. Mansur, throw him out. Bring someone else. Brother, in. brother. Bring, I'm bring saying someone else in. Inna Hu Alayhi. Mansur. Yeah, Done. throw him out. Yeah. Removed. Okay. okay. Bring, okay. bring someone else. Let's see who I can bring next. One second. So we have. We have nine minutes left. Nine. Yeah, minutes yeah, I'm just trying to see. Okay, you have. 
And that's why this is, you know, this is so important for the Ahmadis okay. and the non-Ahmadis There you go. There's a doctor Saab here who's been waiting. Maybe he can okay. answer the question. Okay, Dr. Saab. MashaAllah. Most welcome. Most welcome. Dr. Saab. Dr. Saab. Dr. Saab. The question is, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani said, Ah, Hazrat Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said in the Arabic language, Kana fil Hind, Nabiyan Aswadul Lawni, Ismuhu Kahin. Yeah. Christian Kanahiya. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mr. Sub said this, right? <clears throat> yes, of course he did. He did. And he attributed this information to the Prophet of Islam, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Yes, he did. That means the Prophet said it. Yes. Where? Okay. I will tell you. Is okay. it, it's my turn now. Yes. How much time in Sur, bhai? Now, you said you have up to five. So you've got eight more minutes. No, no, no. So, no, no, no. In total, in total. So you can take ten, uh, two minutes, okay. uh, Dr. Saab. Yeah, okay. So firstly, is there a hadith like this? I will, I will give you answer, straight answer, brother. Okay, yeah, straight I'll, answer. Is there a hadith brother. with this wording? Yes, yes, yes. There's a hadith There's a hadith from the Prophet with this wording. Giving, Brilliant. Go yes, ahead. Yes. Brother, the, the problem is, you know, the, you are a hadith. Brailby, Deobandi, all other fiqh don't, don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. We don't, we don't, we don't need an explanation. We so, just need sorry, the hadith. Sorry, oh, Intiaz Bhai. Sorry, Intiaz sorry, Intiaz bhai. Not not bhai. I'm not going to let them do this. Not let, them not let, them, let them all come. Let them all come from all no, the way from Rabba to Kalyan to Canada to Norway. But you're not giving the hadith. You're giving about Ali Hadith and so on. You said you said such a hadith does exist. Where is it? I want to see it. You said it. Go ahead. Okay. Give you give me yeah, but tell no, us directly. No, no, no. Say, yes? say, say yes, it is there. I'm going to present it. Okay, look, and, first of and, all, and, the, the yeah. previous scholar, the, the caller, he showed you the reference. Yes? No, it's not from the Prophet. And it doesn't even say he that. It doesn't even... Brother. Okay, bring the reference up. Then, I'm going to read it. It doesn't even yes, have, the, then, it Radhi, doesn't have those words. Razi put a reference or Majmu al Fatawa on his Twitter account. Okay. And I'm, it has not the same hadith. Okay. okay, read it. Yeah. No, no. Okay. I, I, I want words. Okay. Mirza said, Mirza said, the Prophet وسلم, said, Kana fil Hind, Arabic words. Listen to yes. me now. Don't yes. don't just go dumb on me. Yeah? Kana fil Hind, Nabiyan, um, Aswadul Lawni, Ismuh yeah. Kahin, Krishan Kanaya. I yeah. want these words. The report you just showed us on the phone, read it. Yeah. Are these words there? Are That's these right. words there? Yeah, yeah. One second. No, no, now. read it. Read it, read it, read it. You're, you're not even letting me speak. That's Brother, you just showed us something. You just showed us something and you want to, Brother, you just showed the phone. You Can you read it? Me, you have to. Can you read me. it? Can you? I mean, everyone is watching. No, everyone doctor, is watching. Everyone is watching yeah. as well. Everyone is, everyone is watching. You have to let me this speak. Is what, this is what I want people to, I want people to watch this. Can you read that text you just showed on the screen like that with the phone? Yeah. Read yeah. it. Yes. Are those, it, are, no, no, are, are those words there? Mirza's no, words. Yeah. This is not Mirza's words. This is from the but book. But are those words, are those words there? If you let me speak, I will tell you. Without exactly. blathering and waffling, yes. Okay. Look, look, no, no, look. No, you, no, that, I, I don't no, want I you to take me to Lahore. I don't. I don't no, that's, no. That's doctor, doctor Yahya. Doctor Yahya, I don't want you to take me to Lahore and then to Karachi and then to Bombay and then to, to Dhaka no. and then bring I me back to to, to London. No, I, no. I want you. I it's want you to. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, you finish. You finish first. Okay. Mirza Saab said, "Ah, Hazrat." Which is Rasulullah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "Kana fil Hind, Nabiyan Aswadul Lawni, ismu Kahin, Krishan Kanaya." Okay, basically, which is a Hindu deity. So Mirza is claiming the Prophet of Islam, Prophet Muhammad, said that there was a prophet in India, black-skinned, and his name was Krishan Kanaya, which is a Hindu idol which Hindus worship. Now, I want you to produce that reference word by word because Mirza used specific Arabic words. Mirza's language was not Arabic. His language was Urdu and Persian. Okay? Arabic was uh, uh, not his language. He gave specific words in the Arabic language. I want those words from the Prophet. And okay. if you don't have them, then Mirza is in Jahannam. You know why? Prophet said, Man kadaba alayya muta'ammidan. Anyone who lies on me deliberately, let him take his place in hellfire. 
Now, if you don't have the words, Dr. Yahya, say, I don't have them, they don't exist, okay, then we move on. But don't waste our time and the viewers' time. Don't play these Qadiani missionary games. We're not going to allow that. Do you have okay. them? Okay. Brother, I have got them, but you have to let me speak. You spoke oh, so, no. so long. I, I am being so very long. straight to the point. I want Directly, to be, please. I'm, I'm yeah, direct, read, read, read give the me, text. Give me, give me two minutes. Re, give uh, me read two the minutes. text. Okay. Yeah, brother. Brother, all Muslim scholars believe that all yeah they can they can get the hadith done. No, I'm, I'm, I'm going to meet you. You're I'm going to I'm going to um, Okay. People might be thinking. No one no one can hear you Dr. Mute. Sab, because I've, yeah. I've muted no you. One right? no, one, no one can no hear you. No one can hear you. You're, You're muted. We are You're not muted. going to allow you to just waffle and blather. You're speaking but no one's hearing because you think you're hearing because from your own speaker but no one is hearing you Dr. Saab. No one is hearing you. Do you he's know still why? Speaking. Because I have muted you. And I'm telling you why. Because you do not have opportunity here in the last few minutes before I have to get Muhammad Imtiaz have some rest. You need to quote or read the hadith. Number one, just read without a commentary, a prelogue or a prologue or a postlogue, nothing. We just want the statement read in the Arabic, preferably if it's there, or in English translation, Urdu, whatever it might be. And tell us where the source of this hadith is. It needs to be hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa We don't want Hazrat Ali radiallahu anhu what he said. We don't want this Mufassir said. We don't want this historian said. We want a hadith directly as we read like Qala Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa And you can read like this and the reference. If that's clear, I hope it should be clear because you're, the, you're a doctor, sir. You're a doctor. So please, without any waffling, go ahead. I'm going to give you the opportunity now to speak. Go ahead. Okay. Now, before... Uh, look, the, my problem is I can't even share my screen because my original you can read account, it. My original account has been blocked. You read can read it. it. I'm asking you guys again, and again to, to, to open oh, it. We're listening. Okay. We're listening. Read it. Right. Read those words. This, this is from the Surul Ulama or Jamil Alum, P. Islahatul Fanun. Okay, and I can show you the reference. Okay, read the, read the very words okay. Mirza wrote attributing to the Prophet. Okay. He said, Wan Ali and Ali Razi Allah Ta'ala Anho. So it's not the Prophet. It's Let not him the Prophet. Let him finish. Let him finish. Hadith has to be revealed by a Sahabi. How many okay. are these? I don't have to teach you these ABCs, brother. Please. Okay, so, okay, okay, good, good. Uh, let, very let, good point. Let, let, I'm, Let him finish. Yeah, I'm going gonna, gonna to give you some extra territory now. You are saying a Sahabi, when he makes, uh, makes a statement, it must come from the Prophet. Okay. Now you're going to show me those words. Now you're going to show me those words in Arabic. Kana fil Hind. Nabiyan Aswadullahuni ismuhu kahin Krishan Kanaya from Ali. Go ahead. Read. Okay. It says, Kala lo kana Nabiyan fil Hind lakana Aswad. Have a look. Okay. Have a look. Okay. Okay. For, for, wait. Wait. Do you know Arabic? Can you read it? Yeah. Okay. Okay. I will, yes. Right. We we heard it. We heard it. Low kana fil hind. Low kana fil hind. Nabiyan. Yes. Read yes. again. Yes. Low kana fil hind. Nabiyan. Okay. Yes. Yes. In hind. Lakana aswad. Yes. Lakana okay. aswad. Okay, yes. you know what it means? Translate it, not it, a translation. It, translation. Let him translate. I, I, no, 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 not no, no, Let him translate. Him, him, him. Yeah. What's up? Translate it, please. Brother. And if you know the translation, you would never use it. If you knew everyone, the translation, you everyone, would never use it. Everyone, everyone who is watching, they know that what was your claim? You are. Do you mind translating it first? Words. Do you Dr. mind Dr. translating Dr. it before you start Dr. going Dr. on a victory? Please translate it. Before okay. you go on a victory parade. No, no, it's not the victory parade. I have okay, translate. Please, please, please. please, no, please no one please second translate. translate. Wasting time. Please translate. Okay, I will listen. There is another line which I have to read before I before I translate. Okay. Okay. Sorry. Wa'an Ali Ali Razi Allah Ta'ala Anho Ba'as Allah Nabiyan Aswad Sorry, because I, I'm not used to mobiles. I'm so used to the... the That's you know, fine. My... No problem. Translate. Okay. Do you know what the translation is? Let him finish first, brother. 
Carry on, Dr. Saab. And then he says, Innahu alayhi salatu was salam kala lo kana nabiyan pil hind lakana aswad. Okay. First of all, do you agree that whatever you ever ask Translation, me, please, Dr. Saab. Translation. Listen. I, I don't have to. I don't have to treat you like a child, Doctor Saab. You are you are quite, you know, an old person compared to myself. I'm asking you for a translation. Thank you. Okay. Now it says, it says, if a prophet came to India, if he was, yeah, the, I'm reading what it says. He was black, but whole, but part. It says, you see, my my problem is. I will tell you my problem. I I am not expert in Arabic. Okay. Okay. Good. Let, I am okay. not. Uh, okay, just, okay. Just one clarification. One clarification uh, is run. You know, yeah. in the last stream when I when I left. No, 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 no stream. No. Sorry. Second, Sorry. One, okay. One okay. No one. Everyone second, watching. No one everyone watching. Um, 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 okay. That's it. Okay. You, you, you speak. Bhai, do you want to speak? Um, yes. yes. Adnan, bhai, yes. But 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 Adnan, make sure it does by. We stick to this point. Stay on this point. Yes. Yes. Go ahead, brother Mtiaz Bhai. What are you going to say? Mtiaz Bhai, you. Okay, okay, brother, inshallah, very quickly. Uh, as, as audience can see uh, and see and the, all the viewers can see, Dr. Saab, in the beginning, even though this was not the topic, he tried to give uh, a usul from the hadith, okay? And obviously, I'm just paraphrasing, okay? This usul he was trying to quote, and Razi quoted the same, that when a Sahabi, he quotes something which is from the unseen, that is considered as a hadith. Dr. Sir, am, I, am I right to, uh, to, to portray your point? Okay, now. Now listen, Dr. Sir, very carefully. Now listen the response. No, no, now no, 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 no. response. No. Brother, you, you haven't explained. Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay, fine. Let me finish, then you can speak. No okay, no now. Now, in your turn, Dr. Sir, you need to give me the answer for the following question. Quote and quote. My question is following. Please. Write it down so you can address the question. Jamaat Ahmadiyya, do they accept Usul al Hadith which have been mentioned in the books of Ahlu Sunnah? Okay, please give me a clear answer. Do you accept those Usul of Hadith or do you not? Or do you cherry pick? Give me a clear answer. I'm done. Okay, thank you. Wait, 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 no, wait, 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 before you give let him give a clear no, answer. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. <laughs> before, before he opens his mouth, before he opens his mouth, you are now giving him a separate topic to indulge in and waste one hour of our time. I'm not going to allow that. I'm not going to allow that. I'm going to come back to his translation. He quoted Ali bin Abi Talib, allegedly saying, Law kana fil hind nabiyan. Yes, Lakana Aswad. Lakana Aswad. If there was a prophet from India, it would have been black. Correct, Mansoor? Yeah. Mirza is saying the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that there was a prophet in India, black skinned. His name was Kahin Krishan Kanaya. Do you see the difference between two statements? Even if we accept. Even if we, if we accept Ali said it. First of all, they will run marathons to prove it. They will never be able to do it. But let's say we accept. The words are there. He pulled out something. Okay. We say, we give them, we give them benefit of the doubt. that Ali, But he did not attribute this to the Prophet, though. Uh, he did in, not. In, in number, no, no, number one. Number one, he did not. And in fact, what he is presenting goes against Mirza, proves Mirza to be a bigger liar. Why? He doesn't even know what he's presenting as evidence to save his false prophet because now this proves Mirza to be a bigger liar. Ali is saying if there was a prophet in India, he would have been black-skinned, right? Mirza is saying there was a prophet in India, black-skinned, called Kahin. Okay, we've temporarily lost... Um, okay, can I use this time, right? Brother Mansoor? Can, can I respond yes. to Brother Mtiaz? Yeah, Brother Mtiaz, go ahead. Brother Mtiaz. No, let, me, let, me, let me tell you what you need to respond. Uh, no, you asked me a question, Brother. Let me complete no, my question. You, you, you yeah, are yeah. asked already, yeah. Okay, let me complete my question, uh, uh, Laksa. Can I complete okay. my question, Laksa? Okay. So, Laksa, my question, my question is as followed. When it comes to usul of Ahadith, okay... 
Jamaat Ahmadiyya, do you accept the usul of hadith mentioned in our books or not? Okay, is that the question? No, again, again, okay. again, one second. One no, second, he's guys. Gonna in, he's going to answer in five seconds because he's a, he's a yes or yes. no question. Okay. Now, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Before I come back to this hadith, I got the words. Okay. Now, okay. brother, you have to understand we give what was, was the what was the muqam of Hazrat Mirza Tab. According to Holy Prophet, we accept him because he called him Hakam wa Adal. Hakam wa Adal. So any usul which has been given to us by Hazrat Mirza Sahib in light of Holy Quran and Hadith, we accept it. And that includes that's a soul of the, of all Muslim Tirkajad except Ahl Hadith that Allah can take the Hadith direct from the Holy Prophet. So for, for us, Hazrat Mirza Sahab took this Hadith. You're lying on us. You're lying on us. He doesn't have we don't to have that. narration chain. He doesn't have to have that chain. You all of Muslim, all Muslim scholars accept that. If okay. Hadith don't accept it, you are a minority. We don't okay. have to go with the minority. Okay, wait. That's it. Adnan Thank you for your answer. Thank you for your answer. Adnan, my 30 seconds. Adnan, my 30 yes. seconds to respond to that. Okay? Yeah. So, Dr. Saab, Dr. Saab has just mentioned one thing. He said that to take a riwayah, the awliya, the awliya take the riwayah directly from Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And he mentioned about this usul that this is accepted by all the scholars, which means the ijma. There is jima on this one. Dr. Saab, your homework for the next stream is when you will come next time, we'll begin with this homework, okay? You need to bring us from the books of Usudul Hadith and there is jima. Please note three things. There has to be the book of Usudul Hadith, number one. Number two, it has to be consensus of the scholars. Number three, it has to say in black and white that the, the, the Wali Allah, the saints, the saints of Allah, they narrate directly from Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam when you come next the, the, the stream when you come next time will begin from this question I'm finished with you okay, okay. so let's now, return let's Mr. Saab said he, he's got a quote he, he, he has given quote. you he has given you homework he's given homework yeah. now no, no, back no, to my I, question I have to give you, to my to give you, you my my guys homework one second so, so, let me let so me doctor, give you homework. Yeah, yeah. No, no, we don't want no, homework. We want you to quote. No, no, you Wait. said you have the direct quote. Uh, then I don't, I don't need homework either. Then no, you okay. said okay. you, don't give us. Have you have the quote. Can you hear me? Give us. Wait, wait, yeah, wait. Yeah, we can hear. You. Wait, guys, Adnan, guys, please. Can you hear me? Let him give. Yes, okay. Adnan, can you can hear you. Yes, brother, brother, Imtiaz. Can you hear me? We can hear you, Adnan. Yes, please. Okay, Doctor Saab, stop. One second, Imtiaz, stop, stop. Doctor Yahya. Dr. Yahya, you have Masjid al Nabawi behind you. You know, the, the Gumbad e Khizra, the Green Dome. Okay. And clearly, you are claiming by putting that to be a truthful person. Now, I'm going to ask you a very straight, basic question mm -hmm. Is there such a hadith from the Prophet? Because Mirza to you was a Prophet. Mirza yes. and Prophets are the most responsible people who walk the planet. They were the mm -hmm. most truthful people who walked the planet. They would not mm -hmm. make blunders and attribute lies when there is no evidence. Is there any hadith from the Prophet Muhammad wasallam with this wording? Kana fil Hind, Nabiyan Aswadul Launi, Ismuhu Kahin, Krishan Kanaya. Brother, first of all, I showed you one hadith. Answer. Answer okay, my question. Me. That, that, that no, wasn't it. Answer I, my question. I haven't showed you the full hadith. Brother, Brother. I, I'm asking you the question. Is there yeah. any hadith with this wording from the Prophet in any collection yes. in the world? He can said you, yes. Can you, can you read that which is which is written? Which is we highlighted? can't see it. I would like you which to read it, please. Bigger. Go ahead. Yes. Can you, can you read it? it? Read. read. What does it say? Okay. He says, Anna rajalan khan afil hinde ismahu khan. Okay, and where is it? Where is, this, where is the this statement? Is Stop lying. Where is the statement? The Sturul Ulama or Jamil Is it attributed Arun? to the Prophet? Is it attributed is to the Prophet? Why are you lying? Sorry, what? Sorry, why, why, why do I have to Who lie? Who is, is attributed to the Prophet? No, 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 listen, 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 listen. You're not my, listening to me. 
Hello, listen to you my know, question. Brother, you know, no. listen to me. That statement you just read. That no. statement. That statement you just read there. Is it yeah. attributed to the Prophet in that book? My, this is a I'm, call I'm, this is a I'm call just saying to you, this statement is in Arabic, brother. I'm not an expert in Arabic. Stop using so it. I Stop trying to be clever. Okay? Stop trying can to be clever. Can you take Stop using can you take it. it. If you, you don't, don't know what it means, don't he bring it up. Done, he, has done, he has done research on this on this topic. Okay. Can you take so, it in, please? So, so, so we're gonna move on from Dr. Yahya. Clearly, no, but, there is but no... I haven't completed my answer yet. What I answer? Reference from Shah Waliullah Dehlvi. He categorically said that thing. Not that interested. can take hadith from directly you from. Can bring, you can bring whoever you like. Yes, the pen, but Mirza, you Mirza, guys Mirza, are minority. Majority of the das brother. Majority of the das alhamdulillah. This was a homework for you from Brother Imtiaz, which you can this talk about it later. Brother, this but on this stream, you, on this stream, find out which other other okay. uh, uh, sex was they are with us. Brother Mansur, no, no, no. That's your homework, brother. Okay, yeah. okay. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad no. Kalyani clearly attributed a lie to the Prophet. There is no such hadith. It is not even from Ali bin Abi Talib. They cannot pull out any. Any Sahabi, any Tabi'i, any Imam who said, who said, okay, in the first three hundred of his years of Islam, I'm going to give them this this long, you know, period. Go and produce okay. a statement from any of the scholars of Islam for the first three hundred years. Sure, okay. I'm done by. I'm going to let Doctor Saab go and bring that. another Qadiani, uh, Ahmadi. So yes. because you, you, are, you because you failed, Doctor Saab, we're going to have to try someone else. Okay, now let's bring the uh, well, who's this? Tahir Bai. Okay, maybe Tahir Bai knows a little bit Arabic and he can produce this reference oh, because we need to let Brother Imtiaz go. Um, yes, Tahir Bai, go ahead. Do you have I've, that reference? I've come on here to um, just say what a shameful behavior you all have demonstrated today. It shows a total lack of. Okay, I've removed him. We're not interested in you no know, waffling. And yes. you can just listen on the back chat. So, Imtiaz Bai, we're not bringing any Khadianis. Uh, we yeah. had them ample opportunities to answer questions directly without wasting your valuable time because you needed yeah. some rest. So, so I, I, I really want to apologize to Imtiaz Bai on, uh, on this public platform in front of everyone that, uh, you know, I kind of slightly changed the direction, okay, of uh, the stream because... I really want everyone to know and understand the kind of Dajjal we are dealing with here. Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani was a liar, Dajjal. Okay? And you can clearly see from his followers, uh, these missionaries, I'm talking about missionaries, I'm not talking about the masses, the poor masses, miskeens, who don't know what he wrote. They don't know these things. They don't know the lies he, have, he has put out. They don't know the abuse he has put out. Okay, so I, I know Imtiaz Bai had a different plan, okay, uh, to this. But what happens is, Imtiaz Bai, you know, I want, and I'm sure everyone can see this. They take advantage of long discussions. They go on long tangents, okay, deliberately, okay. And then what happens is these very important points in the middle are left uh, untouched. So I really want everyone to know how categorical his lies are, how black and white his lies are. These people have no defense. Okay, When you ask them to produce these statements, these are the games they play. He pulled out something attributed to Ali. It's not even Ali's statements. Uh, we, they cannot prove that Ali said this, right? But they pulled out something attributed to Ali and it doesn't even say those words which Mirza allegedly said. So Mirza, you see, being a prophet to them, because they believe he's a prophet, Okay, he is using specific words, attributing them to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Actually, Muhammad Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said this, and it doesn't exist. It's not there. And what lame uh, defense do they bring? Awliya Allah were bringing up hadith from Kashf, from revelation, not, not revelations, from inspiration, from dreams. They would have a dream. The Prophet would come and give them a hadith and they would come. Anyone who did that, anyone who did that, the first thing ulama used against him was the, 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 the accusation of a, being a liar. 
Okay, anyone who attributed any hadith to the Prophet of Islam in the history of Islam and could not produce his chain, could not produce his authority, such a man was always known as a liar. Kaddab, Kaddab, Wadda. There are names, Muhaddathin, they have names for such people. Wadda, okay, the one who forges reports. Kaddab, okay, liar. Munkar, okay, Matruk. These are the words, the terminologies the scholars of Hadith have for people like this who make up information in the name of the Prophet. It doesn't stop okay. there. You okay, know, Mansoor Bhai, uh, Mansoor bhai uh, before inshallah, uh, we, are we going to open up the floor for the Muslims now, inshallah? Yes, yes, yes. yes that's the time. So, um, just, just, just before you go, just before you go, for yes. all the audience, um, I'm afraid we are not taking any more Ahmadis in this stream. We are not taking any more Ahmadis stream. So, those of you in the back chat, you may as well, you know, take some rest and, and then have um, some good night rest. Only Muslims who are interested to come into this, uh, you know, panel to speak and ask questions. You're more than welcome, but please. Verify yourself by switching on a camera momentarily so I can I can verify you that a real human being rather than some autobots. Um, that's it, Mirza. Uh, you're verified. Um, San Siddiqui, you're verified. Okay, I'll, I'll let these two brothers in just in a moment. So, Mirza, go ahead. What do you want to say? Yeah. Okay, inshallah, brothers and sisters, uh, I just want to obviously uh, wrap up what we have discussed in five hours and 18 minutes. Just inshallah, two minutes I want. So, bi ta'ala, when the next stream will be with the Ahmadis, the, what we will, inshallah, brother Ahmad, who came today, when he will join the stream, the first point that will be discussed, he has to produce for us reference. That after the first year journey of Hudaybiyah, many Sahaba became Murtad, Maaz Allah, or apostasy or riddha okay he tried to hold on to the, the the world sahaba but as soon as i questioned him that those in the time of prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam they are muslim and then they left islam who are they okay and then he said yes they are sahaba so that point addressed already dr yahya when dr yahya will come next time he need to begin his turn with the following Today he said that, they, that all the ulama, they agree on this principle of usul hadith that awliya, the saints of Allah, they directly narrate from Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam and that is an agreed upon principle. The other word for the agreed upon principle is ijma. So Dr. Yahya will produce ijma on this usul hadith from where? From the books of usul hadith Okay. Now, with regard to our brother Razi, inshallah, when Razi will come in the next stream, uh, I'm, I'm giving him in advance. Okay. When he did his stream on his channel, there was a three hour long stream. And when Dr. Yahya and all of them were there, he mentioned something about the hadith, which talks about the ride of the Jal. Okay, and in mentioning this hadith, he said something. I just want to say it. He said that that right, people will use it or will be using it for traveling purposes. He is not saying that the, only the jal will use this right. Rather, people will be using this for the traveling purposes. And when he said this particular statement, he was quoting the hadith. Okay. When it comes next time, please Radhi, bring this hadith about the right of the jal, about which the hadith says that people are or will be using that as a means of traveling. And second uh, point, because Razi Mashallah is very, uh, you know, I, I love discussing with him. So I, I want to, inshallah, be more uh, loving towards him. I want to give him two things. Okay. The next thing is, Today, there was a lot of discussion about that the Muhammadi Begum's point, the marriage issue, was it takdeer e mubram or takdeer e muallak? There was a lot of discussion about these two terms, like the destiny, which means unchangeable decree or takdeer e mubram, or changeable decree, which is called takdeer muallak. So, Razi, next time when you come, here is what you need to tell us. 
from all the writings of Mirza Sahib. Please can listen the point very carefully. You have to be considering all his writings, and then you need to tell us what is referred as Takdeer e Mubram, unchangeable destiny, and what is referred as Takdeer e Mualluk, which is changeable destiny. Why am I saying this? Because this will tell us that how much in-depth knowledge you or Ahmadi have on this topic. And then very quickly, Brother Tahir, the one who came because he was being very disrespectful. He was not allowed to be continued. So Brother Tahir, my understanding from the chat is that he wanted to discuss the prophecy of earthquake. So Brother Tahir, please come prepared next week. I'm going to include the prophecy of earthquake again. Just because I love you. Okay, brother, please come next time. So this is homework for all our brothers. Brother Ahmed, <laughs> brother Dr. Yahya, brother Razi, and uh, brother Tahir. Last point. Uh, Adnan Bai mentioned that he apologized to me. I want to say on the public platform as a part of this stream. My love and respect for Adnan Bai is beyond words and descri description. His love, his respect for my heart is Uksim Billah. I cannot even describe in the world. I love him. I love all my Muslim brothers from the bottom of my heart. Okay. And all of that he did, you know, emotion, this and that. This was because we can all see dealing with the Ahmadi clerics. It is not an easy job. So in the midst of that, they can be heat of emotion. But Uksim Billah, if I ever said anything to Adnan Bhai that was displeasing, I unconditionally, I beg his pardon. Okay. And last thing. Uh, inshallah, I'm done then. Last thing is this. Because uh, with regard to the style of the stream towards the last half an hour, that was being criticized by the Ahmadis in the chat and Brother Tahir uh, was saying the same thing. So I want to say on this thing is this. Even though I already said, because Alhamdulillah, our confidence is so much, I don't care. Whatever they want to say in their two minutes, I want to let them speak. This is my style, but obviously it's not my stream. Brother Dawa Wise, the, the team, they don't have to agree with me. But I want audience to understand this point. The reason the Dawa Wise panel, they have to take this approach. Brothers, please be fair. You can all understand. When Ahmadi brothers, Ahmadi clerics, they were not answering the question. They were direct questions and they were beating around the bush, beating around the bush. So because of that, we have to respect people's time. So this was the context that why the team of Zawa Wise has to take the approach they took. So please take everything into this uh, whole context. Jazakumullah khair. Barakallah fi isi. Um, we understand um, your sentiments and your academic approach. But sometimes, brother, you see, I reflect on it. I say, okay, you know what? We should have kicked these um, wafflers and, and spammers and time wasters a long time ago. But we allowed them to continue to speak. And, and because of that, people's time, valuable time is wasted. We've learned enough of how indirect, how waffling and blathering they can be. Today, I mean, I, 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 mean, I just took some actions. And I'm, I'm sure if you look at the comment section, people are appreciative of that because we have given enough chance for them to reply and they are not replying. It's not about like, oh, give us, you know, a million years and we'll... The question is very simple. The answer is also like yes or no type things. Instead of doing that, you went to all these different tangents. Uh, I'm afraid, you know, with me, it's not going to work. So you might disagree with this. When I'm moderating, I will kick you off without showing any mercy because you are no different than any other wafflers that we interact with. When it comes to discussion and establishing truth, let it be an academic type discussion. If you do not maintain that academic decorum, this is what is going to happen to you. Like, you know, the last person that came, how many seconds did he have? Seconds only enough for me to kick him out. Why? Because he started disrespecting from the very get-go when he was given the opportunity to answer the question. So, Brother Adnan, um, you know, if you find that, you know, our approach, you know, my personal approach is disrespectful. I mean, this is something I, I feel it's necessary. I feel that, you know... Um, we should not even allow them to come to the stream if they behave this way. There are hundreds of Ahmadis. You know, remember what they say? <clears throat> Thousands of embracing Ahmadism, Ahmadism. Let them come. Those who have good manners, those who can interact on an academic level, those who cannot, we are not going to have you here. You can have you can scream and shout and dance as you as you say, Brother Adnan, in your own channel. But if you're going to have an academic tech discussion, then 
come and discuss with us in that level, in that manner. If you cannot, I'm afraid that's not the platform for you. You, you know um, the kind of persons, the kind of people, Mansoor, brother Mansoor, we are dealing with, right? I was just looking at Twitter. You know what they're posting on Twitter? Uh, brother Intiaz allegedly telling me off, right? Uh, for example, when Brother Intiaz said, uh, are you happy at Nan by now? What they're doing is they're taking that like maybe five seconds clip. They are posting it everywhere on Twitter. Adnan Rashid's humiliation, Adnan Rashid being told off by Intiaz. And then what they're doing is my, 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 my own mistake when I use the word Ibn Qayyim plagiarized from Ibn Taymiyyah, which was my mistake, wrong choice of the word, slip of the tongue. Okay, And I clarified my position. They're using that to attack me. So what they're doing is they are ignoring the stream completely. These the Dajjals we are dealing with, these Qadiani missionaries, because that's what they get paid for. They are getting paid to misguide their masses, misguide their awam, their followers. They're not getting paid to guide them. Okay, If they were guiding them, these are the questions we addressed uh, not long ago. They should be discussing those questions, right? Being They, they should be academic. Like we are throwing quotes at them. We're throwing real things at them. The writings of their prophet, we are throwing these things at them. But what they're doing is on Twitter, they take these short clips, short statements you make here and there uh, from a five, six hours long stream. And then they go, oh, look at this, what happened. Look what happened. Look look at these guys. Look at these mullahs. Look at these movies. Okay. So, so I would say everyone watching right mm -hmm. now, this is the reality of the people we're dealing with. You know, they are, they are a bunch of munafics, they are hypocrites, they are even liars, and they, they are manipulators, they're spin doctors. They may come with a lot of good manners and akhlaq and soft talk and soft touch, but you should see their colors, the, 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 the wolf that comes out of them on Twitter. You know, the sheep comes out on these streams, the wolf is seen on places like Twitter. Go and check them out. On Twitter and you'll see what oh, I'm talking just about. Inshallah, Mansoor, just inshallah, one thing on the things, inshallah. First of all, Alhamdulillah, anybody who is quoting anything, you know, I have absolutely clarified the matter that Adnan Bhai is, is the Amir. I love Adnan Bhai, okay? I love him from the bottom of my heart. That's one thing. Second thing is, I want to clarify, I did not reject the approach or I did not disagree with the approach of Dawa Voice at all. No, 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 no. I said there are two approaches. One approach is that let them speak and let the people see that they do not have any answer what the question is being asked. Okay, this was the approach I was taking. Okay, the other approach is we have to respect people's time. They are not answering the question, just beating around the bush. So let's give time to other people or let them respond directly. This was another approach. Okay, so both are these are two approaches. It's not, and I am not disagreeing with the approach taken by, by my beloved panel of Dava Voice. Okay, I love Dava Voice. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. So I think um, after three hours of the initial wasting time, mashallah, Atnan finally woke up, yeah. took control of the <laughs> of the stream, and got separated the you know the troublemakers, the wafflers, and brought brought it down to the actual crux of the matter, okay, which is to expose Mirza Ghulam as a false prophet, someone who lies, okay, and based on his own principles, because the, the stream was about the principles that they use, what is the principle Mirza laid down? That, and what did the Prophet Sallallahu laid down as, as a principle? Okay, anyone who lies by attributing a hadith to the Prophet, peace be upon him, which is not true, then that person, and if he does that deliberately, he'll take his place in Jahannam. Repeatedly, Adnan and also uh, Brother Mtiyas, they asked this question to them. Where does it say about the Kanaya? Where does it say about uh, the other things which were clearly mentioned by them as being something which is a call of the Rasul Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam? Instead of producing the, the evidence for that, if they did have the reference, they would have shown it. But one guy says, oh, I haven't seen this in yet. I have to go and research it. And then starts waffling. Another guy says, no, I've got the reference. But it's from Ali radiallahu anh. I mean, these are the tricks they're playing. What is the point? And then, like Brother Adnan clearly says, because I don't deal much on Twitter, 
I just ignore all of their tweets, even if they <laughs> if they did tag me or not. The thing yeah. is, they go on the Twitter or wherever yeah. they go, and they start lying to their to their sheep, basically, who follow and them brother, blindly. And brothers, one thing very important yeah. because Alhamdulillah, uh, because you know this is this, this is my field for last four years, watching their debate, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So my Muslim community, do not be carried away by the propaganda of Ahmadis in the chat or anywhere, where they are trying to portray a picture that it is as though as I disrespected my Habib, Adnan Rashid. It is impossible. Brothers, Muslim community, don't be carried away by their agenda. You know why? Now they have seen that this panel is going to bring an end to the Ahmadi deception. So now what the game they want to play from now onward is they are going to throw things. Ah, oh, Imtiaz said this, blah, blah, blah. Imtiaz have made it very clear. Okay, if Adnan by even, you know, even if he slap on my face, I will kiss his hand. Okay, so don't, 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 don't be in this propaganda and do not be carried away by the propaganda of the Ahmadis and do not ever. Don't, look don't worry, Imtia Saab, this is, this is only called damage control. They will go and whinge and complain and say, oh, they didn't give us a chance. You know, that guy Tahir who came, um, uh, Mansur kicked out rightly. Yes, because from the very beginning. It starts insulting, starts complaining. I mean, this is all all they do. Instead of answering the question, they start whinging. Let them whinge, you know. And they have apparently, you know, permission from their from the Amir here in the UK to come and represent Ahmadiyat here on our panel. And this is how they actually come forward. Instead of making, you know, uh, making the, them proud, they actually bring disgrace upon themselves. When you come and insult in the, in the panel like that, okay, and then they talk about respecting others. They start with their big slogan saying, you know, love love for all, hate for none. All we see yeah. on the tweet are hatred against the Muslims, the real Muslims, okay, not the wannabe Muslims. The fake just like Muslims, just like Modi says, should we should we bring the just, uh, Muslim just like, audience in now? Um, because yeah, yeah, let yeah. Brother MTS go yeah, and have just, some rest. Yeah. yeah, just like Modi says, Sabka Saad, Sabka Vikas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, uh, I'm going to bring, um, gonna bring um, some um, Muslim brothers in, inshallah. First one here, Brother Mirza. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Wa alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. First of all, excellent, excellent stream, uh, brothers. Uh, I learned a lot from uh, from. I can't stream. hear him. Uh, I can hear him. Yeah. Okay. So, okay. Mirza, are you are you a Muslim or Ahmadi? I'm I'm Mirza, but not Mirza. <laughs> no, we've <laughs> stopped. Muslim, we we Muslim. have specifically <laughs> requested no Mohammedis. So everyone yeah. joining is going to be a, a non ahmadi Muslim. Yeah, yeah twenty four Muslim, Muslim, Muslim. <laughs> not Mirza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, quickly, um, I I noted a couple of points that I wanted to make here. Uh, I think uh, Razi mentioned uh, about that um, uh, ayah from the Quran. Makana Muhammadun. What was it? Razi was mentioning something. Wakat khalak, wakat khalak, wakat kabli rusul. Exactly. So he was he was asking us like how we exclude uh, uh, Prophet Isa, uh, Prophet Jesus from from this ayah. So my question is, uh, Razi or all the Ahmadis? Uh, they, uh, I mean, we all believe that uh, uh, Prophet Isa was miraculously, uh, uh, basically, um, his birth was miraculous without male intervention. So there is a verse in the Quran, in chapter 86, which uh, uh, and verse number five. I will be Shaykhan Rajim. Fal yandulil insan mimma khuliq, khuliq mimma in dafik. How they exclude Hadith Isa from the word insan? So this, this is the and and, and and it goes on to say Yahruju min bain sulbi wa tara. Exactly, exactly. Okay, which says which says which which means the the combination of the male and the female. Exactly. This is very right. specific. Okay. This is very, very specific in tafasir. Okay. Yeah. That this actually means the male and the female. So how do you very very good point, a very valid point. How do you exclude Isa al Islam from that? Yeah, exactly. Or even Adam, or even Adam al Islam. Yeah. And Brother Mansoor is, is, is the, the reason of this uh, ayah that, that just popped up in, in my mind because 
I was watching one of his uh, videos from the speaker's corner where he was explaining the verses to, uh, to some atheists or, or some, uh, some, some agnostic, I, I think. Uh, so just uh, these ads just uh, uh, popped up in my mind. And the other point, uh, I think Ahmed uh, was mentioning uh, the difference between 50 and 5. So mm. again, Brother Mansoor brought up this point earlier. So basically, they are so, I mean, uh, ignorant or say they are so dumb. So they don't know what our objection. What is our objection? Our objection is not like you can, if, if you pray five times, you will get the reward of 50. This is not our objection. Our objection is the explanation that Mr. Kavyani is giving. Like the difference between 50 and five is a dot. I mean, come on. <laughs> where are your brain cells Bro brother I mean, they they were look they are making up hadith mirza is making up lies about the prophet of islam forget about all i mean i believe all these things people bring uh, for mirza uh, or against mirza right uh, they are they are minor in comparison to his lies against the prophet of islam his lies against other prophets his lies against the sahaba all these things are so big they are so important, right? I mean, we can talk about Mirza's abuse, like his swear words, his, his use of very vulgar, bad, evil language against his opponents. Okay, these these points are important. Can I but, just make a quick comment, if you don't mind? Yes, please. Okay. Okay, uh, brother uh, Mirza, first of all, Salaamu Alaikum, Akhi. Jazakallah Khair for joining us. So, brothers, I just want to mention something very important because this happened in the previous stream as well. Obviously, this is, the, this is the nature of their discourse that they always throw off-topic things into discussion, okay? And I was trying to stay focused on the topic. That's one thing. Secondly, my brothers, I want to make this disclaimer. Actually, you know, they are coming prepared with regard to all of these things which have been said in the past 100 years, okay? What they are not realizing is now the research has moved on. Now the new questions are being raised and they are not prepared for that because they don't have the answers for that. So that's why they go off topic. And this is a tactic when they go off topic. Why? Because they are cornered and now they're going off topic. So brothers, um, Muslim community, please understand this. We are not entertaining their off topic points as a strategy, not that we don't have the answer. And lastly, Inshallah, uh, brothers, uh, listen to this point, that once we have the discussion on the topic of Isa ibn Maryam, it will be a new angle and a new aspect of discussion, Inshallah. That's why I have left it once we get into that topic. Yeah. Uh, uh, okay. Quickly, the last point, which is uh, uh, related to the uh, today's topic. So the prophecy about the Muhammad Begum. So basically, they say that uh, the sin of uh, uh, of that um, the family was that they were close to the non-believers. So because of that, they they were warned by the by the God if they don't repent, uh, then they will be like uh, they will be cursed and and they will die in in sequence and 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 all that. So my question is like how the marriage of Mirza Kabiani with the Muhammadi Begum is gonna help them to repent? I mean, what what is the logic? What is the logic? If the sin is that they were close to the non-believers, so how this? I mean, how, how this is logical that the, the marriage of brother Kadiyani... with 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 Kadiyani's uh, not much is logical. Okay, it's emotional, it's peer pressure, it's uh, family pressure. Okay, it's Jamaat pressure. A lot of the Kadiyani's don't even think of leaving because, firstly, they don't know what Mirza wrote in his books. They don't, they actually live in a bubble. They think that the whole world is Kadiani. That's what they think. Okay. And whoever is not Kadiani is clearly misguided and doomed to hellfire. Okay. This is the kind of mentality the Jamaat gives them. That's why these Salana Jalsas take place to give them a normal feeling, you know, that you are, you guys are the normal ones. The rest, the rest are just basically misguided. Okay. So, so it's it's a lot of things. The reason why we're doing these streams is that as many Kadianis as possible, or you know, their people or their children or their youngsters, I hope they can watch these streams and realize that it's a cult. 
it's just a cult okay so so your question about muhammadi begum is one question there are so many other things it's unbelievable imtiaz bai has got up you know a, a plethora of files and documents and so I, i have i have acquired lately so many books with scans and quotes uh, uh, and and you know blunders upon blunders blunders upon blunders it's a phenomenon it 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 is a phenomenon wallahi and and i believe the reason why um so many people maybe thousands hundreds of thousands of people are qadiani especially from the subcontinent is because they don't know they don't know they don't know what's in the books they have not read uh mirza gulam ahmed qadiani's works they are full of contradiction contradictions confusions and inconsistencies so may yeah. allah bless you jazakallah khairan thank you so much thank you thank yeah, you yeah. Very much. and we we're going to let other people in because there are so many people yeah. who are yeah. waiting to join the stream may allah bless you jazakallah khairan for the comments walaikum assalam thank you mirza murad i'm going to bring you in next do you want to keep your camera on it's up to you okay guess he wants to keep it on assalam alaikum walaikum assalam allah may allah bless you all uh, i have listened to the stream and i followed this like a few weeks now like even the four some four weeks at least i did not uh, appreciate when i saw you in the park like obviously online because i'm in the netherlands but uh, from then on from that moment i started to dig deeper dig deeper in the, into this subject and hashim i've seen you before um uh, it was about um the hindu religion as i remember or at least a debate on that or asking questions about that so i just want to keep it short and sweet thank you all for your wisdom and for well unveiling the truth to people you know like to debate and to um show them yeah uh, where in the quran it says like um that jesus will come back and he will break the cross for example and um yeah the things that they didn't do what makes him not a prophet so um yeah i'm thankful and bless you all also one point a side note actually uh please make a dua for all the moroccan people who are in the earthquake right now on allah please, yes. uh, you know as a muslim i think that's also important to do to think about our brethren um where they are in what situation they are and um may allah bless you all Allah ghafir lahum Allah ghafir lahum Allah ghafir lahum Amen Yeah I think uh, we have to make dua for our brothers and sisters in uh, Morocco mm. and Algeria where they had this massive earthquake and thousands have died so please make dua for there and for their families may Allah give them sabr may Allah give the Amin. ones who have passed away Amen ya rab Amen Amen Jannatul Alai Amen ya rab Amin Brother Ahsan next Assalamu alaikum uh, wa rahmatullah wa alaikum assalam uh yes brothers you know i've been watching your uh you know youtube channels and uh you know being from the other generation it's actually benefiting uh me and my friends a lot you know um uh, so i'm basically uh you know like raised in saudi arabia and now in the uae and uh you know we haven't really been exposed to all these groups like the ahmadiyya uh, the aga khanis and you know like But now when we are traveling you know especially to india and other subcontinents we're looking at people and we're uh, you know seeing uh, the different divisions you know that uh, that that these groups have formed you know on the basis of what they claim so uh, so just like concerning to the um, ahmadiyya side uh, so we haven't be no one knows about these people like especially in the eastern region so if they're claiming that you know uh you know uh they that they have a prophet uh why don't the other people know about this like why isn't it all over because since islam being a very wide religion and since you know we have quran and uh, we also know that you know uh, rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam was the last prophet uh and he also came with a revelation 
So what is so special about this? Like, what did Mirza come with? Uh, you know, if, if we have to know, uh, you know, and if we have to differentiate, you know, that he's a false, false prophet. So that is one thing. And the second thing is, like uh, I mentioned about other groups, uh, you know, I would really appreciate if you guys could uh, shed some light on other groups, like uh, I think the Bohras and the Aga Khanis, because they also have these leaders, uh, you know, that a lot of people follow and they're claiming to, they're claiming to be the last caliph or the descendant of the prophet. Uh, and, and also like coming back to uh, the current leader, I think for Adyanis is Mirza Masrur Rahmat, uh, who is the fifth caliph of Messiah. That's what they're claiming. So what's the concept of caliph at the moment, like present stage? You know, like, do we have a Muslim caliphate? And if they're claiming to be a Muslim caliphate, like I wanted to ask Brother Adnan Rashid and all the other, uh, you know, like speakers over here. And they also address him with the title as Huzur, which we know that we would put this title sometimes, you know, in Urdu and in the subcontinents, we would allocate this title to only uh, Prophet Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So it's like that. Listen, the, the, the fact that they call the so-called Caliph Huzur shows you that this is just a, just a cult that uses the Urdu language to teach Islam. And uh, there's a reason why they don't like to encourage their followers to learn classical Arabic, because the moment they will start to learn classical Arabic, uh, they will start to get exposed to true Islam, traditional Islam, right? And when they do that, they will see how beautiful, how, how much better it is to, to what they're trying to teach in the Urdu language. I mean, they are teaching Urdu to Africans. How, how sensible is that? They're teaching Urdu to Africans. I mean, I know some of our Madaris do it as well, right? But you, you won't see that uh, throughout the Muslim civilization from Morocco to, to Bangladesh, that most Madaris, they teach the Arabic language as a priority, okay? So it's, 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 it's a cult. It's a cult. It's a regional cult, okay? And there is a difference between this cult and other forms of uh, minor religions or minorities you know, this one in particular, they use the cover of Islam to deceive the masses into accepting their religion. Okay? Others don't do it. The Boras, they make it very clear that they are, Boh they, they are Boras. Okay? The, 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 the Ismailis, they make it very clear that they're Ismailis. Okay? Um, and they keep their business to themselves. They are, they are, they're doing quite well for their communities. Okay? They are very organized. They take care of each other. But this particular community is special. You know why? Because it goes out using the cover of Islam. Okay. Under the guise of Islam, they bring gullible, innocent, um, you know, poor people into this cult. This is where the difference is. This is why this group is very different. Okay. So that's why we have to do dawah. We cannot spread hate against them. We shouldn't. Okay. We, we cannot promote persecution of uh, this group. We should not promote that. We don't believe in that. We don't believe in persecuting them or uh, hating on them or spreading hate against them. This is an academic exercise. Okay, we have academic freedom. Uh, academically, we can question them. Sometimes discussions can get a bit charged. Okay, uh, but that doesn't mean that we hate them. We don't hate them. I've made it very clear multiple times that we have nothing but sympathy. Wallahi, I feel sympathy even for people like Razi. Okay, even for people like uh, Dr. Yahya. Okay, if I was to meet with them, I would be very friendly towards them. I wouldn't hate them, but I would strongly disagree with them as we have. And, and they are disbelievers. They are disbelievers. If they die in this state, they are going to hellfire. They're going to hellfire. I don't even hide that. Now, that's not a hateful statement. That's a statement of truth that anyone who dies believing in Muhammad sallallahu uh, alaihi sorry, uh, disbelieving in Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, or believing in another prophet after Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, is not upon the haq. This is uh, a route to hellfire. Okay, so um, we, I want to make it very clear that we have nothing but sympathy. Okay. And if people are committing acts of violence against them, 
in other countries. They should stop that. We don't condone that. We don't promote that. We can easily defeat them with arguments. We can easily defeat them with academic uh, honesty. Okay, we don't need all these uh, violent and vicious tools, uh, and we don't promote that. We don't condone that. Barakallah. Can I just yeah. request, um, uh, Brother Adnan and myself, Hashim and so on, can we make this uh, very quick question and answers um, so that we want to let Brother MTS go and have some rest? Okay, oh, it's yes. quite over sure, time. Sure. Time is already. So thank you, Brother Hassan, but, for joining. Jazakallah. Brother Khaled. MTS, You're welcome. Stay, 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 stay till the end. Stay till the end. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, uh, we're we're going to finish very soon. So okay, don't I'm going to bring Brother <laughs> Ibn Hazm al Andalusi. Ready? Assalamu alaikum. And make it as quick as possible so, so that we can move on to next uh, question as well, inshallah ta'ala. Inshallah. 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 We, can't we can't hear you. Hear. Are you muted? <coughs> yeah. No, still muted. Uh, try, try now. Try joining back again, inshallah. We'll bring you in, okay? Because we can't hear you. Yeah. So, Okay. Right. Uh, uh, bridge, of, bridge of of Tower. Uh, you need to keep. Do you want to keep your camera on? I'm bringing you next. Okay. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam warahmatullah. Wa alaikum assalam I'm going to make it as quick as possible. So, um, the first time I found out about Ahmadiyya was my best friend was was Ahmadi, and in school he used to tell me he was a Sunni, right? So, I think it was like two years ago. We were just in the park playing football, and he said to me. Um, I'm an Ahmadi and it was the first time I actually heard that reference Ahmadi so I go home do my research and realize that these guys are non-believers and wallahi it took me just 10 minutes of research to just realize did this man all his claims are just they're just false today that, that um, you mentioned about the, uh, the the claim that he said there's a hadith about an Indian prophet coming but he also lied last week I mentioned this as well how he says that in Brahim Ahmadiyya, part 5, page 478, he says, there is no uh, hadith at all that mentions that the Mahdi is from the progeny family. There, there's no hadith. He's saying it's, there's none. But there is. So he clearly lied. And uh, he said, there's a hadith in Sunnah Abu Dawud 4285, which says the Mahdi will be from the progeny of Fatima. Also, Ahmad made a comment, uh, which no one else pointed out. He said, People just look at Mirza Ghulam Ahmed's face and they straight away realize he's, the, he, he's, he's truthful. But then why did they edit his eyes? One of the, <laughs> one of the biggest things, why did they edit his eyes? In Sirat al Mahdi, it mentions how when a photographer was taking a picture of him, he said, you're going to ruin the picture, stop squinting. Why would they edit his eyes? There's actually an, a, like an official photo of the before and after and it's clearly edited. So you can't really use the argument and I've, I've, I've gone to the same... Uh, love, love, brother, love is blind. Love is blind, as they say, you know. Literally. And uh, I went to the same mosque as uh, uh, Ahmed to have a discussion with him. And it was a peaceful discussion. But nonetheless, to, to make it short, if, if this was the truth, it, there would be no Islam. Because the Islam that I think about is like the Sahaba, the Umar Uthman, the, the, these guys. Like, and then after that, like Khalid bin Wali, Salahuddin Ayyubi, these guys, you think about it and you go, Alhamdulillah, this is Islam. But when you talk about Mirza Masur and these, Wallah, if this was Islam, there would be no Islam. These guys no, this, was, this was a movement to, to crush political um, ambitions of Islam or Muslims. Okay? This, was, this, was, this was a man who was used to, to basically stop any thought of resistance between, uh, among Muslims. He failed miserably. No one believed him. No one. People, people were mocking him. When he was alive, he was mocked even within his own city, Qadian. He was mocked. I mean, they can come back and say, oh, so was the Prophet of Islam. You see, the amazing thing is the game they play is every time we bring something from his writings against him, they say, oh, look what happened to the Prophet of Islam, Prophet Muhammad. He was also attacked. He was also this. He was also that. But we don't find anything like this in the Prophet ﷺ. Prophet did not lie on people. Prophet Muhammad ﷺ did not make things up on the spot. He wasn't making... In fact, you know, at times Prophet ﷺ waited for months for revelation from Allah instead of attributing things to people. Okay? On the issue of Aisha radiallahu anha, 
the Prophet waited for one month for revelation from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Okay, he didn't just make up things. This guy was making things up on the spot. People would ask him questions about his failed prophecies as has been documented in their own literature. He would just make up things on the spot. He would make up responses like he did in the case of Muhammad I Begum and all that, you know, and other things when people were asking him. So, um, you know, he it's very unfortunate, but we, we will continue our da'wah and I'm sure eventually uh, people will come to realize. Now, this, you see, the, the thing is now, now this is the age of social media, brother. Things cannot be hidden. You can no longer hide things in books and yeah. and put put you can't put pay the people. press for your propaganda exactly exactly and now social media is a phenomenon people will see all of this people will be exposed to this and that will change people inshallah that's Barakallah. why we need to get more active brother Muhammad Mthiaz, do you want to add anything on here all good inshallah jazakallah khair brother jazakallah khair okay okay assalamu alaikum brother bridge of dawah um, who's next uh, let's try the shake again. Yep. You need to unmute yourself. We cannot uh, hear you. We still can't hear you. We can't. We, we can't hear you. You're muted there is, again. There's a problem with your mic. Try now. Put. You can't yes. speak. Yeah, we can hear you now. Oh. Can you? Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. You can hear me now, yeah? Yes, yes. Tafadal, tafadal. Go ahead. Jazakum Allah khair. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. First of all, it's like... Uh, it's. It's been again like last time. It's been again like last time, whereby, whereby uh, the the first speaker again went on. His name is Ramzi, I think. Razi. He, he went Razi. on about Razi. Razi. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. He went on about lots of things, and. Uh, as we say in Arabic, as we say in Arabic, the, uh, I mean the the mountain has been in labor and it gave birth to and it gave birth to a, uh, a mouse. A mouse. Uh, we, we 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 have something similar in Urdu. Koda pahar nikla chua. Okay. <laughs> you, you you dig a mountain and what 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 you get is a mouse. Yeah. A mouse, yeah. We say in yeah. Arabic, it's tamakh al jabal. It's been like. Uh, right. So, what was your observation today? Is there anything you want to rectify yeah. from what has been missed? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. It's it's uh, actually it's quite a, a few. It's quite a lot of them. But I'm just gonna keep it. Just give us the best one. Give us one. Yeah, please. F first, first thing he was about the usul. It should have been established. It should have been established. Okay. It should have been established. What's the difference between the nubuwa and the wa'id wal wa'id? Because and this is should have been established. Because as you know, Ghulam Ahmed, whenever he was uh, he was asked about his uh, prophecies, why did not come true? He used to say, oh, it's wa'ad and it's wa'id. And that's absolutely wrong. Because a nubuwa will never, ever not come true. A nubuwa, when it says, because it's wahi ilahi, it should, it should come true. This is the first thing. And then by him saying it's wa'ad or wa'id, it's false. Because Allah Jalla wa'ala says in Quran, uh, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will not he will not let down his his uh, his prophets and Allah jalla wa ala say, says it in so many in so many verses of the Quran 
وعد الله إن الله لا يخلف وعده for example and in so many other in so many other uh, verses so whatever they say it's nubuwa or wa'd or wa'id it's, it's he has failed plus the 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 issue to to prove the the wa'id the wa'd and wa'id Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says he wa'ad al-mu'mineen he gave promise to the believers that they will have jannah and he gave a promise wa'id to the disbelievers that they will be in jahannam so th these should have been established I, th I believe that you should have stuck with the uh, sulh al hudaybiyah and brother Imtiaz, he was on a good path i, I believe that he should ha you should have stuck to that one because he would have come uh, he, he put himself in a big riddle when he mentioned that sulh al hudaybiyah and this uh, he wasn't that the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam did a wrong ijtihad in there which can be proven from the hadith. And I think Sahih al-Bukhari is the, is the one that will refute that. Uh, also, by talking about Yunus alayhi salam, they have to prove to us that uh, his 40, the, the 40 days is actually in the Quran. Because the Quran does not mention the 40 days that they keep uh, mentioning about the Yunus alayhi salam, not uh, again. Uh, that his uh, that his promise or his uh, nubu'a was unfulfilled, but actually Yunus alayhi salam left without taking the permission from Allah subhanahu wa taala, without taking the permission from Allah subhanahu wa taala. Things happened to him. What happened? The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam left Medina. To go to Al Hudaybi to go to Mecca because Allah Subhanahu wa Taala allowed him to do so. So in here, in here, we have got a big difference. A prophet that left a place where he was supposed to give da'wah without taking uh, the permission from Allah Subhanahu wa Taala, and a prophet that has gone somewhere because Allah Subhanahu wa Taala allowed him to do so. So this is this is a big difference. Uh, the other thing that uh, also they he spoke spoke about uh, the issue of uh, Zainab Umm Al Mu'minin radiyallahu anha and her marriage from uh, from uh, uh, Zaid bin Haritha. That's another issue that they they dug themselves a big uh, a big hole in it. Because that again, it's from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it came to come true. And when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted to do a new tashri'ah, whereby uh, the, the the adopted children can marry their adopted parents, yes, uh, and, uh, and wife, yeah, Allah and, subhanahu wa ta'ala caused uh, the divorce to happen. And, and if, 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 if anything, and, if anything, this point destroys the entire house of cards because here allah got zainab uh, radiallahu anha married to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam right and it happened it happened they tried to use it to undo muhammadi begum's case but muhammadi begum never got married to mirza despite the fact that mirza received multiple revelations a point that brother imtiaz made amply clear today that this was not is his ijtihad or understanding of a revelation rather it was direct revelation telling him that he will get married to muhammadi begum okay yeah. so it was not ijtihad it was revelation because mirza himself claimed it was revelation it never happened so when they tried to use zainab's case to undo or untangle muhammadi begum's case they are actually shooting themselves in the foot because Zainab got mad. Even Hudaybiyah, Hudaybiyah, what happened in Hudaybiyah? Both parts of the prophecy were fulfilled. fulfilled. You know, the, the, the essence of the prophecy was fulfilled. The essence was the Prophet ﷺ will make the journey with the Sahaba and make tawaf around the Kaaba, which they did, right? With regards yeah. to Mirza's prophecies, they did not come to fruition. They did not come to fruition. They did not happen. They were not fulfilled. So they actually use, by using these examples, 
trying to save Mirza from ridicule and um, um, from uh, from you know doubt, they play they throw these spanners in the works, and if people are not trained how to deal with these questions, okay, they can easily fall for this deception, and this is how they play games with gullible people. People who have no knowledge of Islam, and, no uh, knowledge of Islamic sources. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah, just uh, first of all, a Sheikhana, Salam Waliku, Rahmatullahi Barakatuhu. Rahmatullahi Barakatuhu. Sheikhana, it's always a challenge to have a usuli discussion, especially with the Ahmadis, because they have no usul to stand on. That's a problem. No. So oh, that's no. why, uh, that's why Sheikhana, I was trying, I was trying to at least, you know, avoid all the red hearing and go to the point. Otherwise, there was one technical point, and inshallah, this will be raised if they come up in the future. Sheikhana, as you know, these two things, Wa'ad and Wa'id, they are two no. separate. They are two separate things. Okay, Absolutely. and Absolutely. the marriage, marriage of a prophet to a lady is not a Wa'id. It's a Wa'ad. It's okay? a Wa'ad. It's, yeah, it's a Wa'ad. And secondly. When it actually started in 1886, he says that Allah has given me the good news of marrying with such and such lady. Absolutely. So, uh, Shaykhana, inshallah, all of these points, they are with me. Okay. But the it's reason is, her. today, today Shaykhana, I wanted to, you know, stick with one point And inshallah, I am, I am very confident in today's stream, with the best of my knowledge, this was the first stream ever in which they acknowledge from their own mouth that Mirza Ghulam Ahmad did not make any error of interpretation with regard to Muhammad Begum. Everything he was saying with the revelation and his revelation did not come true. So the matter is very simple. His revelation was not from Allah. Today they have acknowledged this, Alhamdulillah. And, and you know what, Brother MTS, he died while still waiting for her to walk through his door. Yeah, 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 yeah. He died still waiting. Yeah, and Shekhana, did do, do you remember? I actually I alluded, I I hinted on the point that after Mirza passed away, there was a big discussion in the next people yes. that what to yes. do with this one. Now, what they yeah. are not realizing is they are digging their grave very deep because they are claiming that the prophecy was fulfilled in the lifetime of Mirza. Now, my, if, if any Ahmadi is listening, please note down the question. The question is as follows. In which year and which incident makes the fulfillment of this prophecy? Give us which year it was fulfilled and what was the exactly event which they are referring as the fulfillment of the prophecy. As soon as they will come, I'll, I'll ask them this question, that are you more knowledgeable than your Khalifa, than your Caliph? Because they are discussing after the death of Mirza that what to do now. And the discussion was that somehow if the progeny of Muhammad Begum and the progeny of Ghulam Ahmad, if they somehow married to each other, we can call it a fulfillment of the prophecy. So the matter, people need to understand this. If, if the prophecy was fulfilled in the time of Mirza, then this discussion makes no sense. Inshallah, Shaykhana, I am telling people this point that they are only coming prepared what has been told to them in the last Absolutely. 100 years. Inshallah, yes. in, this, in this stream, we have moved on to the new questions which they don't know the answers. Uh, brother, yes, just, just to add on to what you said, the reason why they said it was fulfilled because they, 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 they want to take people from the marriage point, and the marriage point, that was the prophecy. The prophecy yes. Yes. was not the death. The yes. death was yes. wa'id. Yes. Yes. That yes. The, the husband, whoever marries her, exactly. is going to die within, exactly. within two and a half years, and the father. But the actual, the actual prophecy was the marriage. So they forgot about the marriage, or they want to, people to forget about the marriage, and they want to keep just about the death of Ahmed uh, Ahmed Beck. However, yeah. how did the, how long did the Mirza Sultan live? He died in 1948. Yeah. He participated yeah. in the First World War and he didn't yeah. die. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Ahmadi Begum, she lived eight years after the death of uh, Mirza Ghulam. Yeah. Yeah. All yeah. of these, all of these. And, and you know, and you know, Sheikhina, that, that's the whole reason 
to to dig into these points so the other people the common masses of ahmadiyya they can listen this point that what tactics our clerics are playing because the matter is very simple let me repeat the question again all ahmadis not down my question in which year and through which event the prophecy was fulfilled give us the year year and give us that event which you are calling as the fulfillment of the prophecy because as shaykh said the nafse pashin goi the subject matter of the prophecy is only one and that is marriage with mm-hmm. muhammadi begum everything else if anybody reads all the course of mirza everything Secondary. else was an obstacle and allah promised to mirza sahib that i will remove all the obstacles and you will marry to this lady now in the last stream dr yahya he tried to give this people this impression that there were two subject matter of the prophecy one, one was one, one was yeah, yeah yeah i know i know one was the death of sultan beg and one was the marriage with mohammadi begum he it was trying to give this impression by giving us a quotation and yes i wish i wish that any ahmadi comes in the future and he quote that quotation in which mirza said with regard to sultan beg that his death is also the subject matter of the prophecy now no no listen listen sheikh sheikh look the reference is there but they have not read the reference in the context okay inshallah i wish anybody comes in the future any ahmadi and they quote that reference in which mirza is saying that the subject matter is sultan beg's death as well and inshallah sheikh na the 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 day they can bring this point that there are two subject matters inshallah sheikh na with your dua i will bury that forever and and you know the uh, other thing uh, i'm just going to make two more points please if you allow no, me sheikh there are a lot of people waiting okay. so in, okay. inshallah next time but really appreciate your knowledge and as always we value it barakallah fiik sheikh jazakallah khair sheikh na jazakallah khair and you tears allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide and protect us assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh um who's next tosif uh, looks like i'm frozen <laughs> tosif are you there well assalamu alaykum wa alaykum assalam it's nice to talk to you brothers again um Yeah honestly I'm Masubai assalamu alaikum I didn't get a chance to talk to you last night um, <laughs> but uh, the pro- I honestly um I'm shocked that these people these missionaries have seven years to train and this is the garbage that they bring that yeah, they should, you know they should all be asking refund from their institutions <laughs> no it's it is honestly a shame because you know the, you know Alama Kabbal our great Alama Kabbal the poet from Pakistan He he wrote a poem about these Ahmadis, and he basically talks about he basically talks about how the Qadiani wants to keep you busy. So basically, like if their entire existence is just to keep you busy, you know, in worldly affairs and not focus on the writings of the the Jal Prophet, the Jali Prophet. And uh, honestly, I'm just I'm just shocked. Um, but I had a question for uh, Nanbai because the Nanbai is a great student of history. Um. But now by what do you what do you think about the British in like the British to Mirza like in terms of like how it started and you know like do you think it's a greater conspiracy and um yeah that was my question as so I can go quickly because I don't want to waste too much of time <laughs> yeah bismillah um, okay yeah jazakallah khair uh, i don't think it was a conspiracy on the part of the british they didn't plan this um uh, mirza basically was already planning something fishy you know he he had this uh, kind of mindset that he was trans- transitioning into something greater and greater first yes. you know he he had a transition upon transition first he claimed to be uh, you know um, I, f- i forgot the titles you know imtiaz bhai please help me here you know the f- what was his first claim uh, mujaddid He was yes, first Mujaddid, 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 yeah, Mujaddid. and Mamur min, Mamur min Allah. Um, Mujaddid, Mamur min Allah. You know when he started to use terminologies like this, that Allah has appointed him, Allah has sent him, Allah has chosen him. The ulama became very iffy about him. The ulama yeah. started to realize that this guy is actually on a trajectory 
Okay, yes. so I don't think the British created the trajectory. Okay, the British did not. They definitely facilitated it. He had. And it, did, a relationship. it did help them a little yeah, bit yeah. too. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh no, a lot, a lot, not a yeah. little bit, a lot, a lot, because he was. He started to sing to the tunes of the colonial establishment. This is another thing we need to discuss in future episodes. Yes. Okay. Wallahi, need, wallahi yeah. Wallahi Nambai. Yeah. Sorry to cut yeah, you off. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm sorry about that. I just it's yeah. a good good point, and I just wanted to add to it. <laughs> Because I grew up in this religion all my life, I could tell you from since we were young, I, I can guarantee you that this is a colonial religion because, you, you know, the way they're the, the way Amdis are taught, the way they're brainwashed from a young age, it, they make it impossible. You raised this point earlier. They make it impossible for you to leave. Yes. Even in it, even if you're internally, internally, you want to you want to leave. But externally, you have to show face. And yes. I think I talked about this last time too. Um, yeah, it's not. And I, I, I honestly, I feel sympathy for my Amdi brothers and sisters because you know I know I know what it feels like because I've been there. You know, it's hard because you gotta leave your family, like not leave, but you know what I mean. Like it's not easy for them. But Listen, the problem is, it's for the sake yeah. of Allah. So it, huh? this is your yeah. jihad. Absolutely, so, and 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 you know we 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 are absolutely honored and privileged to be sitting here and talking to so many thousands of people and trying to guide them to to what we see as truth. Alhamdulillah, and may Allah guide yeah. us too. Okay, and and you you are absolutely right that it is a colonial religion. Okay, it didn't it didn't start as such. It didn't start as such. Uh, we have to be very honest in our criticism, uh, as much as we may dislike. Um, the teachings of this religion, but we have to be very fair and honest in our criticism. Okay, I don't yes. think it started as a colonial project, but it became a colonial project. Okay, yes. uh, the British, the British tried to hijack, hijack it uh, as a colonial project to, yes. to play their colonial game in India to somehow brainwash the Muslims into thinking that mm -hmm. the British rule is the best thing that ever happened yes. to India, which was a lie. Which is a lie. Yes. And I, I, if if you have been following my Twitter, I yes. put up one of the one of the quotes from Mirza that uh, British colonial rule is a blessing of Allah. He calls it a blessing of Allah. And when is Mirza active? He is active for thirty years. Uh, okay, yes. as a writer, as an author. From let's say, if we were to start a mark eighteen eighty to nineteen oh eight until he died. Okay, that's nearly thirty years. This was the most devastating period in colonial India, as far as the Indians are concerned. Okay, yes. I attached an article with a tweet on my Twitter. People can go and see it. Uh, it's an Al, Al Jazeera article. Was that the same? Sorry, Sorry, was that the same time as the Bengal incident, like where they killed like the Bengal no, 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 famine, or was no, that no, no, after? No, the, 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 the Bengals, there were many Bengal famines during the British colonial yeah. period, by the way. From from the from the mid-18th century to all the way to the Second World War, there were many Bengal fam famines, in yeah. particular Bengal. Okay, many, many. And and hundreds of millions of people died in these Bengal famines. Uh, scholars have tried estimating the numbers, but no one really knows. The real numbers. So you're talking about nearly 200 years of oppressive policies that killed hundreds of millions of people. But the period yeah. I'm talking about, the period I'm specifically talking about, is between 1880 to 1920, 40 yeah. years. This is when Mirza is active as an author. And this is the period when Mirza claimed to be a prophet. Okay, mm -hmm. or the the promised Messiah, the one who is going is going to come and break the cross. So what Mirza does instead of breaking the cross, he is he is strengthening the cross by calling the cross uh, a blessing of God. How? Because colon the British colonial rule was the rule of the cross. Okay, you know what was the mm -hmm. highest award? What was the highest award uh, for British servicemen? Victoria Cross. It was called Victoria Cross. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so so Mirza, instead of breaking the Victoria Cross, he was praising it and he was calling it the greatest blessing of God. And it, it well, doesn't yeah. stop there. It doesn't stop. Look, uh, why is this period so important? Okay, it's as if Allah is telling all these Qadianis and Ahmadis, wake up, wake up, yes. smell the coffee. The your guy is calling this colonial power 
a blessing of God. And this is the time when they committed the greatest atrocities. From the year 1880 to 1920, yes. British colonial policies in India killed a hundred million people. You know, when I saw the number for the first time as a student of history, I was yes. like, I was shaken. Hold on a second. Yes. Is, well, is this yeah. an example? Is this an exaggeration or is this what is this? Is this hyperbole or what? But Wallahi, um, Wallahi, yeah, yeah. Uh, um, yeah. you know, the when you, you know, the, I, I just wanted to raise a quick point. Um, the problem with the missionaries is not because you've been dealing with them for over 20 years, so you already know everything. But just for the other brothers out there, um, there you have to understand the psychology of a missionary because. They, they've been trained for seven years. They, they, their food is paid. Their rent is paid. So their entire time is spent towards training, towards, you know, learning. And mind you, it's not their, it's not their eyes that are blind. It's their hearts because um, the problem with them is they were trained for seven years and they're giving strips. Like, yeah, for example, this brother earlier, um, Razi, he, mm. he, 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 he literally looks like he's following a script. And the, the arrogance he shows, he, he's not listening. You know, like, and mind you, he's a very smart guy. I have to give it to him. He's very learned. You know, and wallahi, if, no he became Muslim, if he became Muslim, he can help the Muslim cause. Yes. But the, but the problem is, he, all of these he, guys. Yes, all of, these guys. All of them. Ahmed, yes. Rosie, yes. All these guys. Yes. But the problem is, they're more learned than me. I'm, I'm going to say that honestly, because, I, you know, I'm still learning Islam, to be honest. I'm still learning, you know, day by day. We, 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 we all are. None of us. Yes. None of us yes. are, are grand muftis. So, or, brother yes. Tassif, yeah. inshallah, inshallah, next week we're having a special yes, stream for the ex-Kadianis, yes. for the former Kadianis. Okay. So we, we would like to have you and other... Oh yes, yes, uh, and I'll definitely get Brother Bashir Shah. He's very good. Uh, yeah, I was he's very crazy today. He didn't come. You know. Yeah, yeah, no, I am, I'm shocked. I didn't see him. Uh, he's uh, he's okay. honestly a great guy, very energetic guy. Uh, you know, I love him uh, yeah. because I, I anyway, went on his stream you, one time too. If you speak to him, tell him about the our next stream next yes. uh, Saturday, inshallah. Yes, uh, so I hope he comes no, next time. He, yes, no, no missionary Kadianis. It's the former Kadianis. Oh, thank God! <laughs> <laughs> I, was of of, I was getting tired of. I was getting tired of the waffling. <laughs> to be honest, uh, it, it's it's it, this should be a it should be a support for a support for them. Are they dodging the question? You know, like they, they take you all around the world. Just answer the question, man. You, he exactly. asked you a simple question. Show him the hadith. Just show him the hadith if it exists. Uh, Why do you need to talk about? Must yes, they're, they're, you know, it's shocking. It's shocking because I think they're not, they're not here to communicate and open the hearts. I think they're here just to debate and win. So, no, they, they, but they, they, they're, they're, they're not going to win. They're not going to win. Here, I, I'll tell you why they're here. They are here to save their flock. Uh, they are yeah. losing, they are losing big numbers. They are losing. Yes, they are. Yes. You, know, you know, all these Ahmadi youngsters uh, who are being raised in Canada in Australia, in Germany, and you know, in Norway and Britain, they are questioning. They are questioning, yes. and you know, sometimes Allah Subhanahu wa Taala sometimes to wake people up, Allah does something. Allah causes something to happen. This nida thing yeah. that happened also woke up a lot of people. Okay, yes, uh, to to yes. the reality of this this cult, how it operates, right? Yeah. So it will continue to happen, and eventually, yes. you know what? A lot of these intelligent, highly educated, highly influential. Ahmadi youngsters, they will accept Islam and they will become yeah. a strength of Islam. When I say inshallah. Islam, I mean mainstream Sunni Islam. This is what they will become, inshallah. Inshallah. Okay, yeah. brother, we'll see you. No. until next yes, time. Yes, thank you so much, brothers, for having me on. And uh, I just want to give a big shout out to Brother Imtiaz, who hasn't slept in 27 hours. Wallahi, he is just like a Mujahid. Thank you, Ryan. Thank you, Big shout out to him. Okay, brothers, I'll, I'll let you go now. Thank you so much for having me on. Inshallah, I'll be back next week. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum. Right. Uh, Omar, you want to keep your camera on? Entirely up to you. Okay. Half six, you. half six, like, inshallah. You can maybe, I'll, I'll be live. Wa alaikum salam. 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 Wa alaikum <laughs> well, first of all, I gotta, I gotta say, man, great work you guys are doing. Alhamdulillah. I, honestly, I never thought it would be as, as difficult as it has posed to, like, you know, pin down some of the things because they, 
pretty slimy in the way they approach these things. They kind of, you know, slip out. They say, how do you mistake? <laughs> but alhamdulillah, I think but the Imtiaz, when he pinned down the uh, brother Razi, I think it was, yeah. where it's like both of those things, he's like, were they Ijtihad or were they Wahi? And he said they were Wahi. Honestly, I was thinking, <laughs> was they had the mistake for Razi to agree to that. Because <laughs> <laughs> I think it was Ahmed. Ahmed. I think that he might have said some words that he wouldn't have liked. He would, he would use his typical yeah. cuss words on him for. Yeah, where where are very... you calling from, Omar? That was a big mistake on his part. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we can hear you. Um, uh, Omar, uh, right? where are you calling from? I, I'm from Dallas, Dallas, oh, Texas. Dallas, Dallas, okay. Yes, oh, this, this is being viewed around the world. Well, Allah, Alhamd. Um, I, I, I do have a you came across any Qadianis in Dallas? I have, uh, we have a masjid actually in a very small, I live in a small town north of Dallas, and we have a Qadiani, uh, well, you know, masjid. Uh, in, in, in the only one in Dallas because close to my house, but I've never really come across any any of them. Okay. We've rarely come across like even Muslims around here as much. We don't have like much of a you know presence in the sense of like outside of the masjid we see them, but alhamdulillah. But my question is that something that doesn't like, you know, make sense, obviously, uh, apart from all the things that you guys are already covering is what was, so 1400 years of the Ummah of the Prophet Sallallahu and we don't have any prophet, and you know everybody understands there's going to be no more prophets. Oh, they come from the Imtiaz, they all like except from you. So yeah, there are going to be no prophet. And then we run through hoops, you know, mental gymnastics to make uh, that there is going to be one prophet. And what is the accomplishment of that prophet? What did what did this man accomplish? What is it that he did? For the people of India, Pakistan, throughout the world, where did he defeat the colonials? Did he uh, unite the Ummah? He divided the Ummah because there are people now who are Qadianis. Did he, um, I don't know, brought something that was like unknown outside of the fact that he brought the fact no, that uh, no, he, he brought one in the group. He 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 brought he brought a lot of um, division. I, I, no, not even division. Evil, and, evil. I mean, he, for him yeah. to for, okay. for him to for him to praise for him to praise one of the greatest evils in human history, colonial rule. Okay, right. and we're not talking about Britain today. We're not talking. Britain today is not a colonial power. Okay, in fact, Britain today is very ashamed of its colonial past. So ashamed that they don't want to teach about it. Okay, and 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 people have have written books, scholars, politicians, human rights activists. They have repeatedly condemned uh, the colonial past of uh, the British Empire. Okay, because it was a very, very devastating force, as I mentioned earlier. So, you know, apart from not only that he didn't achieve anything, he, 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 he was out to harm humanity. If he's praising the greatest oppressor on, on the planet as the greatest blessing of God, what is left? It's like Jesus, it's like, it's like Jesus turning around to his followers and saying, Rome is the greatest blessing of Allah. Guys, yeah, Rome, I mean, and, and, and some Christians try to play that game. You know, when Jesus said, render on to Caesar, what is Caesar's? Render on to God, what is God's? Even in this statement, Jesus was very careful if he ever said this. He, if he ever said this, a big if, right? Yes. Okay. He is not praising yes. Rome. Rome was a pagan, oppressive power, right? Okay. Imagine Jesus saying, yes. or imagine Moses. No, no. Imagine Moses saying, that Firaun is the greatest blessing of Allah, his establishment, the house of Firaun. Okay, here you have Mirza Ghulam Ahmad yes. Qadiani. Instead of instead of confronting the Firaun of the time, the British colonial rule, what does he do? He endorses it, he works for it, he praises it, and he tells his followers to be obedient servants of it. Now we're not again. This is a very important separation we have to make. Britain today is not a colonial power anymore. It is an influential country, okay? No doubt, it's a very powerful country, but it's not a colonial power anymore. In fact, today Britain uh, is against colonialism today, right? So we're not talking about Britain. Right. What they do, the game they play is, they're very clever, these missionaries, you know? When you mention Britain colonial rule, they jump straight to Britain today. Oh, you are talking about Britain today. You're talking about the British. And you're living in Britain. You're living in London. Do you not have any shame? And then we tell them, do you not have any brain? 
<laughs> Don't you know what we're talking about? We're talking about once upon a time British colonial rule in India that killed millions of people. And it's not the mullahs saying this. It is not our imams and our molanas or molvis are saying this. It is Western okay, academics. Yeah, it's Western academics. They are writing that. I mean, I posted an article recently on my Twitter from Al Jazeera that between 1880 and 1920. Uh, the British colonial rule killed a hundred million people in India, not directly killing them by blowing them up by, by guns, but they killed them by economic policies. Starving. Okay. Yeah. Uh, starving them to death, starving them to death. Farmers died in hundreds of millions. Okay. A hundred million people, at least that's the number. I don't know how accurate that number is, but it is, it has been quoted by Western academics. Okay. How can you say this power, or this rule at this time was the greatest blessing of God. This alone is enough to to undo this uh, this this so-called prophet. But unfortunately, yeah, and that's a very yeah. good point because the association they build with Isa alayhi salam and and him being the uh, you know breaking the cross. Is, yeah. Oh, breaking the cross. <laughs> but okay, yeah, Azib, and, and and he's uh, you know a prophet of Allah. Isa alayhi salam spoke against the oppressive power of Rome. Listen, and listen, he, what what cross? The, the, you know when you ask them what cross did he break, and they refer to the his his, his tiny weeny little humble debates with Christian missionaries here and there, and his few writings, right? But we ask them who did more work, Sheikh Ahmad Didat in the twentieth century. Okay, or Mirza Ghulam Qadiani. If it's about breaking the cross by debating Christians, then Sheikh Ahmad Didat qualifies to be more of a prophet than Mirza Ghulam Qadiani. He was more yeah. of a Jesus, uh, I mean, Masih Maud, <laughs> if you want to claim that, then, then Mirza <laughs> Mirza didn't do anything like that. He, he and and he more people do... know Sheikh Didat than Mirza. Many people haven't heard of Mirza before. Yeah, our stream. Exactly. You know? exactly. Saying, Who is yeah. this guy? Like, where did exactly. he come from? Yeah, uh, yeah. Ashim, my, very, one very quick comment because it is uh, relevant to what you just mentioned. And Adnan, why please, inshallah, you know, uh, you, you, should, you should reconsider your position on this one and it's okay. Because there is a, you know, there's a common perception and some people do buy this perception. The, oh, Mirza Ghulam Ahmad was debating the Christian missionaries and, you know, somehow it became the, you know, very beloved of the ulama, my brothers. In the next stream, just ask a simple question uh, to any of the Ahmadis. In his entire career, how many debates Mirza did? There was one particular debate with the uh, Christians. There was an official one big debate with Abdullah Atham. Okay, and the result I have announced you already. And you know, uh, brother uh, <laughs> apostasies. Uh, Anyway, but I was trying to say this thing. Oh, some of the Fusak, this and the brother, they were five because Mirza declared this as Jange Mukaddas, the holy war. Okay, there's a book called Jange Mukaddas on this topic. And now Mirza initially sent five people because this was Jange Mukaddas. Okay, so Mirza was leading the empire of Ahmadiyya. He sent five ambassadors, okay, to go and negotiate the terms with the Christians. Guess what? One of those five ambassadors, which Tahir was today saying, they were the Fusag. He was the ambassador from the five chosen people, Yusuf Patan. And guess what? He became Christian after this debate. And guess what? Mirza's cousin became Christian after debate. And guess what? The, the place from where the people came for this debate, Jindiala, the people from Jindiala, many of them, they become Christian. And guess what? Then Mirza said, okay, no problem. After after such and such month, Abdullah Atham will die. And guess what? He did not die. And let me say something very interesting. On the last day of the deadline, when Abdullah Atham was supposed to die, in, in the it is from the books of by the way, Jamaat, okay. In Qadian, there was like a some as, as though as if some death has happened. People were crying. Oh, ya Allah, Abdullah Atam should die. Ya Allah, Abdullah Atam should die. And guess what? Mirza Sahib did some amaliyat, you know, some, some, some magic thing, you know, inshallah, I will quote them later. And all of that happened, and that night was passed. Abdullah Atam did not die. And next morning, the, the Christians, they were humiliating Mirza Ahmad, Ulam Ahmad Qadiani. In, in the many cities of India, okay, there were large proceedings 
celebrations, they specially brought the elephant to celebrate and Abdullah Atam was placed on that elephant as a right and they celebrated their victory. This is the, I, I'm, I'm telling you the result of one official debate Mirza did with the Christians. So please, my brother, anybody who is listening to this, Ask Ahmadis in entire prophetic career, in the entire messiahship career, how many debates Mirza did. I ask them, inshallah, I know the answer, but I want them to tell you that how many debates he did. This is a very, very, you know, you can say people have bought this deception, unfortunately. There is no such thing. <laughs> I, and, and let me tell you this one thing, inshallah. Brothers, I have read the books of Ghulam Ahmad. I want Ahmadis to tell me, inshallah, alhamdulillah, brothers. The way, Alhamdulillah, I have studied Ahmadis in the same way I have studied Christianity as well. Alhamdulillah, okay? Now, oh, listen, my dear brothers. The point is this. I want to hear that one argument which Mirza produced and that was so mind-boggling to destroy the Christianity. There's no such thing. I have read Burahine Ahmadiyya, one, two, three, four, five, all the parts. There's no such thing. It is all... A deception and some of our ulama, for example, Dr. Islam Ahmad, when they make these comments, Dr. Saab, may Allah have mercy on his grave, he, is a, he was a very good person, he served in his own capacity to the cause of Islam, but he was a human being. When he was saying all of that, I'm 100% sure, he did not read Mirza Ghulam Ahmad. Reading Mirza Ghulam Ahmad is not an easy job, I'm telling you, it's not an easy job because you know, it's very difficult because he repeats things so many times. One, inshallah, one of my research is that in the entire 23 volume, how many topics actually he discussed? This is one of my research. Why? Because they are actually handful of topics. He keeps repeating them, keeps repeating them, keeps repeating them. This is how we have the 23 volume of this book. So, brother, I think, please, I think he found he found copy paste before Microsoft. <laughs> so brother, please, all of this is a, is, is a, either the misunderstanding of our ulama or the deception of Ahmadiyya. I have clearly on the public platform, I have told you the result of one of his main official debate with the Christian. Look, look at this one. It's, it's one of the reasons why they still buy this is because they don't know the history of the Indian subcontinent as well. Okay, uh, I have mentioned this before that in 1854, there was a devastating, devastating debate for Christians that took place in the city of Agra. Okay, and uh, this debate was between Sheikh Rahmatullah Keranawi, okay, uh, Doctor Wazir Khan, and Fander, Fander, who was a German uh, missionary, and both of these scholars uh, respectively destroyed Fander and his arguments. Okay, Fander had written a book titled Mizan ul Haq. Mizan ul Haq, and then in response, Sheikh Rahmatullah Kehrawaniwi later on published a book called Izhar ul Haq, which was actually authored in Istanbul. And uh, Fander had been sacked from his job. He had to leave India after the defeat of this uh, defeat in this debate. He he was sent to Istanbul, Turkey. Okay, there he started to do the same trouble he was doing in India, and the Sultan the Sultan invited him. The Sultan invited him to uh, uh, deal with him. When uh, uh, Sheikh Rahmatullah from Mecca arrived in Istanbul, Fander made a run. He ran, ran, ran for his life, <laughs> intellectually speaking. Okay, And as a result, Sheikh Rahmatullah authored this book, Izharul Haq, which Sheikh Ahmad Didat read later on. Yeah. And the consequence was a dawah revolution in the 20th century. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So if anything, Sheikh Rahmatullah Kehranavi and his friends broke the cross, not only in the 19th century, but in the 20th century. And the effects, the ripple effects still continue to this day. Okay, we are all in some way, we are all, all of us, we are in some way a product of the dawah of Sheikh Ahmad Didat. I have personally benefited from his debates and his talks and his lectures. You know, uh, in the mid-2000s, I used to watch his uh, videotapes, you know, long debates. So this is what you call breaking the cross intellectually through debate, dialogue, discussion, writing books and acti activism. Not what Mirza did. Yeah. Mirza, if anything, he actually, you know, strengthened. He tried to cement. He tried to cement the cross. Uh, and, and, and to this yeah. day, uh, 
you know, it's, 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 it's a very unfortunate that people buy that propaganda. Yes, very quickly, just inshallah, one very quick last comment on, yes. on this topic. I want to make it part of this team, inshallah. It's very quick, inshallah. You know, like um, when people of Jindriyala, when they were going to have Mirza to represent the Muslim side in the debate, we have evidences, Muslim scholars, they warned them. They said, don't do it. Don't take this person to represent you. He's going to lose the debate and then he will promise a sign and then he will leave and then you will be in trouble. And that's exactly what happened. He lost the debate and then he threw a sign that he will die in such and such month and then he left. And after that, that's the history. Uh, no, I would uh, be very uh, true because his, his strongest argument was either you believe me or you're like, you know, the look, the, pro the, the problem is he, he made so many mathematically he made so many mathematically precise prophecies that were unfulfilled that he had to keep spinning the consequences. He had to keep coming up with with erroneous, lame uh, defenses. For example, Abdullah Atam, the man he debated, okay, because he lost the debate, he he said to him, and you know when when people were saying that he lost the debate, you know what he was calling them Haram Zade, <laughs> Haram Zade. I have been I have been talking about it that he actually writes that those people who think that I lost the debate are a bunch of haram zade. They are a bunch of bastards. I'm sorry, excuse for the French. Okay, yes, that's okay. Adnan, bhai, I'm gonna um, let um, two final guests who are waiting in, inshallah. And One last thing I wanted to soon. point out was the Gharib uh, situation about the hadith that he mentioned that you can have a hadith without the chain as long as the wali of Allah, like. It's ikhtilaf if I have mursal hadith where the sahaba is, uh, you know, there or not is is taken into account. But the, <laughs> like the whole chain is not there. No, no. no, no mursal, mursal is generally da'if. Okay, generally. There are a few exceptions. There are a few exceptions. And now I don't go on this topic. They are yeah, sitting with their pens. Point. They're sitting with their pens. Please. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The whole, okay, brother, the whole Omar, team is not there. Barakallah fikum. Asanul jaza. I'll see you guys inshallah. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. Okay. Mahsin, you're next. Yeah, time to wake uh, up, boy. <laughs> yeah, actually, uh, uh, Assalamu alaikum. I'm from Pakistan. Thanks, uh, yeah. Actually, I have to go to work also. Uh, just uh, I'll take a minute uh, just to say, uh, Adan bhai, uh, sir, I'm a huge fan of your work. Uh, especially watching the, uh, you know, uh, the doubts uh, regarding Sahaba. I was watching your videos and uh, greatly benefited that. Like it was mind blowing because myself, I'm a huge fan of uh, Shah Wuliullah's work, and then and so on, so forth. And uh, Mansoor Bhai, I mean, I I'm a huge fan of your wits and uh, how sharp you are in your debates, especially uh, with I, I forgot the guy uh, uh, the guy who used to debate. Uh, I, I forgot the name, but and even for you. Uh, uh, Hashim Bhai and Imtiaz Bhai, uh, both of those come. I just wanted to write two, two things, uh, three things, sorry, uh, very short. The thing is, uh, uh, I think so the sledgehammer uh, argument for Mirza is the biggest thing which I think so no Muslim can tolerate is the tawheed he has done against Hazrat Hussain Razi Talana. The way, uh, like, he literally belittled his sacrifice. How yeah. can a, a person who Nauzubillah, Nauzubillah, his own uh, Bashir al Mahmood claiming that he's the second coming of uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, in which is more akmal, more ashhad, and all that, uh, all that uh, crap he said, and he goes on to say that you know, uh, uh, direct Amtiaz uh, Bhai can fill in the sort of derogatory uh, statements he made after Hussein Razi What is left? Absolutely. And brother, when you when you quoting this point of Sayyidina Hussein. Yeah. I want people to remind of the hadith. Sayyida Shabab Ahl al Jannah. Al Hassan wal Hussein. Yes, yes. Al Hassan yes. wal Hussein, they are the they are the Sayyid, they are the leaders of the youth of Jannah. And this yes. is the people he is mocking. And uh, regarding to Sayyidina Hussein Radiallahu Al Husseinu Minni. Yes. Okay. Look, 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 look at the virtuous status of these people, and these are the very people Mirza has mocked. And once again, 
brother uh, uh, mohsin inshallah stay on the stream all of inshallah these things are coming in the future and uh, one final thing i think so uh, these qadianis they uh, they champion themselves to be the intellectual you know uh, heritage of the muslims that you know have all these scientists and xyz coming out of there okay if these intellectuals have uh, you know if they have the gall yeah javed ahmed gandhi saab has in his one of his videos has systematically destroyed uh, you know like the the synthesis of uh, mirza's claim with the correspondence he had with hakim nuruddin yeah that he's literally yep. discussing ke yaar acha wo uh, jo taabir is cheez ki hai uh, that yellow jo saffron cloth jo uh, isa alai salam pehnenge wo diabetes hai meri and uh, sar ka dard hai and then you know back and forth that correspond to acha white minaret reh gaya acha wo construct kar lunga mohsin bhai you know mohsin bhai on this on this very note something very yeah. interesting is coming in the future you know yes. people think that where all of this stuff was coming alhamdulillah yes, yes. we have we have digged into the resources there are some very important letters of mirza mm-hmm. ulam ahmad's correspondence with few people in yes. which he is consulting and discussing them that okay which claim to make next mm-hmm. How, what to do yes. about this hadith what to do yes. about this hadith and we're going to yes. produce those letters for uh. one purpose and the purpose will be these yes. claims and these signs are coming with the consultation from his kitchen cabinet they are not from yes, yes. <laughs> and one last and, thing again javed ahmed gamdi sahab you know unki matlab like uh, even uh, uh, so generally jo ahl sunnat ki jo disagreements unke sath hain but his a uh, line of thinking when he dismantles argument is very useful in this case because this is this is pure batil na so it, it should be very easy to dismantle and he took yeah. this thing that see this mirza claiming to be a prophet and all is nothing new in amongst the sufia this is a common tradition it is just that they did not go with, uh, amongst the arm awam with these claims this has always been there and he's been hacking off ibn uh, ibn arbi so what the, the whole theology is been borrowed Mosin from by, plagiarized Mosin then what's before, left what's in my before you say something because th- these things these streams are very important and they are going to be used by ahmed in the future i want to make a disclaimer on the behalf of the the panel on the dawa wise channel and from myself as well we disagree with yawed ahmed ghamdi in aqaid and usool okay he is not a hujja he has no yes. alhamdulillah one of my research topic by the way is jawed ahmed ghamdi as well inshallah okay if you want to discuss in the future yes. so yes. we clearly want to say this um, as a, a part of official statement myself adnan bhai hashim bhai mansoor all of us we disagree with jawed ahmed ghamdi on usool and aqaid so no hamdi should dare to quote anything from him against yeah, us yeah yeah i, I was actually yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah you know why why this yeah. why this why this uh, disclaimer is important is because yes, uh we we follow orthodox islam okay he's modernist uh, i understand uh, 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 and 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 he is a modernist and he's yeah. not uh, we don't consider him to be an orthodox muslim okay yeah. and he, he in fact i would go as far as to say that he is a munkar hadith okay he actually rejects hadith from bukhari and muslim okay yeah. he has a very funny usul self concocted as well but he's not the topic of the the night yes, so we're, gonna, we're not going to uh, indulge in the javed yeah, so that, disc- yeah. that disclaimer yeah. i just said was that uh, actually the way he was dismantling their argument was very, very i mean there easy are, to there are yes. there are better there are better responses to yes. qadiani yes. yeah i mean there are yes. there are books upon books scholars of yes. islam have written books upon books on them yes. there are yes. there are amazing exposes uh against uh, mirza ghulam qadiani so uh, i just some, want, uh, yeah. uh, i just want to point out the reason is this you know it, this is exactly the same trap that when that people say that because mirza ghulam ahmad was debating very well against the christians they started to you know say good things about him we are not going to say any such thing about javed ahmad ghamdi because he refuted mirza saib because this issue is very sensitive and mm-hmm. especially with regard to the interpretation about isa alai salam his coming Yes, yes. Death, that that is very problematic. Yes. Uh, no, no. All actually, of, all, of, all of all of these issues are very important issues for the Ahmadis. That's why this this disclaimer has to stay there. 
don't quote to us anything from Javed Ahmed Ghamadi. We disagree with him on usul, mm -hmm. on aqaid. He's not a hujja for us. And whatever yes. he's doing against the, the Qadianis, it is between him and Qadianis. We have nothing to say about him. Yeah. Yes. Okay, Mohsin Bhai, it's uh, quite late. Okay. So yes, yes, yes. I'm very sorry. sorry. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you so much. Okay. Thanks for your so patience. Much. As alaikum. He had been so waiting a long time in the back chat. So oh, is this okay right. with the camera on? Yes, it's okay. Right. Okay, Salaam sister. Uh, you're muted. We can't hear you. Unmute. You need to. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brother. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Talking to all of you. It was my dream. I was trying from many days to, uh, to enter the studio and talk to you guys. Uh, yeah. Where are you calling from, sister? I'm calling from Oman. Oh, wow, like mashallah. The, the internet's acting up. <laughs> Sister's calling from Oman. She's calling from oh, Oman. Oh, she, mashallah. Yes. Okay. Alhamdulillah. Yes. Sister, we, go ahead. Uh, we cannot hear You're you. You're frozen because I think your internet... No, no. no, no, I, no, can, no. I can see her screen moving, but uh, I think oh, yeah. the voice now, is gone. Now it's okay, yeah. Go ahead, sister. I think you froze for a little while. Okay. Uh, yeah. Just wanted to say salam to you guys. I'm a very big fan of you. I do follow you everywhere, especially Dawa wise, brother Mansoor, brother Hashim. I uh, am a big fan of you. Just, if, just wanted to say salam. I don't have any questions. That's so, okay. That's Thanks for your support, sister. Yes. Yes. Keep us all in your duas. Do follow Ustad Adnan Rashid. His channel yeah. is mashallah, very good. Uh, even um, inshallah, yeah. Imtiaz will, will have a good channel very soon. Inshallah. inshallah, it's about time. It's about time that brother Imtiaz has his channel as yeah. well because he's got some Actually, gems. In, in, some in, in the world of Ustad Hamza, so this, this, you know, this algorithm prostitution. I just want to add my other channel. Okay, <laughs> use it wisely. <laughs> yeah, like like Dawa wise. Yeah. I. I I actually, I actually don't agree with Ustad Hamza uh, Hamza here because uh, sometimes this algorithm is necessary, is needed uh, to have a presence. To no, have no, a no, presence Ustad Hamza now. also has a channel. Oh, just a joke. <laughs> okay. I know, I know. No, no, he actually made that statement. You're right, actually. But Hamza Sources also has a channel. Don't forget. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, just, you know, just, 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 just before any Ahmadi, you know, live from here, <laughs> we love Stav Hamza Zor, Alhamdulillah, he's a very good yes. friend to me, Alhamdulillah, I love him, yes. and I cannot tell you that how much good time we spent in Turkey, Alhamdulillah, I love Ustad Hamza Zorzi, he's an asset, <laughs> he's our Habib. Imtiaz, Imtiaz, you're gonna, say, brother Imtiaz, you're gonna have to do a lot of disclaimers for the next month. He yeah, has a lot of disclaimers. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what? Because what, what with the with these Kadiani missionaries, they, with Kadiani missionaries, you know what they do is they watch the whole stream and they will catch one uh, five seconds or three seconds clip. And, okay, that's it. That's it. That's our victory parade. Okay. I hope. So, I hope they they have a snippet of the streams when. One of the Qadianis came and I kicked him out in less than five, six seconds because he was very disrespectful. <laughs> yeah, that, that kind of clip, yeah, and we're very happy with that, you know, just to show yeah. you that we don't tolerate this kind of waffling and disrespectful behavior. You know, if you want to come and learn and, 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 and show that you, your prophet is, is a prophet of God, then answer the questions directly. Anyway, he was actually the moderator on that channel, Mansoor. Was he? This guy. Yeah, he needs to learn some moderating like this. Yeah. Yeah, and 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 kick, being kicked out today doesn't mean that you're not welcome again. You're most welcome yeah. again. All of you are most welcome. Only again. only if they behave. If yeah. I'm here, yeah. if no. I'm here and they misbehave, they they've got the message. What's going to happen? No, no, no. No one is questioning your sense of justice. You're absolutely <laughs> right. You know. Yeah, yeah. But but give we should give them a chance to come back when they come back. If they behave like this again, please leave. Uh, we 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 don't we don't need people like this to waste time. You know, you know, so, you know, Mansur Bhai and Adnan Bhai, Ashim Bhai. You know, like we have these two things: uh, justice and mercy. Obviously, both of these are two approaches. Okay. So I just try to go on the approach of a little bit towards the mercy. Your approach is justice, but it is still justice, not injustice. I want to <laughs> clarify it's justice. Yeah. Yes. Okay, okay, Sister Jazakallah Khair for your time. Okay, thank, thank you. you. Much. It was honor and I'm really happy to share the screen with you guys. Thank uh, you so much. Allah, Allah bless you. Keep us in your Yeah, sure, sure. You too, okay. brother. It was a, at a, Allah bless you and your family. Same to you, sir.
Okay. Okay, right. We got uh, one question. I think the guy has been asking this. I've got just one question that I'd saved up earlier. And it's the last question and then we close. So this brother has asked this question. Maybe it's for Adnan Bhai, I think. Uh, he's saying, did Mirza Dajjal insult also our Ahl Sunnah wal Jama'a mothers directly or indirectly? Yes. So I think about, I yes, know, he, he, he did. He did earlier. The, the point I was making was that when people were saying he lost the debate against Abdullah Atham, which was some of the scholars, some of the scholars of Ahl Sunnah as well, he, he called them Haramzadeh. He called them mm. bastard children. So he not only abused uh, Christians and Hindus and uh, his opponents in debates like uh, Christian missionaries, but he was also insulting uh, those Muslims who did not agree with him or did not follow him. Okay, he was insulting way, basically pretty much everyone. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the way the way I would uh, obviously uh, Mama Shala clarified this, but the way I would uh, address the same question is, in my uh, humble understanding, to misrepresent a scholar and his point of view, there is a big disrespect you can do any of the scholars, and this is exactly what Mirza has done to pretty much all scholars. And if somebody yes. thinking, if somebody Everyone. thinking. If somebody is thinking, so let's ask him why and not the answer. Let's not leave them with the homework. You know, there is not a single Muslim scholar ever lived in the history of Islam who are authentic Muslim prominent scholar who has the belief about Isa alayhi salam, which Ahmadis have. Now, what I mean by this, everybody pay attention, okay. So their belief is Isa alayhi salam, Isa ibn Maryam alayhi salam has passed away, number one. Point number two, his grave is in Kashmir, in Srinagar, Mahalla Khanyar. Number three, there is going to become a promised Messiah in the place of or as the second coming of Isa ibn Maryam and this will be Mirza, Ghulam, Ahmad, Qadiani, etc. This is the third part. And the last part is this. Very important. Very important. Okay. This Messiah came. He lived. He did his mission. He passed away. What Ummah has achieved out of that? Listen very carefully. When Mirza, Ghulam, Ahmad, Qadiani passed away. How was, what was the state of the Ummah? Obviously, those people who believed in Mirza. And because he was a false prophet. So basically, they became Murtad. And us people who don't believe in Mirza, according to Ahmadis, we have become Kuffar. So the result of Messiah is, Ummah is finished. <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah. The Ummah is finished. And also, a uh, very, very important point uh, that I would like to raise is that Mirza even cursed those who opposed the colonial rule in India. So anyone fostering any thoughts of uh, some sort of physical resistance against uh, the oppressive, the racist uh, Indian colonial, uh, sorry, the colonial rule in India, he British. called them, British. he called them, he yeah. called them again, again, please excuse my language, he called them Harami. Okay, yeah. I, I, have, I have literally uh, taken all these quotes and put them up on, on my Twitter. Anyone wants to see the evidence, the actual black and white physical evidence from Mirza's own books, the scans, the original scans are all on my Twitter. Go to my Twitter feed and you will see step by step all these points. Some of these points I have discussed. So it's there. The evidence is there. And he's specifically talking about Muslim scholars and freedom fighters. Specifically, he's talking about them. Muslim scholars and freedom fighters who were busy fighting the colonial rule to, to rid India of these people. He called them Haramis. In other words, so, uh, illegitimate children. Yes. And, you know, uh, you know obviously, uh, we don't receive any revelation, but I want to make a, maybe, you know, like, quote-unquote prediction. Razi or somebody will jump in the next stream. Muhammad Imtiaz, you said that, you know, like, there's not a single Muslim scholar. <laughs> okay? So I wish he says this. You know, what they do is, for example... If somebody in the history has ever said about the death of Isa alayhi salam, they will take this bit from that person. But mm -hmm. that person, after he said about the death, they don't believe in any promised Messiah coming. Okay? And then if somebody is saying 
that you know somebody will come in this form so they take the bits and pieces from dozens of books either known unknown whatever then they bunch them together you, if razi razi before you uh, be, be, before you smile and take note of this point take the full note okay take the full note Listen, you once remember you, as as children no, 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 no. One, once you will come the first thing you will do is you will present the full belief about isa ibn maryam and about the second coming etc and then you start your giving the argument okay first you need to give one muslim scholar prominent muslim authentic scholar and his belief in which the second coming is addressed and the first death is addressed as well both of them together now you all smile and <laughs> and and they kept using the name of ibn taymiyah ibn taymiyah's book uh Uh, you know, uh, As-Sarim al-Maslul ala Shatim al-Rasul. If we applied uh, the rulings of that book on Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani, he wouldn't stand a chance, you know. So they are very inconsistent in choosing people and using them conveniently to save Mirza. It's like, you know, when selective, we were kids. Selective. Choosing. Not even not only choose. selective. You remember, yeah. I don't know if you you guys, if I don't know if you guys used to do this as kids. You know, when we break up all the toys and and all the dolls, and then we start to put them together. The arm is basically in the leg, and the eye is in in the uh, in the stomach, and the, you know. So they they pick bits and pieces from all different scholars and literature of Islam, and they build this Frankenstein. It's, it's called the they Frankenstein build, effect. Yeah, for, exactly. <laughs> they build this Frankenstein, and they say, "Oh, look at this! How beautiful this Frankenstein!" And then you get a is. Monster, yeah, like yeah, then you get a monster. That's yeah. it. Then you get a monster. Okay, so they completely ignore. I mean, one of the things they do to Muhammad Hussein Batalvi, rahmatullahi alayhi. Okay, he was one of the scholars who who was upon who was one of the opponents of Mirza Ghulam. This is the man who got a fatwa of kufr from the ulama against Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani. He mobilized the ulama. to give a fatwa of kufr takfir against mirza ghulam al qadiani because of his uh, blunders and his views right um, and what do they do with him they take his earlier uh, let's say praise of some of mirza's works in particular mm. brahine ahmadiyya and they say look batalvi praised him batalvi praised his book but we say what happened to batalvi later on when he realized what he had done what happened to batalvi batalvi realized that the person he was praising for whatever service to islam he was doing at that time not realizing what he's going to do in the future why don't you and mention and not my it shows it shows the character and justice of our ulama they did yeah. not just outrightly you know declare him a kafir no once he started to do all of these things then and by the way the title mirza has given to muhammad sahib but i rahimullah awwalul mukaffirin this hmm. is the title given by mirza sahib to uh, muhammad sahib batalvi rahimullah so the, it shows that muhammad sahib batalvi rahimullah was a just person okay when mirza was not saying something which which, which was clearly kufr but was clearly kufr they did not give the fatwa okay but once he started to say those things and write those things which were clearly deceptive and kufriya then he has to prepare a fatwa of his kufr and then he was the first one to initiate this process yes but not doing it outrightly it shows his justice and character okay Absolutely. but okay jazakallah just uh, uh, i think i have uh, last words before we leave yeah yeah i think Yeah. Here, my, if you don't my, realize my phone's <laughs> battery is dying as well so we have to yeah, end yeah. and okay and we would we like to that. thank all the moderators uh, mashallah you guys been doing excellent work so may allah reward you all the brothers mm -hmm. and sisters who have been helping us uh, on the live stream and uh, the live chat in particular and also those who are watching please do subscribe to dawa wise and also to atnan rashid's channel uh, mashallah ustad atnan has been giving is time both uh, ustad imtiaz and abdan they have been doing a lot of research a lot of reading in the background we sh we really really appreciate that and may allah reward you both uh, with the uh, highest place Ameen. in jannah Ameen. and uh, yeah i mean jazakallah khair for exposing the bottle i'm sure <laughs> imtiaz bhai has got a lot under his sleeve so yeah next saturday inshallah we're going to do with the ex qadianis we are done with this missionaries for now inshallah let's deal with the people who actually saw the light from the darkness of the 
Qadiani Dajjal and then reverted to the true Islam. The Islam that the Prophet, peace be upon him, and all the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, followed. Okay, they did not follow any Qadiani Dajjal. So, yes, please do um, tune in next Saturday, inshallah, at 7 p.m. again. Um, if, it's, if that's okay with you, Adnan Bay and uh, uh, MTR Bay. Inshallah. Yeah? And uh, yeah, I mean, do contact if, if there are any ex Qadianis watching, uh, let your yeah. friends and acquaintances know. Uh, and do tune in, inshallah. We'll have a similar format, Q and A. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, yeah, Q and A conversations with ex Ahmadis. Yeah. Uh, let them ask questions like we did at yeah. the end, We've and done. we will answer. And yeah. uh, in those answers, we can bring more substance, more quotes, exactly, more yeah. books, and all that, inshallah, inshallah. inshallah. Okay. Let's keep it dynamic. Inshallah. inshallah. So any any last words before we close down? Jazakumullah khairan, everyone. Thank you so much. Uh, I know streams can be sometimes, uh, you know, not according to the plan, like what happened tonight. <laughs> okay. But alhamdulillah, we thank Allah. For every, Allah causes things to happen for a reason. Okay. Yeah. May Allah forgive. May Allah forgive our errors, our slips of the tongue mm -hmm. and our mm -hmm. passions and our, you know, even, uh, you know, alhamdulillah. But may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless everyone who's been on uh, tonight uh, all the way. Uh, from different places, different parts of the world. And we love you all. We will continue with this work. May Allah accept the da'wah and your du'as. Ameen, Ya Rab. Jazakallah. Intiaz Bhai, Mansoor Bhai, Shashim Bhai, thank you so much for all your company. May Allah bless you. And you guys are making it. Yeah, inshallah. Uh, same, yeah, ahead, same, inshallah uh, same emotions from my side as well. And uh, I, wa I want to end with uh, this, uh, you know, invitation to all the Ahmadiyya community especially, please uh, you know, watch these streams note down your points reach out, reach out to us do your research and then make a educated decision because after life Jannah or Jahannam it is not a joke Okay, the life of eternity in the hellfire or life of eternity in Jannah. That's not a small matter. So please, you know, be sincere to the truth. And inshallah, ever if we said anything which was wrong, we will not even take one second to take it back because we're all human beings. We are not going to be stubborn. And I want to end with this. If there was anything good in what I myself and all of us said, that was Allah's name. May Allah accept that. And may Allah um, allow that to sink in our hearts and mind. And may Allah allow that to be part of our beings. And if there was anything which was not correct, that was from our soul, from our nafs, from our shortcoming. May Allah forgive that. May Allah remove that from the memories of the people. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala facilitate the path of guidance through these streams. Jazakumullah khair. Oh, yeah. Mansoor, you wanted to say something? No. Okay. Jazakum